one, two, three. All right, guys, we're live. Let's go. It's been such a long time. It feels like it's been such a long time since I last saw you guys. I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you guys so much, so, so much for stopping by. Tomorrow is Collecticon, and I'm finally gonna be a good YouTuber. I planned out, dude. I planned this out for like a month already. I planned out a whole like video. And uh, I, we even practiced it because it's a challenge video with uh, old theme decks, like old Pokemon cards. And it was so fun. Oh my gosh, dude, I was laughing so much. It's just like good old days. It's with my best friend that we used to film videos with back 10 years ago, more than 10 years ago. So like we did this as middle schoolers doing it again, just brought back so many memories. Uh, eventually, I'll show you guys those videos and uh, we'll do some reaction to it because it's just so funny. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Richie Rich? How's it going? Daniel Mora, nice to see you. Captain Buggy, what's up, Captain Buggy? Vix Ribs, Christian De Leon, what's up, Christian? Dude, I just saw you at Coach and Ryan stream. How's it going, Christian? Thank you so much for stopping by. Hopefully, everybody again is having a great day. We're gonna be opening up some old school stuff. We got a couple of. Uh, so I bought a collection, and the collection. Well, actually, I didn't. I wouldn't say buy. I traded. Pokemon cards, uh, I used to have Scarlet and Violet base set booster boxes. I traded, they went up a little bit in price, but they're so niche. Uh, not everybody wants the Scarlet and Violet booster box. I traded the ones I have for like toys, like Pokemon toys, right? Some of them are for myself. Uh, like in the picture I put on Discord, the fat Pikachu, the, the Hasbro's toy. I love the Hasbro toys. I'm gonna start collecting more. Uh, but the first ones I have is the Pikachu ones. They're so cool. They're just like memories from, from my childhood. And uh, even got a Pokedex. <laughs> even got the Pokedex. It's so cool. It's like you open it up, and uh, it obviously doesn't work, right? You need a uh, you need batteries. But having all these toys, man, it just it, it feels different. My mom visited me today. She saw all the vintage toys, and she's like, "Ay, mira!" Like it's just like a flood of memories. It was a really nice feeling, and uh, definitely like them. I don't I don't know where to put them in the background because they're like plushes and toys. So uh, I have to figure it out. However, from those toys, I did get some like Burger King uh, packs. And I was like, dude, wouldn't it be cool freaking content if we open those up just like the good old days and see what's inside? <laughs> Obviously, some of them got them sealed like Vix. I know you're in the queue, my friend, and you got them sealed. But uh, Pokeboys got some too. Yo, what's up, Pokeboys? How's it going? Let's go, dude. We got all the legends tonight. And then Pokeboy, shout out to Pokeboys. He sponsored a giveaway. Uh, today and the giveaway is really big. We'll do it a little bit later in the night, but the giveaway packs are big So you got unbroken bond booster box, which is like in high demand Then you got the booster packs, right? Which is always a risk unless it's from a booster box Then you got the sleeve packs, which is more rare, right? Like wow sleeve packs is so cool And then you go into the next level of rarity into the check lane blisters Pokeboys got two of those and the two the best two of the expensive ones too. the Pikachu uh, check lane blisters so this one is the special one, Pokeboys. This one's gonna be for you. This is the one with the swirl. I don't know if you saw Pokeboys, but uh, it's got a swirl right there. Last sold on eBay was like a few days ago. It is actually worth more than I had it on the website on uh, eBay. But uh, yeah, and then the, the swirl they had listed there that sold, it was like halfway. It wasn't even a full swirl. This one's a full swirl, bro. Look at that. that's an actual swirl. That's an actual one right there on top of Pikachu's face. So I think this is a really cool item. Uh, two of those without the swirls will be given away. Dude, I mean, like, look at this. Look at all these, like, uh, check lane blisters. It's freaking amazing. I love it. Love to see all of this awesome stuff. I think I put them right here in the back so I don't forget about them. Yeah, we'll be giving away two of these later on through the night. So big shout out to Pokeboys. I love that guy. Hopefully, I see him soon. I was supposed to meet him uh, last year. Absolute legend. Thanks again, for boy. Yeah, this roll's beautiful, bro. Yeah, like, honestly, some of these stuff, like, it's so hard to find pricing on. Y'all could search it up. It's so freaking hard. I think the the most expensive thing on here is this Greninja. <laughs> honestly, dude, also these Gardevoirs. Captain Buggy, you got one, but they're only listed on eBay for, like, $50, Crazy. I don't. I did. I, I, I saw some sold ones, but it was months away. So uh, pretty cool stuff. Just like really awesome stuff. But we're not here for the check lane. Poker boys got uh, the burger. King. We have a couple of these Burger King packs. We're gonna open up. Uh, Vix rips. I, I put yours in your bag sealed with your other sealed stuff. 
But if you also want to open them up later throughout the stream, just let me know, my friend. Pokeboy says, perfect precision too. Kasten's gonna love it. Oh, dude, it, I knew it was gonna be for Kasten. As soon as I saw the poke, the 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 Pikachu, I knew that was gonna be for him. Juan Ramos says, happy Friday. Happy Friday, Juan Ramos. I hope you're doing well. Oh, Vix, you want to open them? I got to go get them from your box. I got to show you your box. Your box looks amazing. <laughs> I got the queue up here. Uh, we'll wait for everybody to show up later on. So, Valentino, uh, I'll leave your stuff sealed for now. He got the same thing as you, Vix, the toys. So, uh, we'll leave that sealed for him for now. Uh, Vix, you're first. Since you're here, let's get you started. And uh, we'll go throughout the night. Uh, Ash Ketchup might show up today. We're going to open up a Sun and Moon Generations box. And uh, I, I am planning a lot of things for tomorrow's Collecticon video. It's going to be a challenge video. Uh, planning to open some vintage, giving away a slab. And if it does really well, I'll invest more for like personal openings or personal videos fund. And uh, we can do more fun stuff, you know, like as long as i get the support i'll put out more videos uh more frequently <laughs> but like check this out we might be opening this one out it's got two cosmic eclipse and five unified minds crazy dude this is insane <laughs> all right all right vix you're gonna go first my friend let's go get it let, let me get it out of your box So this is Vic's box. He has the toys in here. We got Burger King and another Burger King from the following year. He's got an Evolving Skies tin, a tin that contains two Evolving Sky packs. And then he has that special display box with its original Pokemon uh, case. So this is where it came from, Vix. It's on the original case, just so you know. I left it right here packaged for you. Uh, I'm gonna put your box back. I just wanted to let you know. All right, here we go, guys. Let's get it started. Open Rafa. WH, what's up, WH? Fresh Hats, what's up, Fresh Hats? Dude, yes, uh, it's on its way. Fresh Hats, you ordered one, right? It's it's on its way. So uh, I have two holds for Chris L, one for you and one for Pokemon Pikachu. I only got allocated one carton. So um, yeah, it, it's on its way right now. Uh, I don't know how much they're charging me, but I know it's on its way. All right, here we go, guys. How about we start off with... Uh, ooh, let's do this one first. Let me... Uh, I, I did a little special short in here, so it'll be a lot easier for me to... be a lot easier for me to uh, clip stuff. There it is. Found it. All right. All right, guys, here we go. <laughs> this is a sealed 1999 toy from Burger King. Inside, there's a Pokeball, and then there's a lot of different Pokemons inside the Pokeball. I think the best one is Pikachu. This has been sealed for over 20 years. Let's see if, uh, let's see, let's see what we get inside. I can kind of see like a little like picture with all the Pokemons in there. All right, here we go. It's so funny. There's 57 collectible toys only at Burger King. But then up here it says this bag is not a toy. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's see what we get. Let me actually get my scissors here. I think it's better if I cut it up. Yo, this is so cool. What? It's like I'm a kid again. I remember when I was little, even these toys, sometimes they didn't have it at Burger King. I was really sad because I, I, I told my mom to give me a kid's meal. And they didn't have the toy. I was real upset he spaghetti about it. So there's the Pokeball. And I'm guessing it's a Tauros. Because <laughs> it tells you right here. I'm guessing that's a Tauros. But look how cool this is. It has all the Pokemon there. You got Policaca, Bombasaur, Squirtle. You got Butterfree, Muk. You even got the rare Togepi there that hasn't existed yet. Togepi was not part of the original uh, 150, 151. And then the Pokeball is stuck in there just like a condom. Gotta, ugh, gotta really pull it out. And it's like a keychain too. I'm thinking it's Tauros, bro, but we'll see, we'll see. All right, here we go. Let's see what it is. 
Oh, and it's Clefairy! Clefairy! <laughs> it wasn't Tauros at all! I don't even think they have a Tauros toy here. So, what you do is, them Clefairy toys... You like spin it? I remember these. I ha I still have my Togepi one. You like spin it? Not working. <laughs> Hold on. Nope. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Does it work? Does it spin? It spins! It's spinning! I was never good at Bla Beyblade, guys. Yeah, Cle oh, it's Clefable, not Clefairy. Wait, is it Clefairy? No, it's Clefairy. But it has wings. I think Clefairy has wings anyways. All right, that's, that's still pretty cool. Let's go. All right, let's put it back to his Pokeball. Clefairy! All right, Vix, that was going to be the first one. You gonna clip it right here so you can put it on your, uh, put it like right here. Be cool. With your balls hanging out and stuff. Real nice. <laughs> Dr. Dad Joe says, doing great, man. You playing some Minecraft. Let's go, dude. I love Minecraft. Even to this day, Minecraft is the GOAT. Such, such an awesome game. Uh, Richie Rich, you bought that uh, Lonely Vivid Voltage Pack. Oh, there was only one, huh? <laughs> Let's go, uh, Richie. Yeah, there was only one of those. Uh, and I think there's also like a Lonely uh, Battle Styles. <laughs> All the like the early Sword and Shield sets. All right, so I don't think I can put it back in the bag, bro. It was real tight. Let me just put it like this. I think Clefairy needs to go back in its little bag here. That's so cool, dude. We got a couple of more of these to open. Let's open up the year 2001. So, uh, Vix, you got Clefairy there. Wasn't Tauros at all. Let's go. You have the Golem one. I have a Togepi one. I still have it. I don't have the Pokeball, though. I wish I had the Pokeball. That's what got lost. But I know I have a Togepi one somewhere. All right. Here we go. So a year later, this is the year 2000. Pokemon Power, it has a card. I forgot how many they are. I think about 24 of them. And each one has a, like separate, something that they do. The chase is obviously Lugia. It's uh, promoting the, the movie, the best one, Pokemon 2000. Each one of these Pokemons do a different thing. Like I remember Charmander, it lights up. Pikachu speaks. And I remember something through water. I think it was Mero. Mero uh, or Squirtle, like it squirts water. So it was kind of cool. Let's see what we get in this one from the year 2000. Burger King, here we go. See like, you can kind of see like all the Pokemon that they have right there in the background through the bag. All right, here we go, Vix. It's a bag inside a bag, it looks like. It's a bag inside a bag. There is the Burger King. Pokemon 2000 with uh, your all the ones you want to try to collect. There's my boy Lugia. And then that's where you can put your address. So you can join in the Burger King Kids Club. All right. Yeah, see, like it tells you. All right, let's see what you get, man. Best of luck. I think this is Pikachu, actually. It looks yellow. It looks yellow to me. All right, so I think it's Pikachu, bro. Okay, it's electric. It better not be Zapdos because that's the one I already have. <laughs> I, already, I already have Zapdos. I found it at a thrift store back in like the year 2008. It better not be Zapdos. All right, let's see what it is. I think it's Pikachu though. Pikachu is the better one. Oh, you got Pikachu! Oh, no way! Let's see if it still works. The battery is probably corroded. It's got ash in the background. I, I think the battery is still corroded from all these years, but let's see if it works. Re remove power to use. All right, here we go. Yep, doesn't work. <laughs> hey, it was worth a shot. It was worth a shot. It it don't work. You're supposed to press this button here, and it goes Pikachu or something like that. It does something, and uh, and you, you just leave it like that, and then, like you press it, and it's supposed to talk. All right, so we got one of the cool ones. <laughs> Unfortunately, the battery is dry, bro. It's been 25 years. Come on, man. 25 years, bro. Vismar, what's up, Vismar? Olis, no te he visto desde hace mucho. I haven't seen you in forever. I hope you're doing well. 
Crazy finds, Rafa Hilaria. It's so cool to open. I'm clipping all of these, by the way. These are all going to be shorts. I was ready for this. But it's so cool that, like, uh, it's so cool that we're opening. Man, thank you guys so much for the experience. This is so awesome. I'm so glad we pulled one of the better ones here. Uh, these are all of them. Again, if you guys want to see. The best one is Lugia. That's the one that we really want. Jason Almendra. What's up, Jason? How's it go? Ash Ketchup. What's up, Ash? Hey, we got your box too, Ash. Desde que estaba en Facebook, me perdí. You say you got lost since the Facebook days. <laughs> yeah, I used to stream in Facebook a long time ago. Desde hace mucho en Facebook. Gracias por venir. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'm going to put this in here too, Vix. Just in case you want to put it back in there and preserve it. Uh, we're going to be giving away these two Unbroken Bonds Pikachu Checklane Blisters. Poke Boys donated these for a giveaway. So thank you again, Poke Boys. Seriously appreciate you, bro. I have no idea how generous that is. That's insane. Thank you. And thank you, Vix. Dude, you don't got to th thank me. Thank you for letting me open this for content, bro. This is so freaking cool. It's like such a big throwback. Let's be kids again. When there was no bills, no responsibilities, video games all day. I didn't have to take any uh, Pepto Bismol any, you know, like the good days. Let's go back to the Burger King day. Now, now I eat Burger King, I gotta take uh, Pepto Bismol because my tummy hurts. Not back then. Back then I could eat all the chicken nuggets I wanted. It was like I was, I was like grease resistant. <laughs> All right, where's my water? There, there's the water. Thanks again, Vix, for the fun opening. I'm glad Pikachu, that was a good one. Pikachu was a great one. That was awesome. Clefairy, it's all right. Pikachu, amazing. All right, so we'll wait for Sudden Kitten. We'll wait for Sudden Kitten and Valentino, and we'll go over to Poke Boys. Poke Boys, you'll be next. So I got your tops cards. If you want to open your tops, let me know. I have them in the freezer right now. It does make a difference. I might open them later on as uh, the stream goes on, just so we make sure it's not sticky. I gotta have them there for like another three hours, I think. Uh, we tried it the uh, last time we had the booster box and it worked like a charm. So I think it's better if we open it a little bit later on the stream. But you still have a couple of other things you want me to open, right? I totally forgot what it was. But uh, here, let me, uh, let me fix it up. Let me uh, uh, fix it up here. And then Ash Ketchup, we still we got your box too. I gotta add this to the box. Okay, so we got after Captain Buggy, it's WH. Where'd my thing go? Oh, there it is. Yeah, so these will be giveaway. Next week is Team Up Day. So next week we're gonna open up Team Up and after half a year of not drinking, I'm gonna drink again, it's gonna be awesome. Okay, so this, we got WH afterwards. Then we got uh, Richie Rich. And then Juan Ramos. And then Ash Ketchup. So. But we're skipping Valentino and Sudden Kitten. And we're going straight to Poke Boys. We'll, we're we're going to skip the, the tops. We're going to let it freeze a little bit longer. So just so it has the best condition when we open. It's not sticky. That's the best way to do it for sure. All right, Poke Boys. Okay, so you got the Burger King, you got the tops, and you got a uh, Pikachu with a swirl. We can leave it sealed if you want to. The Pikachu with a swirl sealed, I think that's the best choice, but we can always open it if you want, if you really want it, like, loose like that. Let's open up another toy. Poker Space, thank goodness it's Friday, and there's the raw Dude, you know it, man. You know there's a Rafa stream. So I'm going to have a straight schedule in the future. I want Fridays, Wednesdays, Sundays, and Wednes uh, Wednesdays, Fridays, Sundays, and Mondays. That's ideally what I want in the future. Let's go. We got all the legends. Ash Ketchup Space. What's the next day in the week that it's the stream? So I want to do Monday, but I might be editing the video for, that I'm filming tomorrow. But other than that, it's Wednesday. So I want to do Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then Sunday. Like at least four through a week is what I want to do for sure. Unless I'm like really short on inventory or something. 
Vix Roots with the eight month support. Let's go. Rafa, you're the GOAT. No, Vix, you're the GOAT. Thank you so much for supporting, bro. Making it possible for everybody. Let's go, dude. I can't wait to see you on uh, sometime in the summer. <laughs> I want to see uh, Vix Roots there. Juan Ramos, you joined the queue. I'll put you down here. All right, guys. Here we go. We got a 1999 Burger King pack. A collectible toy inside every single pack with a Pokemon inside. I think there's about 57 different Pokemons you can pull from these. And uh, let's see if we can pull the Pikachu. This is for Pokeboys. His son loves Pikachu, so I really want to pull him the Pikachu. Come on. Come on, Pokeboys. Here we go. So here's a little, like, little Pokemon with a button here. have no idea what this is. It didn't do nothing, and I don't remember these at all, but I do remember that Pokeball. You got Jigglypuff as the the number. Oh, it's got like something in the back too. Mewtwo Strikes Back, <laughs> promoting the movie, the very first movie in the year 1999. All the Pokemons in the back, and uh, let's see. See what it is. Are you ready? All right, it's wrapped. It's gonna be. It's Tauros! It's so funny because the last one wasn't Tauros. The last one was Clefairy. So this one has uh, like little wheels there. I don't know if y'all can see. So we got a Tauros toy from Burger King. This one looks like you go like this and then it moves. Or it just moves forward. Oh, it's got a spring there. It's got his butt crack. It's got a little butt crack so you can stick, really stick it in Tauros. And then he just, he just goes, man. He, that little spring. Oh, you know what? It probably is this. All right, so like the Tauros, you have to penetrate them from the back. You gotta like really uh, stick it in there, and then and then he just like he just like. <laughs> Yo, that's actually really cool. Yeah, so stick it in his butthole, and then. <laughs> Yo, this is kind of fun. Yeah, that's so cool! <laughs> no, no wonder this thing was included. Alright, that makes sense. Let's go, Poker Boys. I, like, I actually like this more than Clefairy. Ash Ketchup, I saw that, man. Thanks again for the payment. We're gonna open that for sure. So, uh, Buggy, you're next. And uh, after that, WH, Juan Ramos, Richie, Juan Ramos, and then Ash Ketchup. The queue is relatively short, guys. Uh, Poke Boys, we're gonna wait a little bit longer for your tops cards. And let me know if you wanna open the Pikachu with the swirl. If you wanna keep it sealed. We'll wait a little bit longer just so for sure, for sure it is not, maximize it not being sticky because some of those cards graded 10 are very, very expensive. All right, so this is for Poke Boys. Let's go. Yo, he's like, no! Okay, I, I need to watch my language. Oh my goodness. Hi, Kasten. <laughs> Charles, what's up, Charlie? Charlie, how's it going? Poe Boy's working, twerking nonstop. Is that that collection you got? Dude, it's so cool, huh, Focus Space? All those Pokemon toys, so much vintage. And uh, the Striker Tin did come in, uh, Space. You have two sealed cases of the Striker Tins and then your sealed 151 display as well. That's what I have in your box. All right, here we go. Let's, uh, let's do Captain Buggy. So that was a lot of cool vintage stuff. I clipped three videos there. Oh, wait, and then uh, Poke Boys again. We're gonna be doing a giveaway of these two blister packs for uh, those that stick around. We'll have some more of those fun, fun openings. Up next, we got Captain Buggy. My boy, Captain Buggy with the Roaring Skies Checkling Blister Pack. Captain Buggy, let me know if you want that opener seal and a uh, Paradox Rift. So we'll do the Paradox Rift first. And then the Roaring Skies, potentially, if you still want that open. I uh, gotta see you soon, bro, so I can give you your box. And uh, Captain Buggy, me and him did a trade for uh, Generation Pack. Alright, this is the last one in the case. Oh, you want to open it? Alright. Alright, bro. Oh, that's the wrong one.
All right, so the Roaring Skies Blister Pack features a Guard of War Hollow, a shiny Guard of War Cosmos Hollow. So the Hollow is different from the one that you pull. It's a Cosmos Hollow, and it's a shiny Guard of War, which I think is really cool. You got the evolution line there, and your Roaring Skies Pack is uh, in there. And it's by the Pokemon Company. Like all of these, this is how check lane blisters used to look like X and Y and early sun and moon. That's how they used to look like. Yeah, let's do Paradox Rift first. And then we'll go ahead and uh, do the, do your X and Y Roaring Skies for the good luck. Let's see if we can finally pull you a chase card. Paradox Rift wasn't good to you. The other Temporal Forces was, but Paradox Rift, man, gotta do better than that. Rafa, can you hold on opening mine till I'm, yeah, dude, absolutely. I'm down for that WA, dude, take it. Take your time, bro. I'm gonna put a little star here just so, uh, I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna put like a little star. Say hi to all the peeps over there, WH. Uh, I'll wait for you when you come back, okay? So after this, we'll just do Richie, Juan Ramos, and then Ash Ketchup. Yeah, thanks for the heads up. Awesome looking set set, Charlie. Dude, Paradox Rift is awesome. Paradox Pokemon are one of my favorites. When I'm older and uh, I'm looking back in Pokemon history, just like how we are looking back in these uh, Burger King toys, I'm gonna be like, dude, Paradox Pokemon, they was the shit, man, I love them. All right, here we go. Hola, Capitan. Hola, NASA. Bienvenido. Welcome back. All right, we're going to put this to the side right here just so, like, it focuses over here. And uh, here we go. Captain Buggy. I know you've been having a hard time with work and business, bro. I'm, I'm about to make your night. I'm about to make your night. We're opening up that baby space. Migrate the promos. Dude, the front looks perfect, Ash. The front looks perfect as long as uh, as long as the rest, the back looks good, then I think you should grade them. The front, I mean, I sent you pictures, right? The promos from the front look amazing. Elekid, Nimble, Durant, Technical Machine, Wug Trio, Wiglet, Wiglet again, but a different art. <laughs> With two freaking Wiglets. And the Milotic, Hollow Rare. Put all the hollows here to the side. And then we got Poke Boys. With the 21 months support. What year is it, dude? Poke Boys. Thank you so much for the support, bro. All these freaking months. That's insane. Much love. Very much appreciated. Thank you and Casting for being part of the journey since day one. Since day one of YouTube, that's when I met you. Back in the celebration days. All right, let's put the code cards here. You got fire in here. Throw that away. We have Mantite. Professor, Turo, Rika, Nimble, The Fox, and Brew Bonnet. You gotta go through a lot, a lot of normal hollows before you start pulling like the alternate arts. <laughs> it's pack number three. We're still in the beginning. After this, we got the Roaring Skies to open. I'm gonna put this right here. Giveaways uh, from Poke Boys and Casting. So that's gonna be real fun. You got your PSA 10 rod arm from Paradox Rift. Wait, 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 you bought that, Ash? This one's a really good card. Uh, Counter Catcher, Loudred, Magby. All right. Yeah, dude, you bought it, Ash Catcher? Why you never tell me that? That card is amazing. That Groudon art rare is one of the best art rares in Scarlet and Violet. It's Groudon, bro. Looks so good. Donde aprendiste español, Capitan? Spanish was my first language. Es mi primer lenguaje. Soy Mexica. Soy de México. <laughs> I'm from Mexico. It's my first language. Goldengo EX. It's one of the better ones. Goldengo. We're looking for gold just like this guy right here. We're going for the gold cards. That's one of the better EXs. You want to get the good EXs if you're going to just pull an EX. That's sweet, Ash. I'm still trying to pick up Groudon for your master set. Yeah, Groudon is awesome. That's the best art rare in this set. No doubt. I think the best art rares are in Scarlet and Violet 151, Paradox Rift, and Paldea Evolve. For like normal art rares, not, not talking about alternate arts. I think those are the best ones for sure. The Magikarp, the Raichu, the Tyranitar from Paldea Evolve. This set has a lot of great ones, a lot of them. And, uh, but EV Tool and Groudon are the best. They're the best. Shogun, what's up, Shogun? How's it going? You won a bid on eBay, remember? Oh, that's right, you did. That was you. Do that. You know, I actually bid it on that. But I think it ended at like $200. I was like, dang. <laughs> but like when it was at like $150, it 
Age Slash and Latios. I was like, dude, maybe nobody will put in more money. Little did I know Ash Ketchup was part of the bidding. I like the two connecting art in Paris. I, I really like Saucebug too. Saucebug looks amazing. Got Age Slash there. Yo, what's up, Nessa? How's it going, Vane? Hi, Rafa. What's up? What's up? How's it going? Welcome, welcome. Hopefully, everybody's having a great start to their weekend. We have nothing but garbage. Oh, no, look, you got a full art. Chantal. She's not really tall, but she's Chantal. Full art, Chantal. That's, that's just a full art. Let's see if we can get something better than that. Rafa, you want to do something special for the two-year membership milestone. You just don't know what yet, lol. Hey, dude, we'll talk about it. We'll do, like, some, like, opening or something. Something fun. Yeah, let me know what you're interested in. And, uh, dude, it'd be awesome if you just come over. Uh, you said your brother lives over here, right? Got evil. Shogun says, I got three Japanese, but why? Yeah, Mayonesa is such a Her name is Vanessa. And she just put Mayo in the front, which is kind of funny. Ah, <laughs> uh, también soy de México. Es todo. Viva México. I'm from Mexico too. Let's see if we stop pulling garbage here. We're gonna pull. We're gonna open up. Uh, we're gonna be opening up. Uh, <laughs> Roaring skies after this booster box. We did some of the McDonald's earlier. We did some of the McDonald's openings. It was so cool. We might have a few more. Actually, we do have two more packs to open when Sudden Kitten gets here. He's got the 1999 and 2000 packs. You paid 165 in total for the grab. Oh, really? Damn, no. So we're talking about a different time than Ash. You're saying 165 in total? Yeah, we're. The one that I lost to was like 200 bucks, like before taxes. So we're thinking about two different like time frames then. God, Esparta. You must have got it for a cheap deal. Vanessa's like, my mom's from Mexico. Ooh. Charlie says, I got first hit in Roaring Skies. You got your first hit from Roaring Skies? Was it the... Ooh, look at that! It's alternate art! Would you look at that? It's one of the better ones, too. Professor Sada's Vitality. Mommy Sada. Quite literally. Dommy Mommy. Damn, she's gorgeous. Too bad she's dead. We have the small live, we have the palmy, we got Dommy Mommy. She's looking at a book. She's looking at Raffalation 69420. And the uh, condition looks amazing. Condition looks amazing. Let's go. Can we get another one? Dude, I remember that. It was Rayquaza EX. It was the full art Rayquaza. I remember that. All right, so that's the first alternate art of the night. Can a brother pull something better? Art rare Groudon. Since we're talking about Groudon, I think we're going to pull Groudon. There's still two more art rares to be pulled from this box. This is one I have never pulled before, so it's kind of cool to pull it right now. Professor's uh, Vitality. Muchos Mexicanos aquí, es todo. Lots of Mexicans here. Got, go over there. You got Wiglet, the Hanger Gang. And we got nothing. A whole lot of nothing. Come on. Oh, also, I changed the playlist. I got more Pokemon songs in there. What's up, Juan Ramos? I hope you're doing well, bro. Juan Ramos is going to do better once I pull him the chase card from his packs that I forgot what he get got. We have Magby. Come on, Buggy. You got Iron Moss. I believe in you, Captain Buggy. Believe in me that believes in you. Throw it away. Put this over here. Throw it away. We have McClee. Living like Larry, Crocalor, Horsey, and Mousehold. We're almost halfway through the booster box. I haven't... We're, we're starting from the right side. We haven't uh, cleared out the right side yet. There's about four more packs till we're halfway. Roaring Skies is next. We're going to have Unbroken Bonds. Uh, check lane blisters for giveaways. Thank you, Poker Boys, again for blessing the stream, helping the community in more ways than one. Flygar! Come on. Garchomp Seeker Rare! That's not so bad. Garchomp pretty good. 
I think you already have him though. Garchomp Seeker Rare. Not so bad yet. We'll take it. Did you figure out the shipping? Oh, no, Ash. So after tonight, I'll figure it out. I have to... It's because it's about weight. So uh, I'll put in whatever you're going to get tonight. So your box. Weigh it out. Package it. Play Tetris with it. And then uh, I can quote you afterwards. I have pretty much everything figured out. I just have to put what you opened today inside of it. And then recalculate how heavy it is. Yeah, I got you though, Ash. We have Roark and Garbage. Boy, do I love pulling Garbage. It's my favorite thing ever. Nothing like pulling nothing from a booster box. Come on. So year two will be Independence Day. Just Dude, really? That's crazy. Dude, I'm down for that, Poker Boys. You know, Tim is coming over in a few days. My birthday's on the 12th. I think he's here on the 8th. So, uh... I'd love to meet all of you guys one day. Put that right there. I know we're very limited because we're all over the world. <laughs> so conventions is probably the best like bet. Dr. Dad jokes. Me? Melanie says, hey, what's up, Melanie? The eighth is the solar eclipse. I hear the Fire Nation can't fire Ben during that day. We have Vanillite. That's when we strike. We have Vanillite. Cedra, Simipore, Zebstrika, Luxurious Cape, Elekid, Brew Bonnet, and Ele 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 Ste Jefferson Steelix. Jefferson Steelix, Hollow Rare. Not so bad yet. We got two art rares so far. Look at all these energies. All right, so we're officially halfway through. And again, guys, we'll be giving these two away. Uh, for those that stick around, two of the Checklane Blister Pikachu promos. About $28 value there per blister. All right, here we go. We're halfway. But it says Dr. Dad Joe's wasn't... What, how was the trip? Dr. Dad says it was a while ago. Nice. Ash Ketchum went on vacation too. Garbage. Dwebble! And a absolutely nothing there. Come on. Can't wait to go through your hits. Bro, you have so many good things that in there, bro. Yeah, your box, you're going to really like your box. It has a lot of goodies. The binders are bad A, bro. Like when you see them, you're going to be like, you're, you're probably going to order more depending how much you collect. But like, I don't even have that many binders. And uh, I want to buy more. Like, my binders are not even filled up, and I want to buy more. Just because they look so cool. I love those binders. The zipped up bindle binders. They're, like, very fancy. Okay, we got nothing. Throw it away. We have Punkaboo. And a Groudon. The wrong one. I forget how many, like, hollows Paradox Rift gives you. God damn. You know the amount of Unbroken Bond check lane blisters I opened and had the Eevee promo in it? Maybe like four? Gligar! Earth and Vessel so good. Medical energy for when you're sick. And Iron Jugglies. Iron Jugglies. Come on. You have already like 10 binders filled. That's crazy, Ash. I can believe it, bro. Over the two years that I've met you, I think... I think you're the one that had the most master sets, like since Fusion Strike. Main Foo! Gibble! And nothing! <laughs> Come on. Throw that away, put this over here. Bro, I've opened up so much black and white when I was a competitive player. I'm starting to be one again. I made it to the Ultra Bot tier. Real proud of that. But uh, when I was a competitive player in black and white, bro, I opened so much Plasma Storm base. I pulled so I had N full art like three times. I pulled it. Galissopod. Imagine if it graded a 10. I didn't know. I didn't even know grading was a thing back then. But N, bro, like that's a 10. That's like two grand. I don't even uh, see the check lane. It's over here. I don't put it in the background because uh, it doesn't focus. This camera is kind of stupid, like like its owner. So it doesn't focus on the cards. And my computer is that way. It's kind of hard to like uh, keep track of it. Got another hollow. So I'll put them here to the side. 
See, like over here with the booster box. Right there. Those, those are going to be the ones that are given away. I put it to the side because then it doesn't focus. It's real dumb. All right, here we go. It's going to be electric energy. Dang it. Rim Raid. I think the greatest revelation I had as a kid was Rim Raid evolved into an octopus. Never realized it until later on in life. Sandy Shocks. The three magnetons with hair from the 80s. Let's go. You said you decided not to master set anything anymore. My brother was here when we opened the last box you sent and he was mind blown. Now imagine if you kept the bulk. Dude, yes. So if Ash Ketchup or you Poke Boys kept the bulk. Bro, I I think only two people in my channel. No, no, three now. There's three people in my channel that keep bulk. And it's a tremendous amount. Where like packaging it is crazy. And uh, that is Poke Space, Liminal, and Captain Buggy. Captain Buggy's so easy though because he lives in Houston. I go drop it off at his house. But Poke Space, bro, how big was your box last time? Like, that was like, a, I want to say that was like a 50 pound box I sent. 50 pounds. It was so heavy. And it had some worse ones before. Uh, Liminal, I think his was 26 pounds. So, I mean, I've had people with huge boxes. Not many, but I have had them before. Whitmer! Hollow Zekrom! Zekromi! You decided not to master anything anymore, lol. Actually, I'm gonna do something here real quick. I I'm gonna uh, take away the subscriber only mode in a little bit. Technical machine. I forgot to do that before the stream started. Bomberbiter. Daniel Gomez. What's up, Daniel Gomez? Keeping bulk is not worth it, to be honest. It's worth it for me as a seller. I do get like a little bit out of it from eBay. Kind of like these cards right here that Captain Buggy uh, donated. So like these cards are very playable. You could either use them for decks or you could put them on eBay. And then you get a little bit out of it on the days where it's low. You don't have any product. So it helps me tremendously. But I see the value when you're not a player and you don't have time to sell. Like, I get it. So I really appreciate all the donations. Um, let me, uh, let me take away the subscriber only mode, guys. Again, we'll be giving these two away. Shout out to Poke Boys. Baby, here we go. All right, actually, Daniel Gomez is the GOAT. He's always been the GOAT since day one. Do you even lift, bro? Nah, bro, I don't lift. I don't do nothing like that. I just open up Pokemon cards. That's, that's Eat a lot of protein, drink a lot of caffeine, and open up Japanese kids playing cards for kids at your mom's house at 3 a.m. in the morning. That's my routine. That's what you got to do to stay well and fit and, and, and handsome. We have Troxicity. It's too much work and expensive. Yup. I feel that. Your box had to be delivered by a helicopter. That's right, bro. Poker space. I had to go. Uh, I had to go get the helicopter and had to call my my good friend, uh, Steve Handjobs. Got to tell him if I could borrow his helicopter. Got to get my Ojo board. Talk to him. He said yeah, and uh, yeah, that's how I got a 40, 50 pound box deliver to him we have nothing let's see we have gibble and we have a hollow porygon 2 for captain buggy captain buggy says i keep both because i give them to the kids learning center parents can't afford to buy pokemon all the time so i give them the cards him that's a lot of value i know that uh captain buggy you did tell me that uh some of the bulk i have especially japanese i give it to my mom when she goes to mexico she hasn't gone in a while but when she goes to mexico she takes it with her Christian De Leon with the helicopter, Focus Space, CRS, Daniel Gomez, Focus Space, and everybody. What up? So glad to see everybody here. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. More Pico, more Pikachu La Cola. That was a bad joke. And we got a gifted membership, Shogun. Shogun, thank you so much for the gifted membership. Why didn't it show up here? Oh, there it is. <laughs> 
Thank you so much, Shogun. You absolute legend. I really appreciate that. Thanks for blessing up the channel. Supporting me, supporting YouTube, and uh, tossing a coin to the dang streamer. That Manti, the monkey, the donso, Valenzuela. You have Whoa Chine. Main Shao is your final art rare, and Esparta. Yo, what's up, Tim? How's it going, dude? How's it going, Tim? Thank you so much for stopping by, bro. Let's go. Ashka says, I've been sorting your bulk lately. Flying the sense to Safari Zone. My owner says, okay, Rafa, I just ordered temporal packs. All right, so Vane, what you're saying is, I better pull you something or else, or else you're going to go TP my house, huh? You're saying the next time I go to a convention and you're there, Brooke ain't going to be so nice, huh? <laughs> he ain't gonna be yo ho ho hoing. Got Flamigo, Phoebus, and Galissapod. Thanks so much for supporting, Vane. I really appreciate that. You don't want to know. I'm tired of this snow. Oh, yeah, dude. You're almost here in Houston, bro. Ain't never snow in here. Ain't never snow. So you'll get a quick break here uh, in the future. The Fox. And Latios. Hollow. Anybody want a pack battle? Y'all let me know if you guys want to start a pack battle. We'll start writing them, writing names down. Yeah, let me know what you guys want to do for a pack battle. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll start promoting it. And nothing. Gargle. Gargle Knackle. Hollow Rare. That was the last one. That was the last one, Captain Buggy. We'll go over all your pools. You did get an alternate art, though, which is real nice. We still have Roaring Skies, so so if you were expecting something else, don't worry. You still have some luck in your side. These were like the big hits here. You got Main Shao, the, the Chinese fighter kung fu uh, fer ferret fighter. You have Toxtricity rocking away. You got Bumberbiter hitting you with its third arm. You have Sandy Shock's full art. You got a Galissal pause. You got Brew Bonnet Art Rare. Very nice. You have Garchomp. Are chomping on these nuts. You have Mouse Hole, Serena, Chantal, Aegislash, and Goldengo. That's not so bad. Hey man, we'll take that. That's not terrible at all. You got five EXs. You got three R rares. You got three full arts. And your alternate art there. It's not so bad. Kind of, and then a bunch of hollows, bro. So many hollows. We got to count them all up. Dude, I got a lot of Pokemon music on. Bro. Gen 5 music is god tier. Yeah, I love Gen 5. Mayonesa says, Brooke ain't going to be so nice next time I'm at a convention. Yeah, Mayonesa, she cosplays Brooke. She was the Brooke to my Luffy for like a decade of when I used to go to conventions all the time. When they were cheap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Got a lot of hollows here. 5, 10, 15, 21, uh, 27 hollows. Your local card store had a good deal. 1,000 bulk cards for 10 bucks. Oh, that is a good deal for sure. That is a great deal. For $10, bro? That's insane. That's an insane good deal. I think people, normal people, like, even if they don't collect bulk, like, they'll still buy that. Yeah, the Gen 5 OST is golden. 100% agree. 100, 100%. All right, guys, we're going to be opening up uh, Roaring Skies. I think Gen 5 and Gen 2 have the best music soundtrack. So good. Gen 3, bro. I'm sorry. Sorry. I think Gen Gen 5 and Gen 3 have the best. Gen 2 is overall my favorite. But in terms of just music, Gen 5 and Gen 3 have the best songs. That over there. How do you not jam out to fighting Rayquaza, you know? All right. Captain Boogie. Let's go, bro. You still got you still, still got roaring skies. The skies are still roaring. Y'all remember when roaring skies used to be a lot cheaper? 2020, 2021. The, the good old days, you could pick up roaring skies four hundred dollars booster box, three fifty if you're lucky. If they really wanted to get rid of it. Roar X and Y has a uh, a lot more fans now. People really like X and Y all of a sudden. They said X and Y was so good. I think the cards are amazing. The video games, not the best. 
in my opinion. Other than the Megas, they did have the best mechanic. I think Megas were the best. But other than that, yeah. The cards were god tier. Full art. Yume Niki to Niki is goaded OSD. I have no idea what that is. Yume Niki? Isn't that like a show about a girl that's crazy? She's like 14, but then she turns into a god. And then she kills her boyfriend because she doesn't want to be alone or something like that. Something about a diary. And then they have cell phones and they go kill each other. That's an actual anime. I think that's what it's called. To Niki or something like that. All right, let's put it over there. We have Professor's Vitality. Put this away. Captain Buggy, don't worry, man. We got Roaring Sky. Let's go. It, it sounds incredibly distressing. It was. It was like this pink haired girl and they're, they're like playing a game where like the last one standing wins. But, but, but then like something happens and then she's obsessed with this one guy. He's like a guy with a beanie. He's a dweeb. And then, like, the guy becomes a god. And uh, I forgot. It was It's an old anime. Something Nikki. Something Nikki, but there was no menage in it. All right, here we go. Bardivore, Pack Art, a 2015 Check Lane Blisters of Roaring Skies. This one features the shiny Bardivore. So don't worry, even if we're opening this, you at least get a hollow. <laughs> Let's see what else we can pull from it, from this uh, awesome check lane blister. I'm gonna have to uh, poke at it a little bit, just cause uh, opening this is not so easy. Hey, speaking of Gen Six, it's Gen Six music. All right, there it is. This is the uh, Roaring Skies pack, and then these are the cards from uh, the promos. All right, so back then, they really did suck at putting promos on. I'm going to leave it like this for now, Captain Buggy. They really did be sucking, man. All right, here we go. Best of luck. Captain Buggy, Roaring Skies, released in the year 2015. Can a brother pull something big? And later on, we'll be uh, giving away two Unbroken Bonds, Pikachu check lane blisters to a lucky viewer. Uh, Tim, you said, is there any Crimson yet? Uh, I'm not gonna get Crimson Haze. I don't think there's enough demand for me to buy, like, cases. The Japanese distributor makes me buy so much. I'm gonna just wait till it comes out in English. So, I will not be having the Japanese, uh, Pokemon set, the newest one, anytime soon. Or at all. But thank you guys so much for asking. The next new set I'll have is probably either One Piece, Bandai, or, um... Pokemon Masquerade. Ma ma Masquerade. The English version of that. All right, here we go. Roaring Skies 2015. Ride the Winds of Battle. I'm trying to ride the Winds of Battles, but it's not letting me. Here we go. All right, let's uh, kind of snip it away. Ooh, okay. So back then it was three. One, two, three. Put to the front. Here we go. Oh, dude, I love Steven. I like that guy. Steven. You got Tropius. Ultra Ball, so good, bro. Ultra Ball. Dude, Captain Boy, that's such a good one. Let's try. Back on on these nuts. Letchley. Wingo. Not too. Nincada, and in the back for Captain Buggy on the Roaring Skies pack. He got a Talon Flame non hollow rare. It's all right, Captain Buggy. You at least got the promos. Back in the X and Y days, there was no green code card. They were all white. Now that I'm remembering. Hey, bro, at least you got you got the Ultra Ball. The Ultra Ball is not so big yet. Search for any Pokemon, discard two cards in your hand. Right, let's let's take a look at the promos. Definitely Paradox Rift did better. You might have a chance of winning the Unbroken Bonds too. So stay tuned for that. Alright, so this is the route. From the promo. That's the route. The route was the only one that was hold, uh, getting held together. This one's the Curlia. She's praying. 
praying a little bit too late for it but she was trying to pray for you to pull the full art and then you have the guard of Got the Guard of War Hollow, beautiful card. It's like Cosmos Hollow Guard of War. Very nice. Alright, we're gonna put this one to the side like this. And we're gonna put these two with the Ninkata. Just so they're not like all tangled up. The focus space says you still got a Japanese 151 sealed. Uh, 151 sealed. Are you getting the EBO one? Yes, I am. I'll be getting the new uh, One Piece sets for sure. Focus Space Soul got 151 boost box sealed with the FE One Piece box. Dude, the One Piece, the first edition One Piece box is insane. It's so expensive, like tremendously expensive. And then you know they're not reprinting one through four. They're reprinting five though. All right, let's put this with uh, the Maridon. Put them over here. You guys are playing the waiting game. Yo, speaking about the waiting games, have you guys seen the Sword and Shield sets? How, m Dude, over the week I wasn't streaming, I sold Fusion Strike for 220. I sold Chilling Rain for like 210. I sold a Brilliant Star, that was my bad. So I sold my Brilliant Stars for 155 throughout the weekend. I didn't know it went up in price. So, uh, I bought two from my distributor. Distributor limits you two per week. And they upped the price recently because those sets are, like, very expensive now. So, I will have two booster boxes of those uh, on the website soon. But it's going to be more expensive than 155 because pretty much 155 is what I get them at now from my distributor. But, yeah, Sword and Shield sets are crazy right now. It's insane. Elixir, what's up, dude? They should be doing OP01, OP05 in a new product called Treasure Pack. I agree. I think they should. 100%. The more that they reprint One Piece, the better, right? Right now, at least. I think right now, uh, definitely way better to just reprint it. Got the little Genesis coin. Captain Boogie, thanks again for the fun openings, bro. They have already announced it for certain regions. Yeah, so I know for sure I'm going to get OP05, OP06, and OP07 because they're reprinting 5 and 6. They're not reprinting 4 and under, but they're reprinting the other ones. Here, Captain Buggy. Get you a new baggie. Yo, Replay, what's up, man? Yeah, so they told my distributor to send me an email. Uh, June 05, 06 is july and then 07 i think is august or 05 again in august so it's finally getting it's gonna be like evolving skies where there's so much demand doesn't really matter it's not gonna affect the price tremendously it'll still be expensive but at least it'll be cheaper for now All right, captain buggy. thanks again for supporting captain buggy and uh best of luck on poke boys giveaway Up next, we have WH. We're skipping WH and we have Richie Rich. Richie Rich, are you ready? <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, there's going to be reprints. We needed them. We needed the reprints. But I mean, I could show you guys the email eventually. Uh, distributor sent an email to everybody that has an account. And they told, you, they told me to send how much I want. I got 48 for the June. No, no, I think I got 36. 36 boxes for June. 48 for 06 in July and then another 36 for 05 in August. Kind of spread them out. One Piece has to be the hottest anime on the... Oh, absolutely is the hottest anime. Other than Dragon Ball? Absolutely, bro. One Piece is a monster worldwide. I don't think it's at its full potential in the, in the West, here in the United States. Just wait, bro. Like, it, when people just start watching One Piece and you'll realize how great it is. All right, Richie Rich. I totally forgot what you got. <laughs> Future Strike. Oh no, that's not Future. That's Vivid Voltage. Vivid Voltage. Vivid Voltage and then three packs of OP07. Next 
Let's see how hot the loose packs are today. Three packs of OP07. Let's open up OP07 first. After Richie Rich, we got Juan Ramos. And then we have Ash Ketchup. Yeah, Poke Boys, just haven't decided what set, lol. Mayonesa says, where am I in the queue? Yeah, let me check, uh, uh, Vane. It shouldn't be too long. We have the green hair woman. And then you got a hollow. Let me, let me update the, let me update this guy. Let me update. I'm gonna flip this to the side. So right now we're at Richie. After Richie, we have Juan Ramos. Then we have Ash Ketchup. Then after Ash Ketchup, we got Vane. 10 packs for Vane, Elixir, and Steven G. Elixir, and then Let's go. So that's what I have right now. I'm not counting the people that I skipped, like WH. Poke Boys, you have your uh, tops cards. We'll wait a little bit longer on that so it could freeze up. Sudden Kid and Valentino. That's going to be later through the night. All right, here we go, Richie. Oh, yeah, that, we're not done with One Piece. <laughs> here we go. Juan Ramos says, Rafita, can you skip me over until I. Yeah, dude, absolutely. If y'all want me to skip y'all over, it's not a problem. So then we have Ash and then Vane. We get to skip Juan Ramos. Yeah, that's the queue. That's the queue right now. From what it looks like. We have a hollow. We have one more pack. Let's see if we can snipe something here for you, Richie. Come on. Just like Elixir, man. Elixir be sniping all the time. Even in the free packs I put in for him. We have the woman. You have the little girl, you have Luffy, you have a guy, and you got Sabo. So you got three hollows there. Those three packs were duds. No alternate art, no leader. But the Vivid Volchich has a, a shiny Pikachu. Not a shiny, a rainbow Pikachu. So that's gonna make up for everything, right? Put that over there so we don't spoil ourselves. Card trick is four, one, two, three, four. Here we go, Richie. Come on. Memory Capsule, Giraffe Rig, Ele Electric, Bubble Pop Electric, Rack Rail, Blitzel, Skadoo, Skadoosh, Rock Rough again, and Fruit Loops. Non-Hollow Rare Fruit Loops. Yeah, me too, Toucanon. Me too. That was duds, man. I'm sorry, Richie Rich. I thought I was going to snipe you something there. So, uh, can you show the crew the pack with the scroll? That thing, oh, it's gorgeous, yeah. So these two will be given away, guys. And Poke Boys, Poke Boys gifted these to the community. I'm gonna show his. The swirl is gorgeous. It's so beautiful. I I'll show it to you in a bit. R.I.P. Toucan, Toucan Sam. That was his name, right? Toucan Sam? I think that was his name. Alright, Richie. Fruit Loops! I hope you got milk, because you got nothing but Fruit Loops here. Put that away for you, Rich. This is the Pikachu one, Poke Boys. So this is the one with the swirl. It's got a Pop Leo coin. The other one's the two. It's got, it actually has Machamp and Marshadow as a pack art. And the Pikachu has a Galaxy swirl right there. Let's see if I could uh, show it off a little better. Y'all see that? Ah, how did, how did I have it last time? There it is. Like right there, the galaxy swirl, beautiful dude. Cos Cos Hollow is Cosmos and then the galaxy swirl right above Pikachu's head. 
That looks real sick. So beautiful. Yeah, I agree. There's one more. There's a whale lord that I have that also has a, 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 a swirl, but it's a whale lord. So I didn't bother. You know, it's whale lord. But there is a whale lord pack that I have that also has a swirl. For those that love whales. All right, let's put this away for you, Pokemon. I'm gonna put it in your bag for now and I'll make you a box after the stream. Let's go. All right, so up next then we have Ash Ketchup. No, we Juan Ramos has skipped, right? Yeah, Ash Ketchup, you're next then. Is Ash still here? We got a crazy opening for Ash. We got a crazy, crazy opening for Ash. Put this away for you, Richie Rich. Thanks again for supporting Richie. I really appreciate each and every one of you guys here right now. Thank you guys so much for sharing the moment with me. All right. And then after Ash, we have Van Vane. Don't go anywhere, Vane. I'm going to put you some heat. All right, guys. <laughs> we got something crazy here for Ash Ketchup. This is a Generations box. It's got seven packs, two of which are Cosmic Eclipse and five Unified Minds. A super rare box with two very well-centered promos. As long as the back looks great, I think we should be able to grade them. So here we go. Let's do a little bit of plastic surgery on these, okay? Ash Ketchup, best of luck, dude. This didn't even make it to the website. <laughs> All right, let's see what I can pull. It's an Ivy and Venusaur, the Snake and Frog. What a combination this is. All right, Chad, come on. I need to. I need to see me some good pulls from these. Cosmic Eclipse, dude, has some of the best cards in all of Sun and Moon. Not counting Team Up, right? Because Team Up has crazy chases, but overall, Cosmic Eclipse has the, the, the better pool. Oh, and it's got a playmat too! Oh my goodness! I forgot about that. Bro, that playmat looks amazing. Alright, so let's uh let's do it little by little here. Ooh, okay, so. The promos are just coming out by themselves, dude. That's a good sign. Like, I'm just opening up the, the box right now, and it looks like the promos weren't even stuck into... into the plastic, like they usually are. That's a good sign. I'm, like, trying to lift up this uh, plastic thing. Carefully. Okay, let's lift it up. See? Usually, this one doesn't have it, but usually the promos are stuck with two plastic things, like holders. This one doesn't have any holders, which is a great thing. They're on another little piece of plastic, which I hope those don't have holders either. I don't know if y'all can see. Oh, wait, I'm in the big camera. I'm so dumb. It's like in one of these. So we're going to put this here to the side. Dude, that coin looks amazing. It's the sexy fox with Charizard. Put it over there. We have Cosmic Eclipse. Cosmic. So, like, if you keep the pack sealed, you pretty much have half the box value already as it is. Or a little bit over half, since Unified Minds is very expensive now. And then the promos. A good value here. Holy moly. Five packs of Unified Minds. Five. Unified Minds alone is over 100 bucks with five of them. And uh, your code card that you will not be needing. You got a really cool jumbo card because you totally collect those. And then you get a play mat. The play mat looks sick. It's Charizard, Venusaur, and Blastoise with their tag team partners. Um, I think the box shows it. It looks like this like that so that's the play mat it's this right here the play mat is a 
Blastoise, Charizard, and Venusaur. So really cool play mat here. Woo! Yeah, the play mat's sick. You got a jumbo card. It's the sexy fox and Charizard. Of course it is. Two of the best starters. It's really nice. So that's gonna be the jumbo card. I'm put it here to the side for now. I'll put it in your box afterwards. You got your five packs of Unified Minds, two packs of Cosmic Eclipse, and now let's see if the promos are good to uh, just like kind of. Hopefully they're not stuck on anything. It doesn't look like they are. Okay, so we're just gonna like see. Oh, they weren't. Thank goodness. Okay, okay, okay. That's really good. I was actually afraid these were like they were holding them together. That's usually what kills these promos. All right, let's take a quick look at them, okay? So we looked at the front already. The front looks amazing. I don't think there's anything wrong in the front of this alternate art promo card, bro. That looks amazing. All right, here we go. Moment of truth, Ash. The back. Remember, guys, let's look at the card's coochie. Bro, not bad. Okay, Ash. <laughs> That's good. That's as good as you're going to get a promo out of one of those boxes, bro. That's as good as it gets, Ash. Good news, Venusaur is okay. I would absolutely grade it if I was you. Or you could sell it to the captain for the raw price and then I'll grade it. <laughs> that actually looks really good. Very nice. Came out very, very nice. Good promo right there. All right, let's see what the front looks like. For the for the Charizard. Oh, we start with the back. Why not? Charizard also looks good, dude. This is Charizard, right? It almost looks too good to be true. Yeah, dude. That looks amazing. <laughs> That's a, that looks amazing, bro. Congratulations, Ash. That looks really good, dude. Here, we'll look, take a look at it one more time so you guys can kind of see the corners there. Very nice corners. Not really any whitening. All right. Yeah, these promos came out amazing. Charizard breaks in and Venusaur and Snivy. Venusaur. When's the birthday stream? Next week, seven days, April 12th. Birthday stream, guys. We're going to open up Team Up. The stream is going to start early and it's not going to be a super long stream because I'm going to be drunk. <laughs> it's not going to be like a six, seven hour stream. It's going to be really short like last year, but it's going to be really fun. And I hope you guys can make it. All right. Yeah, there's going to be giveaways. It's going to be real fun. Got Venusaur and Snivy. Congrats, Ash Ketchup. Now it's time for the opening. All right, Ash. You passed the promo test at least. Your oh, Dude, your daughter's birthday is on April 10th? We're so close in birthdays. That's insane. So she's in Aries. She's in Aries just like me. Very nice, dude. Those came out very well. And then you also got a Brakeson in uh, this guy. Brakeson and Charizard. Chowie's odd. Let go of my Chowie's odds. Yeah, Ash Ketchup, absolutely great on bro. That looks amazing. Did you you saw them, right? They look perfect. I didn't see anything wrong with these promos, bro. So like, is you know why they weren't whole? They they weren't held together. The plastic, it was easy. You just it's like modern day uh modern day promos, which is great. They didn't always used to do that. All right, here we go. Got one, two, three, four, five Unified Minds and two Cosmic Eclipse, dude. Have you guys seen the booster boxes for Cosmic? So expensive. Unified Minds too. Unified Minds is crazy expensive. Let's do Unified Minds. We're doing this this week. It's kind of like the precursor to next week, Friday, April 12th. We're doing Team Up, opening up Team Up. It's gonna be crazy. Can't wait. I'm gonna be James from Team Rocket. It's gonna be really fun. Tim says, can you grade the jumbos? You can grade jumbos, it's just very expensive. It's not worth it unless you know it's gonna be a 10. 
and the art is like gorgeous you know like one of these older cards for sure alternate arts but uh grading jumbos at its like at, by itself is 75 bucks not counting shipping the psa insurance and whatever other shipping fees all the fees 75 is a lot of money for a uh, one graded card Rafa, what time are you going to the Collecticon tomorrow? I was thinking about 1 p.m. or 12 p.m. But I'm going to be filming for 30 minutes or like two hours, one hour. And then after filming, I'm just going to chill. If you want to hang out, Captain, but if you're going to be there. I'm going to be filming and uh, I'm excited to make a video finally. <laughs> I'm really excited. It has to do with a lot of vintage cards, challenges. All right, here we go, guys. Sun and Moon, Unified Minds. Can I pull something big for Ash? Catch up. Great Minds work in Unity. Are you ready, Ash? Here we go. Best of luck, bro. It's gotta be at least one hit in these, okay? Don't let me down, Ash. At least one hit in these Unified Minds packs, please. Got one, two, three, four to the front. All right, so we starting off with a Psychic Energy. Turtuga. Tranquility, Recycler Energy, Pr -pr Loin, Magmar, shout out to Fresh Hats, Tynamo, the little sperm cell you have, Cosmog, Saladin, Murkrow, Serena, oh wait, that's the hollow, oh, you got a hollow, hey, Murkrow was a reverse, I didn't realize it was a reverse, but you got Serena, Queenly Reward, Holographic Rare, so that's just a hollow, Ash, nothing too crazy yet. You got a hollow, and then this is your reverses right here. Let me put your bulk to the side. Let me, let me, uh, let me sanitize my hands, man. I'm getting a little nervous after, after, uh, opening that Unified Minds pack. I, I need to get a full art here. Alternate art, full art, any in between. WH, welcome back. Welcome back, WH. We missed you. Just reverse hollows are better. Okay, Ash. I'm gonna put them here to the side then, okay? Unified Minds bulk is awesome. Alright, let's see if I can get my team back. Alright, so after that. Okay. We got another pack of Unified Minds. Great minds work in unity. Vanna says, don't fail me. You got my message, I hope, says WH. Yeah, yeah, I haven't opened your stuff yet, uh, WH. Yeah, let me know whenever. I I, I stopped. I didn't want to do that. <laughs> Let's go. Come on. Put it over there. All right, here we go, Ash. One, two, three, four to the front. It's going to be fire energy. No, it's water. Because we're thirsty. We're thirsting for, for, for the full arts. Oh, Jim. Pukimukyu. I like Pukimukyu. Got Vigoroth. Dratini. Fungus. You have Hon Edge. Bone Edge. You have Sneasel. And my. Sneasel in reverse. And in the back, Ash Ketchup. Mag Mortar. You have Fresh Hats' his dad. <laughs> Not Hall <whole> Rare. <laughs> but we still got. A couple more packs of Unified Minds. Here we go, guys. We still got three packs of Unified Minds. Can a brother pull an alternate art? One of the earliest alternate arts. Hell, will I even take a Seeker Rare? This set came out around 2018. Early alternate arts. Seeker Rares were very uh, popular as well. Got one, two, three, four to the front. Come on, Ash. Give me some fire. Fighting energy. Garbage. You have Relicant. Fracture. Uh, Yungos. Yanma. Eggs. They're not really eggs. They're seeds. That's why it evolves into a tree. Burkrow. Snover the Rover. Salandit. Rim Reverse. And in the back for Ash Ketchup. Scrafty. Pull up your pants, boy. Scrafty. The Hood Gangsta. Got two packs left of Unified Minds before we go on to Cosmic. Come on, Ash. I need I need to see a full art. I need to see an alternate art. Four packs left from Sun and Moon era. Do you guys think I can actually pull an alternate art from these very expensive packs? 
Or do y'all think I have a better chance of bailing hay with my butt cheeks? Don't be shy, guys. Be honest. Come on. I need to get me an alternate art. These cards look like they're in really good condition. I mean, look at the bag for the hit right there. It looks amazing. All right. Electric energy. Maybe we just like throw the energy for good luck. We might get something. Relicanth. Blue's tactics. He's not very tactical. Lampent. Hon Edge. Sneasel. Mike, Mike. Look off with his berry. Axe you. Dwebble. And in the back for Ash Ketchup. Ooh. I okay, I think that's either a full art or a secret rare. Ash Ketchup, you hit something, man. On Unified Minds. Well, you get the hyper rare tag team Pokemon card or a full art. Misty's favor. The chase card. The number one card. Here we go, Ash. Come on, chat. Hype it up. Give me the power. Give me the power. I need to get something big here, guys. I need to see. I need to see a big pool. Come on, guys. Here we go. Yeah! The chase card! Let's freaking go, Ash! Congratulations on the Misty's flavor! Let's take a look at the Coochie. It is very well centered. The 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 dude, it's so good! Let's go! <laughs> The o the overview of the car looks great. The overall corners look amazing. And the highly initiative edges look phenomenal, Ash. The coochie has passed. Let's go. Misty's flavor, the chase card, bro, got pulled. In a, it, it, I think that's going to be a PSA 10, too. I think that's a PSA 10 as well. That looks amazing. Let's go, Ash. For those that didn't know what the Coochie was, you look at the centering, the overview, overall corners, finally, initiative edges. Coochie for short. Let's go. Ash Ketchup pulled the chase card. And his promos are, I think they're gonna be tens. Did I clip it? Man, I hope I clipped it. It's crazy. GG's, Ash. GG's, bro. I think you made like triple the profit here if everything grades 10. Dude, actually, I think if everything grades 10, you like quadrupled what you've spent. <laughs> you at least double it with the raw cards. Let's go, bro. Yeah, I'm, here, take a look at the... I'm gonna show you the centering again, Ash, and everything right there. So, that looks amazing. It almost looks like it's, like, double layered, too. Look at the back. Bro, this looks so good. Oh my goodness. That looks way better than I thought. Congratulations, dude. It's like winning the Pokemon lottery here. So, not only did the Misty came out really good, but your promos came out, like, amazing as well. For those that missed it, his promos came out... Insanely well. Insanely. Look at that. It looks so good. Congratulations, Ash. Yeah, the Misty's around $350 to $400 PSA 10. I'd be very impressed if this doesn't grade a 10. It's insane. All right, Ash. You got one more pack of Unified Minds. Boy, anything that you pull now is extra. You pulled the chase cards already. So I'm not too worried anymore. I already got Ash the chase cards. Mariani. Litwick. Cubone. Cuboner. Got Yanma. Yungos. Terrakian Chicken. And Lucar. Doesn't matter, bro. Doesn't matter. You got the chase card. We could we could rest easy now. You know what it was? I had to throw away the energies. That's what it was. Dude, and you still got two Cosmic Eclipse. You already pulled the Chase card, and you still got two Cosmic Eclipse, bro. Ash Ketchup. Here we go. Cosmic Eclipse, the last set of Sun and Moon. Uh, a, a shorter print run, since it was the last one. It's got Tag Team Pokemons and Alternate Arts and Full Arts. It's got it all. It's got it all. Team Up's got featuring the very first Trainer Gallery cards. You can pull the Pikachu and Red, which is my personal favorite. Rosa is a huge full art card. I think it's currently one of the chase cards. 
And, uh, I mean, these packs, the cards have been coming out in phenomenal quality, Ash. So if you get another big hit and it grades a 10, that'd be insane. Floette, Roxy, Dog, Lion, Flower, Sfeel, <laughs> Bird, Papa Toes, another Dog. No way, a Seeker Rare, bro. Let's go. Seeker Rare Cosmic Eclipse. L Lana's Fishing Rod. Hey, that's not bad, bro. Two secrets in a row. We fishing for... Dude, look at... Look at... Look at... Look at the centering to these cards. I think they all came from the same, like, sheet or something, bro. They're coming out so good. The centering has been coming out so, so good. And also, dude, the corners have been amazing for both Sun and Moon and Cosmic Eclipse. Ash Ketchup is pulling everything tonight. He ain't leaving anything for anybody else. Spell Lana backwards, ain't no. <laughs> ain't no's fishing rod. It's funny. That's funny, bro. Lana's fishing rod. Pokemon did that on purpose. They put it. They they, they put. They like. They like Mr. Hiroshi. What what uh what is your favorite to do thing? Well, he's like oh, I like ain't no. All right, so let's just do that backwards. And then let's name a character that. Okay. Lana. Makes sense. Got last pack magic. Here we go. Cosmic Eclipse. Last pack magic for Ash. These, these packs have been very kind to us. Can we, we could still pull the trainer gallery on this final Cosmic Eclipse pack. So the pools from Sun and Moon era are not this easy. I know I'm making it look easy, but it really isn't guys. Like, Sun and Moon era, really hard pulls. I mean, you think Sword and Shield alternate arts are hard to pull. So Sun and Moon packs are more expensive and they're harder to pull. But it's worth it if you manage to get an alternate art, a full art, a secret rare, the chase card, trainer gallery. Lily's full force is also a really nice full art that we could potentially get here. Tim Pool, you have Piplup, Cosmom, Ponyta, Crab Brawler. Come on, Crab Brawler. Wimps of Cout. And a hollow wishy wowshi. Not bad. Not bad, bro. Not bad. You got two hollows. Got two hollows. One seeker rare. Two alternate arts that came out really good from that box. PSA 10 potential. And the chase card. From Unified Minds. It just keeps going up, man. Unified Minds is so expensive. So, so expensive. Booster boxes are over $700 now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven reverses. Ash Ketchup, congratulations, bro. Congratulations, man. That was an awesome opening. But Va Vane, it's your turn. You're going to have just as a good opening, too. I guarantee it. Dude, Ash Ketchup, bro. He got so lucky. The promos came out perfect. The promos came out perfect, dude. And then he pulled the chase card. And it also came out perfect. Like, it came out beautiful. Look at that. That's insane. This is the chase card, bro. <laughs> this is crazy. Ash Ketchup, you're insane, dude. Let me put this in your box. Dude, that was awesome. Ash Ketchup, that was... Thank you so much for that opening, bro. There you are. Easy 10, bro. Easy 10. So good. Telling y'all like that, they came out so well. See what Ash got here. I'm gonna put, uh, oh Ash, I think this is from your pack battle from like a long time ago. Put that over here. And uh, let's put this away too. Oh wait, wait, you said you want, wanted to grade these three, right? I don't blame you. Let me put these with your graded stack. And I'll just put this one away. Or do you mean WH, you're back? 
Let me know if you're ready, WH. We could do your packs after Vane. She got 10 packs of Temporal Forces. Orge says LMAO8. Yep, that's right. I got the hot hands today, guys. Got the hot hands. Tonight. All right, here, let me, uh, let me move this to the side. Vane, 10 packs of Temporal Forces. Let's go. I'm gonna try to pull the chase card. Dude, we got so much content too. We got so much content, it's insane. And then we still got the giveaway for uh later on. So got these as a giveaway. Alright. Ten packs, temporal forces, Vane, I got you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, here we go, guys. Let's see if we can pull something big from Temporal Forces as well. Going back to Modern, maybe Modern will treat us well today too, just as good as uh, older sets tonight. This is Vanna's first time participating. Let's wish her some luck and get her the chase card. Thanks again for supporting Vanna. And uh, I hope, I hope you pull the cards you need. Here we go. Put that to the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, here we go. Let's get it. Ash, I did add him. Also, WH, let me know if you're ready. We could we could do your stuff afterwards, after this, if, you, if you're ready. All right, here we go. Temporal Forces, back to Modern. See what I can pull for you. Got the hot hands tonight. That over there. For Vane, we have Giraffe Rig. Roselia. Cutie fly, Tim, it's you. You got Drillbur, Iron Valiant, Sableye, Shnom. All right, we're at the reverses. Got another reverse and a hollow male metal. So that was the first dud. It's all right, it'd be like that sometimes. Not always gonna be one. Temporal Forces, come on. Alternate art, please. I haven't, pu I can't remember the last time I pulled an alternate art from Temporal Forces. Temporal Forces has horrid pull rates. But not tonight. I got the hot hands. Come on. Third, Anator. Hoodoot. Beldum. Salvatore. Palafin. Screamtail. Turd, Anator. Grotto. Iron Valiant. Hollow Rare. Come on. Buddy Buddy Energy is also a really good one. Come on. I can hold off for a little. Oh, yeah, no worry. Yeah, I got you, WH. You said back, so I, was, I wasn't sure what that meant. Like, you're back. Got Scoliosis, Skitty the Kitty, like the Buzz, <laughs> Ramblin, Airy, Colossal is what she said. We have Boxed Order. Ooh, you got the Awakening Drums, just like Luffy. Awakening Drums of Liberation. And an R Rare on top of it. Dude, I think this is the best one. Bang! Dude, Vane, this card is very expensive now. And you got a Karide on Hollow too. Yo, you got the one of the chase cards on the second pack, dude. Let's go. Yes, Lee. Hot hands tonight, bro. I'm telling you, it's on Friday nights, baby. Friday nights is when my hands are hot, feet are cold, crotch is up, everything, bro. Is that that's when that's when the stars are aligned. Mercury and red and, and Gatorade, every everything, everything. Let's go. Congratulations, Vane. How much is Gasly now? Last time I checked, it was a really overpriced price. 
I'm not sure if it's still at that price. It's like 50, 45 around there raw. Not sure how much it is now. But that's what I saw. Mercury is in Gatorade. The blue one, I would hope. And you also got the Awakening Drums of Liberation. Dude, that was only pack two as well, uh, Vanessa. That was Patunli, the second pack. You still got... but No, that was the third pack. You still got seven left. Let's go. It's crazy pulls tonight. Literally. Let's keep it going. Gas is around 20 now. Oh, okay. It went back to uh, 20 from like when it first came out, when it first released. We got Deerling. I thought I was going to do the same thing as Magikarp. <laughs> Pineco, Mawile, Bianca's Devotion, Iron Jubilees, Lycanroc, Golit, Screamtail, and... Okay, nope. We're still searching for the alternate art, though. We still want the alternate art. Yeah, I want the Bianca or Morty. Absolutely. The Morty would be amazing. I, hopefully, I can get the Morty. The one with the Gengar. I'm more delicious and prepare to fear my ghostly Pokemon. Got Metatite, Keldeo, Delmise, Legfire, Rock Rib. Art Rare, dude, another one. Yo, Saucebug, beautiful Art Rare. Beautiful, beautiful Art Rare. And a Hollow on again. Yo, Vane, these, uh, these Art Rares, there's only like three in a booster box, and you pulled two of the best ones. Like, if you buy a whole booster box, there's only three art rares, and you have two <laughs> already. Come on. You needed that one. So I'm glad I got you Saucebook and not Deerling, since you already had Deerling. <laughs> Pikachu! Come on, Pikachu. Yeah. Got Elgin. Zitlipede. Perilous Jungle. Perilous Jungle is when you don't shave. Have Unpheasant. Scorch. Wiglet! Got Carvana and a Squall Villain EX. I hate this card. I remember this card now. I hate it so much. This card should have never been printed, but ever. It's a Charizard hating card. Got four more packs. Here we go. Totodao. Love Totodao. That's probably the best common card in all of this set. The artwork is just masterful, tasteful, amazing. Pineapple. Yes, Buddy Buddy Puffin. That's a good one, Vane. That, that's one you want. You want the Buddy Buddy Puffin. So you can share with your friend. You have Fortress, Escadrill Me, and Waking Walking Wake. Walking Wake EX Full Art. The Ugly Dinosaur Suicune. Suicune. Got three more packs. Yo, this is crazy hits. You're getting some crazy hits here, because uh, usually Temporal Forces ain't, ain't, ain't good like this. Hit more! Buddy Buddy Poffin! Holy moly! And Maridon. Yeah, Buddy Buddy but don't don't mess with Buddy Buddy Poffin. That's, that's a great card. I'll take all the Buddy Buddy Poffins. Especially if they're in reverse. Come on. Last two packs, Vane. Go lit, just hang, hanging around. What you doing? Me? Nothing. <laughs> just hanging around. We have garbage. <laughs> All right, here we go. Last pack magic. Best of luck, Vane. The crotch is always obsessed. <laughs> That's right, dude. That's when the, 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 the hits are fire. Absolutely, Tim. Yo, we got Tim with the HBO. We on fire tonight. Tim, thank you so much for that HBO. Holy moly, bro. That's the early birthday gift right there. Thank you, Tim. Seriously, bro. Absolute legend. As we go on to Incineroar, the furry cat, man. The furry cat. I will live another day since I got you good pulls, Bonnie. <laughs> I'm glad that you won't, um... You won't, uh... You won't be, uh... TPing my house anytime soon. Let's go. And then Tim, thank you so much for the HBO, bro. Seriously appreciate you. That was very sweet. 
tossing a coin to the streamer, HBO, and hoping a brother out. Let's go, Tim. The, the hits tonight are fire. Hands on fire, feet are cold. Mercury and Gatorade. Crotch is up. Everything. Every, everything that's good is happening. Let's go. Buddy, buddy, Poffin. You get to share one. These look like tortas, except they put like some shit at the top. And let's look at your hits. Incineroar. Walking Wake. Spovillain. Sauce Starbucks. Awakening Drums. Ghastly Arbor, the best one. And two Buddy Buddy Poffins on top of it. Great pools. That was that was amazing 10 packs for sure. Then all your bulk reverses and hollows. How many hollows did you get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven hollows. Not bad. Ash Ketchup with the HBO. My brother and Arceus. Thank you so much, Ash. Both both mods helping a brother out. Thank you guys. Thank you, thank you. Ash Ketchup, he didn't even put a message on his HBO. Thanks for the HBO. Hoping a brother out tells him according to streamer. Ash Ketchup. And congratulations, bro. Again, Ash Ketchup pulled the Misty Flavor. The two alternate arts came out really good. And this boy forgot to pull a message. He's a... Uh, the more you guys watch my streams, the more CRS you'll have. CRS can't remember shit. The more of that you're going to have. It's contagious. CRS... Yeah, Ash Ketchup and Tim have CRS now. Thank you, guys. Yeah, this week is about to be fire. Going to collect con tomorrow. Filming, finally filming. Uh, pulling all the heat. We're opening up Team Up, a two thousand dollar booster box. Like we're doing so many cool things this week. I'm very excited. Thanks for the pot, dude. I got you, Ash. I got you, bro. Freaking Misty's flavor, and I called it too. Like, I think it's gonna be Misty's flavor. Sure was. Oh, your sister's going. Yo, let's see if I can try to find her. Odie? She's going? Odie? I'm gonna. I'm gonna go for a little bit. I'm mostly going to film. I have like this vintage card challenge I'm doing with my friend. I had to pay for him and his girlfriend to go. Yes, Odie, let's go. I haven't seen her in years. Dude, I haven't seen Odie since the film Red. But even before film Red, I haven't seen her in like five years before film Red. Like, I think the last time I saw her was before film Red was when she was Laboon. <laughs> All right, there we go. All right, Bonnie, this is your bulk, and this is your, your hits right here. Thanks again for supporting, Bonnie. Yeah, I know you. I'm gonna just put Bonnie, put Brooke, because you're pretty much Brooke with skin. <laughs> All right, there you go. Thanks again for supporting. Always got to support the homies. Absolutely. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Actually, you know what? Years ago, I have, I think I showed my crew a long time ago. Years ago, I think, when, I want to say 2021 when I first became a streamer. Vanek, I commissioned you, you, I commissioned you to do the, the Jolly Roger. Yeah, I remember that. I still, I had that as an emote for the longest time. I had it for the longest time. But I don't think anybody knew that it was you that com that I got the commission from. Yeah, like my pirate flag. It's still on, it's still on Twitch. Yeah, so on Twitch I got the commission. So that Jolly Roger I got it from Mayonesa. I commissioned I commissioned her to do the, the my Jolly Roger. Good times, good times, dude. Time is just flying so fast now. That was 2021, but it feels like it was so long ago. All right, guys. So we skipped Valentino, we skipped Sudden Kitten, Pokeboys, we're gonna let, we're gonna give it a little bit longer so we can open your stuff, your uh, vintage packs. We did Buggy, we did Richie, Juan Ramos, we're skipping, we're skipping Juan Ramos, Sudden Kitten, Valentino, WH, we're skipping a lot. All right, so up next, uh, we have Elixir and then Steven G. Let me see if there, uh, if there was any uh, updates after that. So 
So it was who? <laughs> Elixir, you're next. Elixir, what you get, boy? Elixir got four packs of One Piece and two packs of the Pro Quarters. Have an amazing stream, brother. You too. You too. You have an amazing day, Elixir. <laughs> Let's see if we can snipe something for you. Don't know if you can drop links. If you link the Discord, I'll drop it for you. Yeah, dude, drop the links on the, uh, on, uh, you're a mod, Tim, so I think you can drop links in chat if you want to. I think only mods are able to, uh, send links. All right, here we go. We have one piece, but yeah. Net, uh, Vane, if you want to, you could uh, put it on my Discord and then Tim could put it on chat for you. If that works. Here we go. We have One Piece for Elixir and then we have Steven G afterwards. Let me see. I think then after that, we have everybody else that's like this crazy. <laughs> All right, here we go. Best of luck, Elixir. Let's see if you can snipe an alternate art, a manga card, or anything in between. Got a hollow and a dawn card. All right, there we go. Got three packs. Jinbe. Jinbe and a hollow Margaret. Two packs left. Haven't pulled anything yet. Have Punk Hazard. That's not Punk Hazard. It's Egghead and Rob Lucci. I haven't opened up One Piece in so long. We used to do it like every day. Every day. And then the final pack, the fourth one, you get nothing. Little girl eating a bowl of cereal. So four hollows. You did get a Dawn card. The Portal Forces, see if we can get just as lucky so far, dude. My Pokemon luck has been out the out the chain. Can we head to an alternate art in two packs? Here we go. Got turd and Nader. Hoot Breloom. Beldum. Bronzong. Ancient Energy Booster. Iron Threads. Dujin. Frostmoth and the Hollow Iron Thorns. Last pack magic. Come on, Elixir. We can't end it like this. Catman, what's up, Catman? Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for offensive. Now, thank you, Nessa, for supporting. And uh, seriously, appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. So much, so much positivity tonight. Yo, Hero's Cape, nice. And an art rare sauce book. Let's go, Elixir. Last pack magic for reals. Hero's Cape is one of the better ones. I think it's like the third best one. And then you got Starbucks. Came here through Ash Ketchup. Such a legend, dude. Ash Ketchup. Ash Ketchup. We love Ash Ketchup. Thank you so much for stopping by, Catmint. You want to see what he pulled? Ash Ketchup. We opened up a Sun and Moon like collection box. He pulled the Misty's flavor. Favor. And it came out so well. Like, it came out so good. Look at that. Oh, you guys play Unite together. Who'd y'all main? What characters do you guys main in Pokemon Unite? Got Sawsbuck there for Elixir and then Hero's Cape. Glaceon? And Cin wait, wait, hold on. Cinderace is a character? Oh my goodness. I didn't know Cinderace was a character. I knew Glaceon was. When I used to play, when I used to play Unite a lot, I would main um, Zeraora. Zeraora, he was my favorite. That order was so good. Buswole? But he's ugly! You still use Buswole? I like to use the cool Pokemon, Ash. Buswole's ugly, so I wouldn't use him even if he was good. Alright, Elixir. Let's put this away. Steven G, you're up next. Buswole's fire? He's good? The the, the mosquito buff man, right? The, bu the buff mosquito Pokemon? That's so ugly. New 
bad for Elixir here. Elixir. The Mosquito Ugly Man. I'm headed home, Rafita. No worries, Juan Ramos. Cuando quieras, dude. Whenever you're free, bro, no, don't rush yourself. Please drive home safe. I'll open your packs once you're home and, and like you're ready to watch. Don't worry, Juan, Ra Juan Ramos. I'm really good at stalling. So like, if we catch up on queue, I could just stall with my terrible joke and awesome personality. Put that over here. Your wife's a beast with Cinderace. Yo, I didn't even know Cinderace was a Pokemon Unite. I think, it, I think yeah, it literally needs a new uh, bulk bag. Yeah, let's get him a new one. This one over here will be the grip. Alright. money. We'll do this one. I need more uh, ETBs in my in the future. Elixir. Yeah, how about how about here in a little bit? We'll be giving away one of the blisters just to keep you guys entertained. We'll give away one of these unbroken bond blisters. They're valued around thirty dollars. $25 and $30. So we'll be giving away two of them. We'll do one first. All right, here we go. We got Steven G with four packs. I think that's called Leia Evolve. Let me check. Paldea, Paldea Evolve Booster Pack. No bulk, please. I got you, bro. That helps tremendously. Thank you. He's ugly, but he's really good. Yeah, Boswell is so disgusting, bro. Boswell, la pesta la boca. Four packs of Paldea and Evolve. Four packs of Paldea and Evolve. Shogun says, my wife's a beast with Cinderace. Juan Ramos says, I'm heading home, Rafita. Red Dash says, I'm gonna get Cat Mint some packs for you to open. Just wanting to hurt inside what's... Oh, I got you, man. Cat Mint, I'm gonna pull you some major fire here. Tonight, I've been on it. I've been on it tonight. I got you. Whatever set you choose, I got you. Tim says, showing Kat some love. I'm down. Juan Ramos says, you watch Luchas Rafita? It's WrestleMania this week. I haven't, I haven't seen, uh, I don't keep up with like WWE or anything, but my friends are big fans of it. Dude, Ronin is here. What's up, Ronin? Ronan got a 151 booster bundle, and then we have Andrew with, uh, with two of the tops. They're still in the freezer. I'm getting, I'm getting them to unstick. So we'll open those pretty soon. Hello, says Isriad. What's up, Isriad? Welcome, welcome. Andrew, nice to see you. Shogun says, just bought... Oh, Shogun, you changed your name. So this whole time, you were Ronin. Shogun, hold on, bro. You changed your name, man. I knew your profile picture looked familiar. The, the, the ho-ho Mexican flag. It was this whole time it was you, Joseph? I had no idea, bro. <laughs> I thought you were still Ronin. Okay, okay, that makes sense now. Dude, I appreciate you, Shogun. Oh my gosh, I knew it, dude. I knew it looked familiar, too. Tim says, Cat, Cat won Tops pack? Oh, Tim, you're gonna get Cat some pack. Dude, I got you, bro. So the Tops, before the stream started, I put them in the freezer so they can be very well, when you open them, they're not sticky. We tried it before, it works. Some of those cards graded at 10 are hella expensive, almost to the $1,000 range. I want to do whatever I can as best as possible to prevent the stick because that's usually what makes them the surface makes them great down. I just watched Shogun on Hulu, so I switched. Oh, I haven't seen that show. Yeah, I, ha I, ha I have never seen that show. Captain Sweaters, what's up, Captain Sweaters? Nice to see you, bro. JR, are you going to be at my birthday party? I got your cards right here. All we're going to do is be playing Pokemon in One Piece and... Magic, bring your magic deck. I want to play magic too. All right, here we go. Command an arousing performance. Trev P Gaming, what's up Trev P? 
So many legends tonight. My goodness. Thank you guys so much for coming out. PDX says, hello, Rafa. Did you sell the, the first movie packs? No, no. I don't think I have. There's still... The, I had eight of them before the stream started. I think I still have like five available. Grateful for any love, says Catman. Catman, you're going to be pulling all the heat. I'm telling you. Uh, tonight is the night. This is for Steven G. Steven G, I better pull you another alter... Like another big hit like the Lugia last time. Got Spirit Tomb and Jump Bluff. Jump off a kit cliff and go kill you still because I don't like you jump off. We got three more packs There's not any in the shop. I gotta double check then I gotta double check then We have mistreated Come on Sneasel got Goth baby Meryl Raff 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 We got spit up Luxio Electrode Wigglytuff the, be the best Pokemon ever you got the Fabulous Duck, Command and Arousing Performance. Trainer Glenn, nice to see you, Trainer Glenn. After this, I'll check uh, PDX. Double check for you. There should be some available unless I messed, messed up the, the count. I had a good amount. Artason is so good. Oricorio Hydreigon. Last pack magic. Come on. Last chance to Command and Arousing Performance. Come on, Steven G. Pull me another Lugia. We have Larvitar. Dano, Senegate, Tarantula, Satitan, Quack, Lurie Drone, and You have four hollows. That was the worst Paldean Evolved opening ever. Isriat says, wait, I gotta go to the bathroom. Nah, man, you gotta hold it, bro. If I have to hold it, you have to hold it too. He said it's peeking out already. <laughs> Thanks again, Steven G, for all the support, my friend. Really do appreciate everything. All right, Steven G. I got you right here. What's good, Trev? Rafa, what Zartan only have Paldean Faith? What does... No, no. Yeah, it, Zartan only has Paldean Faith. Sorry, Ash. I just figured out what you were trying to say. So Charizard, the Charizard tin has five packs of Paldean Fates. It's really expensive just because of the Charizard. The Charizard tin itself is like what makes it kind of pricey. Shogun says, Captain Rafa, I'll be switching to COD soon, but I'll be listening when, when you what? When you're on, please. Whenever you're on? I can do your packs right now, Joseph Perez. Yeah, let me know. Because uh, you're actually next. You're actually next if you want to do yours real quick. <laughs> he said, hell yeah. Okay, yes, please. Okay, sweet, sweet. Yeah, let's do yours right now then. And then Treffy says, never mind, Tim. Just trying to find something to watch. How's work, bro? I hope I'm doing a good job. <laughs> Tim S with two tops. All right, so how many have I sold? I sold John Jonathan Thompson got one. Poker Boys got one. The WH the WH got any? Oh, WH got some crazy things, guys. Oh my goodness. Yeah, WH got some crazy, crazy things. Um, uh, two for Andrew, two for Tim. There should be three left. For, uh, for the movie pack, the top pack, there should be three left. Let me uh, let me change it on the website. So it's not there. No, it, it's still on there. Yeah, there's three left. All right, all right. So WH, will, yeah, WH got the Venusaur tin. The Evito tin, those are from X and Y era. A bunch of other X and Y packs. I don't even know if he wants to open them or not, but it's insane. Uh, yeah, Joseph Perez, you're next. Pick a number between one and eight. One and eight. I've been wanting to make content. I have so many of these sealed ones that I've been getting from my distributor. I think this set is gonna age like fine wine. 
is the best modern set to like collect uh i've been wanting to make a video where i open a whole display of this maybe have like some sort of challenge with it or something so if like the video that i do a collecticon does good i'll open one of these up the only reason i haven't done it is because it's a lot of money the whole display is like near 400 dollars yeah, 151 is an amazing set. Uh, you said, let's go number one. If you're not first, you're last. I got you, bro. Number one. Got you. All right, let's pull Charizard. Let's pull Charizard. Tired of the snow. Dude, I'm glad you're going to be here, Tim. No snow here. All right, this is for Shogun. Joseph Perez. Let's get you something fire, my friend. Ronin. Here we go. A booster bundle of 151. Can a brother pull a Charizard? The 151 bundles are usually more pricey because they usually have the better hits. And the better condition cards. So let's see if it's really true here. One, two, three, four, five. There's six packs of total of 151. All right, here we go. Gotta catch them all. Gotta catch him, uh, Pokemon. All right, here we go. Before catching them all, let's try to catch one. Rattata. Rata de dos patas. We have Squirtle. Venonat. Le -le Lickitung. Magneton. Needle Queen. Victory Bell. Machop. And nothing with a hollow energy. <laughs> Got a hollow energy there. It's not, not so bad yet. It's, not, it's, not, it's all right. We'll, we'll take that better than nothing. Here, let me put let me put my uh my little vertical. There we go. My little uh screen for the storage here in case we pull the Charizard. I want to clip it just in case. Okay, here we go. We still got a couple more packs here. Scarlet Violet 151. One fifty one music with Pokemon one fifty one, yes, please. All right, here we go. That was only one pack in Shogun. Here we go. So we're, I'm going to buy one pack from PayPal, Rafa. Can you mark it down to two packs, please? Yeah, I got you, PDX. Absolutely. Let me know if you want to open it or keep it sealed. I'll uh, definitely mark it down. Feel free to use PayPal. We do We have Zubat, Goldeen, Nidoran, Persec, Giovanni's Charisma, Cloyster, Zadrio, Scyther, and the Ditto. We have four packs left. <laughs> Little Gremlin says, what am, what am I? That's so funny. Keep going over here. Pidgey. Polikaka. Kakuna. Polikaka again. You got a big air balloon. Primate. Fero. Tentacool. Do Duo. Articuno. Non hollow energy. Three packs left. Dude, Shogun, it's not looking good, dude. Come on, we gotta get the Charizard for you. Ghastly. Paris. Voltor. Krabby. Grabber. Kingler. Energy Sticker. Cycling Road. Madmar. Kangaskhan EX. Two more packs. It's alright, it's alright. As long as we don't lose hope. We got this. We got this, bro. Believe. Believe in me that believes in you. I believe. Yeah, no, no worries, Tim. Yeah, feel free to have any like comments like that. Feel free to take them out. I don't know. Let me, let me, let me tell my girlfriend. I'll be whatever. I'll be whatever gender she wants me to be. Be like, hey, babe. <laughs> you want me to be a girl or a guy today? Here we got two more packs. Come on, we got Ponyta. Pikachu. 
Farfetch. Dude, all we need is that one pack. One pack, Shonen. We just need one pack. Cedra, Kabuto, Sandro. Toros? All right, guys. We have to... We have to... We, we have to drum it, bro. We have to drum it. We have to drum it. Right now, we have to drum it because we're in a perilous situation. We've opened five packs. If we've only pulled the Kangaskhan, and I think that's unacceptable. This pack right here better have an a, 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 a SIR. Shogun, this is for you. Remember what you gotta do. Poke mute three times, do a 360, and then recite the Japanese Bible backwards. Here we go. That's the only way, bro. Gotta recite the Bible backwards. It's the only way. Here we go. Ghastly. Paris? That's a good, good sign, good sign. Raffalations, verse 69, chapter 420. Come on. Go back. He's throwing up on you. Leftovers for when you're hungry. Persian. Come on, bro. The fairy. Dude, we're already at the end. Oh, boy. <laughs> come on, Shogun. Come on, come on. Cue boner. And in the back. We can't let it end like this. We can't let it end like this, guys. What we gotta do now? We gotta we gotta give him a free one. Gotta give him a free one, bro. Come on. Let's see what I got here. I'm gonna give you an expensive pack. Let's do Astro Radiance. Legends of Time and Space. Take charge. Here we go. Astro Radiance is. Very limited, too. I don't have many of them. Come on, man. We got to pull you the alternate art Machamp. Swanum! Quibbish! Come on, Pity Lily. The Fox! Hippo! Ponyta! Bro, not even. Yeah, dude. Not even Astro Radiance could save you there. Not even the free one. Thank you again for supporting Ronin. I'm sorry I wasn't able to put in SIR. I was feeling good, too. I was feeling very confident there. Hopefully you win the giveaway though. We have the Unbroken Bonds giveaway. One, two, three, four, five. Two of them, two. Five Hollows, Kangaskhan EX, and an Energy. Quick VC, what's up, Quickie? Quick VC. Catman says, love your Arcanine play. Oh, dude, yes, yes. You mean Tim? I love him too. Hi, Tim. He's so cute. Look at him. He's a good boy. He's so good. He doesn't fart or shit. So nice. Very low maintenance. All right, let's put this away for uh, Ronin. Shogun. Catman says, such a good boy. Chris W, what's up, Chris W? How's it going, dude? Quickie says, excited to drop by and see the stream. Still up. What's hanging out with some friends when it started? Oh, no worries, quick. That was a very quick hangout. What type of friends was you hanging out with? Let's put them over there. I remember you won a giveaway last time. Maybe you'll be just as lucky this time. <laughs> Robin says, can you check if my order went through the side? It's acting funny. I got you, Ash. I have to check for the PayPal too for Funko. You guys, uh, anybody ordering now? Yeah, I, I think you guys are actually next. You got an emotional point in Final Fantasy VII. Really? What chapter is it? I don't want you to spoil me by accident. I'm still playing the game. And then uh, let's do a, a giveaway here soon. WH, what's up, WH? 
We were playing Kingdom Hearts. Monk and Weak listening to music. Oh, okay, that sounds fun. I played the first Kingdom Hearts like a few years ago. If I grew up with it, I would like it, but I didn't like it as an adult. It was just like Mickey Mouse being like so overpowered and Sephiroth and Cloud losing to Donald Duck and Goofy was so like dumb to me. <laughs> just so dumb to me. But the music was amazing. The music in Kingdom Hearts was like so good. It was very, very nice. Ash Ketchup, your order did go through and uh, Funko K-Pop, you're also here. All right. Let's go. Let me take a, I'm gonna take away a pack of pop from the website since uh, Funko got one. Those are still in the freezer. Alright, so we did up next we have Andrew S. I'm gonna Andrew S, I'm gonna give it a little bit more time. Uh I just wanna maximize the freezing pot potency for the uh for the tops packs. Yeah, just give it give it a little bit more. We'll start opening up the tops here. So yeah, Andrew S. I just, I just really want to make sure. There's some expensive cards there, and I really want to make sure it doesn't stick. Uh, then we have Tim with tops as well. Tim. One for Cat and one for you. So one for Cat, one for Cat, and one for you. Absolute legend. Love you, Tim. And then we have Ash Ketchup. Ash Ketchup with the Paldeans Charizard tin. And I'm guessing that's going to be for Cat, right, Ash? That's for Cat. Anybody else that we skipped was uh, Juan Ramos, WH, Sudden Kidding, Valentino. We skipped you guys. So further notice. Check out my Pokedex. So cool, huh, guys? Yeah, I like that. It says that Charizard tin is for Cat. All right, it's for Catman. Let's go. I'm down for that. Andrew says, that's fine. Okay, cool. cool. Thank you, guys. I played N64 PS1. Oh, that sounds amazing. Yeah, I have my 64. I don't have the other ones. Game Boy Color. I have a Game Boy Color too. That's Xbox Revolution. Oh, dude, that was like my big, my first like huge console. Big boy console with like internet. All right, here we go, guys. Let's do... You said Game Crazy when it came out for the PS2. I ran a Game Crazy. Dude, I had those too. I had a Game Crazy as well. I used to also have a, what were they called? I used to have the book with the cheat codes for the PS2, the, the cheat codes for Grand Theft Auto and all, every other game. I had cheat codes and everything too, back in those days. Game Shark, I also had Game Shark for the Game Boy. Getting nothing but shinies and Pokemon Gold Crystal. Uh, then after that, it became an action replay. I had an action replay. Yeah, wait for the best time. I think it's worth it for sure. Uh, Andrew S, Tim, Ash, we're doing you right now for Cat, Cat, Cat Mint. And then we have Funko K-Pop. We're going to do all the Tops packs together. I just want to have like the best possible like, uh, unstick. Cause some of those cards, if they grade well, they're very expensive. All right, here we go. Cat Mint, this is for you. The promo itself is already a big hit. <laughs> Like, why get a Charizard when the Charizard is already in this tin? Let's go. It's over here. This is the uh, black Charizard. Charizard incoming. Very well centering too. It's also like one of those cards that people really like to grade as well. Promo Charizard, very nice. Put this away for you. Watch. So Ash Ketchup actually pulled the chase card from this set, the Charizard uh, alternate art. Let's see if you guys could be twinning together as a team, right? And y'all could both pull the alternate art Charizard together. That'd be awesome. Over 
Gonna head out. Just wanted to say hi. Long day tomorrow. After work in RGs. Oh, that sounds fun, Chris W. Have a good one, my friend. Thanks again for stopping by. And uh, I'm glad that you've been enjoying the game. Yeah, Final Fantasy, that game is so fun. You just need the Bobo Mew. Catman probably is gonna pull it right here. Magmar! Pneumonia! Charmander! Rare Candy. Repulse. Pneumo Pneumonia's Backpack. Do Doc's Bun. Routes Shiny. Very nice. Magmar! Fresh Hats and Houndstone. Hollow Rare. Okay, so you got one Shiny. It's gonna be Routes. Not so bad yet. We'll, we'll take the little Routes. He has a blue head. Four more packs. Come on, Cat Mint. Routes is also in Pokemon Unite, isn't he? It ain't, it ain't in Pokemon game if it doesn't have Gardevoir. Clavapus. You got Broom. Hanky Panky. The Mankey. Fresh Hat. Mouse Hold. Iono. You have Camera. Pineco. Got Zatu and Great Tusk. Doing Pineco's voice is like so straining on the throat, but I still do it. <laughs> Great Tusk. EX. Not bad. Got an EX there. Three packs left. Come on. Let's see what we can pull here for you. Freebie gas! Pineco! Numo. Natsu. Nest the balls. Charmeleon. Ultra balls. Scraggy! Clubopus. Cyclozar. Two packs left. Flygon was number one introduced. Wait, which one? Routes was one of your. Oh, and in Gen 3. Dude, Gen 3 Salamance was my favorite. Salamance, Trico. Of the Trico Lion Sceptile. I love those Pokemon, dude. Rayquaza is one of the best legend, if not the best legendary. Love Rayquaza. Electric G Degenerator. We have Technical Machine Crisis Punch. Gargle Knackle. No more. And nothing. You got a shiny Minecraft. Shiny Pile of Sand. It's not bad yet. We'll take that. Last pack magic for Cat Mint. Catman, you also got a vintage 1999 Tops. We'll be opening that uh, here pretty soon. Dude, I love Blaziken too, bro. I think Gen 3 has the best starters. The best starter line, Gen 3, bro. Gen 3, best starter line. Chris W, Chris L, what's up, Chris L? Silent Reaper, nice to see you, man. You got the little kids. You got cotton balls. You have a Lapras. You have a, 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 a clown. Prime A. Got Wimstro Cow. Crafty pulling up his pants. You have not two. You have nothing. And the EX Ostrich. Yo, that wasn't a bad tin. You got two shinies, two EXs, three hollows. Shiny hunting and Gen 3 was hard, bro. You said that was fun? V Quick VC, you said shiny hunting and Gen 3 was fun? Bro, if you think that's fun, I don't know. I don't know what you consider not fun because that was not fun, bro. Shiny hunting in Gen 3 was brutal. It was terrible. It was horrid. It was the worst. It was the hardest shiny odds in any Pokemon game. Terrible. Gen 3 shiny hunting is garbage. I remember trying to shiny hunt in Gen 3 and I gave up in a week later because it was so hard. Got two EXs. You have three hollows, you got two shinies, and then you have your promo Charizard, which was the the best thing from that whole opening. Thank you again for supporting Cat Mint, Ash Ketchup. Thank you so much for uh, giving Cat Mint an opportunity. We still have a couple more for you, Cat Mint. Gen three was your first Pokemon game, though. What a great way to start! I still remember my my uh, Gen three. Okay, so back then, Gen three, um, though. The internet wasn't very, like, there unless you had money. Like, internet was kind of rare, right? Like, having a computer. Like, I didn't have a computer. I didn't have a phone. I was a third grader when Gen 3 came out. It was in 2003. I remember as soon as it came out, I wanted Kyogre. I wanted Sapphire, Pokemon Sapphire. But the reason my first starter was Mudkip in that game, back then, I didn't know how to read English. So it was really hard for me to play through the game until Emerald is when I started reading the Pokemon games. 
I was really pissed off because my first starter was Mudkip. And I thought, because they gave you a pamphlet whenever you're at a, whenever you're, whenever you're um, in school, the way I knew Sapphire was coming out, they gave you a pamphlet in school, like telling you like this game's coming out November, whenever the month was. At the bottom of the pamphlet, it had Mudkip, it had a Whelmer, and it had a Kyogre all next to each other on that pamphlet at the very bottom. So what I was thinking was, dude, Mudkip evolves into Whelmer, and then Whelmer evolves into Kyogre. Because I thought we were going to pull like a Pokemon Red, and Pokemon Red has, you know, uh, Charizard and Blastoise, those are the starters. So I was thinking Kyogre and Groudon were going to be the starters, like the fire and the water starter or whatever. So like, I picked Mudkip. Dude, when it evolved into Marsh Tomp, I was like, who, who the hell is this? And then when it evolved into Swampert, I was so pissed off. I restarted the game. I went Torchic and I thought it was cool. But then I beat the game and then I went Sceptile and I thought it was the most, the best po looking Pokemon. Back then, you didn't know how the Pokemon look until like you would actually evolve them. You know how now we get spoiled before the games come out? Back then the internet wasn't a thing. So you had to like really like evolve it yourself to see like how they look like. I knew how Blaziken looked because of the anime. Ash went versus a guy in the anime that had a Blaziken. And that's why I picked Torchic because I knew Torchic could evolve into Blaziken. But uh, I didn't get... When I got Trico, I fell in love. That's my favorite starter till this day. But man, I'm kind of salty with the whole Mudkip thing. I'm still very salty with the Mudkip. You had the game guides. I had the game guide for Emerald. That was my very first game guide. That's how I was able to get the Regis and everything. But I didn't have it for Sapphire. Yeah, dude, grass starters are amazing. Trico and Snivy are probably like my favorite starters, and they're all—they're both grass. The guys were amazing, dude, for everything. Grease Monkey says the surprises. It was so good. Grease Monkey, what's up, Grease? Captain Sweaters, the surprises. The ultimate disappointment. <laughs> Figure it says I get it. All right, here we go. So thank you, Ash. I think Mukip is cute. I like all the starters. They're all, all the starters were great. I think Gen 3 had the best starters. All right, guys. Uh, let's do a giveaway here. All right, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put, put the bots. Make sure your bots are down here. We're going to have a battle royale. The winner is going to take the first... Uh, sorry, not this one. This one is going to take the first Unbroken Bonds pack. Battle Royale. Make sure your Pokemon is down there. Speaking of Gen 3, uh, I think uh, they also have the best teams. Team Magma, Team Aqua is my favorite. Cristian de Leon! Welcome back, Cristian. I needed that pizza. Avatar well was worried. <laughs> even, yeah, dude, even Sprigatito is the best. Absolutely, I agree. Highly agree. Tysflosion is the most pedal. Tysflosion is my favorite fire type starter. Tysflosion, Trico, and then water is where I struggle. I don't know which is the best water type starter. Definitely not Quaxly. Definitely not the, the stupid Sobble. Pop Leo, no. Greninja is a good one. Piplup, no. Gen 5 had Oshawott, probably the best one, dude. Honestly. I think Oshawott's the best water starter. Yeah. I'm going to pick Oshawott. Oshawott is the samurai Pokemon. Oshawott is the best water starter. The best, best grass is Trico. And then the best fire is Cyndaquil, in my opinion. Christopher Vasquez, what's up, man? Add your Pokemon down here, Christopher Vasquez. You might win this unbroken bonds pack with the Pikachu. The way Totodile acted in that. Oh, it was amazing. I agree. Water, style, water Pokemon, my favorite is Oshawott, Totodile, and uh, Mudkip. I think those are the best. And Squirtle. Water, water is hard because they're so good. Like all the older ones, Gen 5 and under are so good. They're so, so good. Poco, Pokemon Johto had the best theme in the whole anime, Quick DC. Pokemon Johto, do 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 do. Everybody wants to be a master. Everybody got to show their skills. Everybody wants to get there faster. Make the way to the top of the hill. Each time you try. Yeah, dude, that, that song goes hard. 
I'm gonna refresh it. People L is up. I know WH, uh, Juan Ramos. So these are the people we skipped. If anybody still wants to go, Valentino, Sudden Kitten, WH, Juan Ramos. We can do any of y'all if you guys are here. Y'all are ready. Richie Rich says, debating on what I want to buy, LMAO. There's so many. Snooty, what's up, Snoots? You bought a CGC Pristine 10 Ancient Mew for 500 and I love it so much. Dude, that's a good prize. Ancient Mew is so expensive as a PSA 10. It's Riyad, welcome back, it's Riyad. Shogun says, all the pokey. Give me all. All right, guys, here we go. I'm gonna do the battle royale here. Best of luck, everybody. Star, nice to see you still. Cabinet. Oshawott is so cute. Oh, man, I love Oshawott. The premise with Oshawott is that Oshawott is a baby, but it dreams to be a samurai. And so when it is older, when it turns into samurai, it turns into a samurai. I, I just love Oshawott. Pig Knight is like uh, one of those like uh, warriors, Roman warriors, and then um, Snivy is like queen, like a like a Sir Majesty. All right, guys, best of luck. Let's see who's gonna get the Unbroken Bonds pack. If I win this battle royale, then I'm gonna do a questionnaire. Whoever answers it right gets it. The Pikachu promo is worth it. I guarantee it. Pikachu promo so good. Creep Monkey says, I have an ancient Mew. One of the best friends gave it to you. I plan to say you had uh, graded. It should be a nice. Ooh, nice. Yeah, ancient Mews are amazing. I love how they look. I love how they shine. I like what it like has. All right, Unbroken Bonds, Check Lane Blister, given away to one lucky viewer. Let's open it up, see what we pull. Oh, no more Pikachu promos in the store. No more Pikachus, just the giveaway ones. The the Wilmer one has a swirl though. If you want a Wilmer one, it has a swirl. Snooty, look at you, bro. You won, congrats. Snooty won, so this pack will be for Snooty. All right, Snooty. So this one, we're gonna have to do some um, some little uh, surgery there. All right, Snoot. We still have one more of those to give away, so y'all gotta win the battle royale and be here to claim your prize. All right. Let me uh, let me take away the bot for now. All right, here we go. Let's see what we pull. Best of luck. Bonds tempered in battle. We have one more to give away as well. So if you didn't win this one, you still got another one. It looks like it's a, it's a hit. It was it was white code card. One, two, three, four. Best of luck, Snoots. Psychic energy, dude. You could pull like hundred plus dollar card like you've done but you've done it before. You could do it again. Shut up. Coffee! Dude, why why the Team Rocket Girl looks so like like good? We have coughing, the duo, Polikaka, Spritzy, Lilly Lickitung. You have Crobat and a hollow stack attacker. It's okay. You still got a Pikachu hollow on it and everything. Not bad. And get more uh, sleeves. Snooty, that's not so bad, Snoots. That wasn't bad at all. Yeah, I can find you. Got Snooty's bag. Swampert OP in Battle Royales. Absolutely. Swampert. Swampert is pro. So Swampert is one of the strongest Pokemon from that generation, for sure. Modern times. Blaziken is definitely the strongest and Sceptile is the weakest, but despite all that, Sceptile was my favorite. It still is, dude. If I could have one starter from every Pokemon like game, it'd be Sceptile. I think it's the best looking starter. Very underrated. Ash had one and it was a beast. The pop count of Ancient Mew is crazy. PSA, CGC. Yeah, exactly, PDX. Absolutely. So what I've noticed is that CGC... CGC has... Um, 
good centering card. They focus more on centering and they don't they are more leeway with surface. PSA with those vintage cards are very very finicky with surface and centering. So CGC, you get, you have a more chance of getting a 10 because you could get a CGC 10 and it has print lines and PSA won't let you do that for the for vintage in the most part. Sick reverse. Quick says level one Aeron, Sturdy Endeavor, Shell Bell, Super Troll. Dude, I used to have that. People that didn't know Pokemon, that's what I used to do. Or Rattata. Rattata with Focus Ash, Endeavor, Quick Attack. Oh man, good times. Good times. All right, let's see if I can get this. Pikachu out. Uh, yeah, gonna be too hard to pick out. There we go. All right, so you get the cool thing about this blister is actually the promo, man. The promo looks amazing. You have a uh, Pikachu Unbroken Bonds promo. It is the Cosmos Hollow, Cosmos Hollow uh, promo. Let's go. Oh yeah, Grease, you didn't know what Pops was. So Pop means population, like how many they exist. So if this Pikachu grades a 10 and it's like low Pop, it means like there's not many 10s, which uh, depending how desirable it is, like a Pikachu very desirable, it'd be very expensive. Dude, this is such a cool promo. Beautiful promo, man. Let's go. All right, Snoots. Let's get it, dude. I'm gonna put this in one of these just cause it's so nice. Pikachu! It's Pikachu. it's Pikachu! Who's that Pokemon? It's Pikachu! Dude, I got one of them 1999 Pikachu plushes in my room. I bought it the other day. I also bought this uh, Pokedex. Put Pokedex. We'll be giving away another one of these pretty soon, guys. Okay, let me, let me, let me, I don't know what Pokemon that is. Pikachu, the rat Pokemon. It's supposed to be a mouse. What an awesome card. I'm gonna give it to your girlfriend. Can I be your girlfriend and you give it to me? <laughs> so yeah, it says PSA for sellers. CG for C10 better than PSA 10. Uh, yeah, in some parts. In most parts, it's true. So uh, yeah, Black Label tri triumphs all for sure. Yeah, nothing beats a Black Label. With Pristine 10s, sometimes PSA 10s are more. It just depends on what the card is, really. At the end of the day, I think it's just like a grader. Like, it depends on the grader, whoever grades it. It gets really complicated when it comes to, like, niches of niche. Okay. Put this away for snoots. Congratulations, and uh, we still have one more to give away. All right, let me refresh it here. WH, let me know if you're ready, my friend. If you still want to, or you want to wait a little longer, it's fine. Because the queue, it looks like we caught up other than the top pack. Snooty with the 12 months. Dude, happy, happy year, Snoots. Thank you so much for supporting, man, this whole year. Salute to everybody here. Love you guys. We love you too, Snooty. Thank you so much. Whole year support. Now your Pokeball, your Master Ball is a Cherish Ball because we cherish you. Thank you, thank you. Let's get it. Said, Open some. All right, sounds good. So, WH got crazy things, guys. Let's see what we should open, WH. We got some crazy things. You also have some crazy sealed sleeve packs in your box, too. So, you got a 2014 X and Y Venusaur tin. You got a 2016 Shiny Kalos tin with a EV tool. You have Roaring Skies Checkling Booster Pack. You got one of those. Evolution. You got the, the Greninja Evolution. Theme Siege Blister Pack. And Guardians Rising Blister Pack. Yeah, let me know which ones you want to open, which ones you want to keep sealed. Thanks for being the go, Rob. Nah, thank you, Snooze. You're the, you're the true go. You're the true go. Everybody here, I wouldn't be able to do all these fun openings if it wasn't for you guys. Thanks for making this community. Ya te tienes que ir, Nasa, you gotta go. Thank you so much for stopping by. Have a great one. Que tengas un buen día. Te lo agradezco mucho. All right. We'll, uh, we'll put that here. And then we'll go check on the top cards since I left them in the freezer. 
we'll open the first one for uh, Poke Boys. Poke Boys had one, and uh, we'll open that one for Poke Boys. Let's open for the WH. All right, all right. So let's open all of them for now. All right. Let's start off with the cheaper ones, and then we'll go on to the more expensive ones. Evolutions, Rover and Sky, Steam Siege, and Guardians Rising first. I'll say pass. All right, all right, cool, cool. Sounds good, WH. Just let me know, my friend. So this is the Steam Siege one. These are all very rare as a sealed collectible, so I wouldn't blame you if you want to keep some sealed. We have a Check Lane Blister, Evolution Blister of Gallade. Gallade featured as a Cosmos Hollow, X and Y Steam Siege in the back. Early and Routes there. Then you get into the more rare stuff. It's an X and Y, Roaring Skies, Check Lane Blister. So this one's Gallade, Cosmos, and then this one's a Shiny Gardevoir. Routes and Curlia, Routes and Curlia, and the other one. So this one's a Shiny Gardevoir with the Cosmos foil. You can pull this from one of, I think from Roaring Skies as well, one of the X and Y sets, Breakthrough, I forgot which one. And uh, you could pull the normal Hollow. This one's the Cosmos, which is the promo card, it's, uh, Roaring Skies. This one's Guardian Rising. It has Sharpedo. All of these has Cosmos Foil, Sharpedo, Sun and Moon Era. And then this is another X and Y Era. You got featuring Greninja from Breakthrough. Pikachu Coin, which I think some of these don't have a Pikachu Coin. Pikachu Coin makes it a little bit uh, better. Greninja being one the, the best one out of the Weezing. And Blastoise Pack Art. So we'll start off with Guardians Rising. They move up to more expensive like steam siege x and y roaring skies and evolutions these two being the more expensive ones all right here we go get ready for clipping and everything i'm gonna be ready to clip it and everything this is crazy all right here we go guys let's start off with guardians rising this is a check lane blister let it focus a check lane blister of guardians rising it's one of the more rare Guardian Rising packs since it's in a check lane blister. This is how they used to look like back in 2017. Let's see if we can pull something from the pack. And uh, we're gonna be letting the tops cards cook. <laughs> or I guess get cold. Here's the pack right there, top of Coco. And uh, we'll have to do a little bit of uh, maneuvering for the promo there. Sun and Moon Guardians Rising 2017. Such cool artwork, man, Guardians Rising. The chase card is actually a Rainbow Sylveon. Here we go. Let's see if we can pull the Rainbow Sylveon here. We already pulled a chase card earlier today from Unified Minds. Let's see if we can do the same thing for this set. Card trick is four. One, two, three, four to the front. Best of luck. You have a Psychic Energy. Flagelaker! Sluggo! He looks so happy! Beware of the bad fools. Wishy Wowshy. Yeah, Jack Mo. Wimpod. Machow. Wilmer. Flashlinger and in the back. Come on. Hit me with some fire. For the first pack. WH. Oricorio. No, Hollow Rare. Dang. Bro, we tried. So who won? We Snooty won the pack. But we have another one here, Grease Monkey. If you're talking about, uh, we're gonna give away another one. Yeah, make sure you're here when we do it, just in case you win. You have to be here to, uh, so you can claim your prize. Roth of the Goat, you're the Goat, Chris, uh, Chris L. You and your dad are the Goat. Both of you guys watching One Piece. I really appreciate that. Moody says, I'm ripping some Pokemon Coliseum while enjoying the stream. The nostalgia is... Yeah, exactly, bro. Coliseum is the best... Three... No, way. I, I, I like Stadium, too. It's one of the best 3D Pokemon games. So good. Put your code card over there. And then this is the Hollow. Beautiful card. Beautiful, beautiful. 
all One Piece fans are goaded. Dude, yes. One Piece is so good. I'm so glad you gave it a shot. That's what I figured. Just had to check out the shop and see uh, what you had available. I wish I had some. Oh, no worries, bro. Those Paldane fates are calling your name. Oh, yeah, the 151 is fun. I don't blame you, Grease Monkey. You got a good eye. I'm telling you, bro, if if my video... I'm going to film tomorrow. If the video does good, I'm going to open up a whole display of 151. Just like 151 is so fun to open. It's risky, but it's so fun, dude. Got Sharpedo. I mean, like, you already pulled the chase card, Grease Monkey, <laughs> in three packs. This is the Guardian's Rising pack. And then you also had a coin there. Got the Big Teeny coin. So this is so far what we got. Up next is Steam Siege. Steam Siege, check lane blister featuring a Gallade Cosmos foil card and uh, three other promos. Let's see if we can pull something from Steam Siege. X and Y full arts have been going to the moon lately. So if we can pull some of the full arts in this set or even Seeker Rare, when they grade a 10, they're extremely expensive. These are the promos that are gonna be stuck right there. All right, guys, here we go. This is the Steam Siege pack from the check lane blister. Dual power splash, here we go. Come on. We gotta do something good, man. We gotta, we gotta pull a full art. X and Y full arts are pretty much the chase cards now. I did see something shiny there. I hope it's a full art. Could be an EX. X and Y had three, not four. We're starting off with greedy dice. Yes, I am. Get the greedy dice. Left key. Guard of OA, Spirit Link. Hanky Panky, the Mankey climbing the tower. Hope you don't fall. Yanmo, the bug. Apom, the monkey. Larvesta, the larva. Drifloom, the, the balloon. Reverse Marrow, beautiful artwork. And in the back, WH, here we go. It looks like it is something here. Best of luck. EX, maybe? It is. It is Volcanion, though. Volcanion, not, not a lot of people like Volcanion. Pretty cool, though. We got an EX Volcanion. Team Siege. Oh, dude, Volcanion's a secret rare, isn't it? Or is that uh, some other set? I think Volcanion's also a secret rare, too. We got the normal EX for this one, though. I'm still clipping it. Volcanion EX. Very well centered, too. Like that. Oh my goodness. I wish this was a uh, Gardevoir. EX or full art or anything because look how the cards are coming out X and Y is notorious for like whitening that's why the PSA 10s are can be thousands but like look how much look how they're coming out they're coming out phenomenal they're coming out so good let's go not bad put this away so it says I like the red blue interesting I yeah it's really clean curly head what's up Chico Chico curly head how's you doing man yeah it looks really clean I, I love this uh how the condition to the cards have been coming out today Ash Ketchup got the very the, the luckiest so today for those that miss it earlier today Ash Ketchup pulled a chase card from Unified Minds and it came out so so well centered didn't have any whining it looks amazing so i think tonight i'm just really lucky pulling good from the cards. that was the pull of the night for sure so far so far. chico says doing good just rip 5v3 trying to find a card from shine oh shining fates ah oh, dude you fell dude shining fates is so risky yeah dude i'm sorry about that i know i know the feel all too well bro i know the feel all too well it's so risky with that set Shining Fates? I stopped opening Shining Fates a long time ago just because, uh... Are you talking about Paldean Fates? Paldean Fates is even worse. Alright, so this one is curly, uh... Got your code card right here. These promos look so cool here. And then, the cool thing about these, you just have to slide it up. You don't even have to, like, go through the sides there, so you don't have to damage it. This one is the Glade. Late promo. Catman says, Misty! 
Awesome pool! Yeah, we've been getting some cool pools so far. Alright, so now we're going into the really, really expensive check lanes after this, guys. Like, we're doing... I'm talking about... We're doing uh, Evolutions and Roaring Skies. So the, the big ones. Way. Delayed with the Sharpedo promo. They're a bit warped. These check lanes are a bit warped. I have a lot of ETV, so I got really cheap. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I don't blame you. I do that, too. If I get stuff for really cheap, I just, like, often, I just open it if you need something from a set. I usually open it just for either singles or competitive cards, though. That's what I usually do. When I'm, like, really looking. Like, I was thinking about opening my booster bundles, try to get a Prime Catcher. I need a Prime Catcher for my Roaring Moon deck. All right, here we go. Rory of uh, Roaring Moon. Freaking, um, Rayquaza. Roaring Skies. That's what it is. <laughs> Roaring Skies. Check lane blister featuring the Gardevoir, Shiny Gardevoir, Cosmo, Apollo. Can a brother pull a full art from Roaring, Roaring Skies? Here we go. We're going to put the promos right here to the side. Roaring Skies came out in 2015, guys. 2015 pack. Let's see if we can get lucky here. Pull something big. I love Roaring Skies too, Ash Ketchup. Me gusta lo bueno, lo caro. I like everything that's expensive. Here we go. Roaring Skies. Replays a pack art. There's a secret rare Rayquaza that, till this day, I still haven't pulled. And I've opened up a lot of booster boxes my, in my lifetime. Alright, so this is X and Y. It's going to be three from the back. Got one, two, three. Can a brother pull that secret rare Ray Ray? Starting off with Executor! Executor! Come on! Dragonair! Get it? Because this dragon is a dragon goes in the air. Healing Scarf. Cascoon. Meowth! Got Ink. Oh, he got inked! So you got Meowth, and then it's got the little uh, Ink in the background waiting to get ambushed. And then he got ambushed and took his, his apple. His only food. Now he's going to starve. You got Pikachu. It's Pikachu! Binacle. Togetic. And in the back for WH. Here we go. A hollow! Okay, at least we got a hollow. Reshiram, holographic rare. It is hollow bleeding though. Roaring Skies had like uh, some errors. This one doesn't look like it's an error hollow, but it is hollow bleeding at the very least. Reshiram, hollow. Not so bad yet. We'll take it. Christian de Leon. Pica, pica. Pica la colita. Togetic. It's gonna be your uh, reverse there. So that was a uh, Roaring Skies. Take away the promos. Yeah, these uh, check lanes are very pricey. Hollow is good when the pack is more than 10 bucks. Yeah, you're right. Because <laughs> you at least get that. Yeah, for sure. Because when it's not, when it's a hollow from like Temporal Forces or something, it's real sad. Got a route there. Shogun says, I digs the reverse hollows. They're so good. Then we got Obstagoon Column with a 17 month support. Let's go, Obstagoon Column. Pull that fire, dude. I really appreciate you, man. Thank you so much for supporting all these months, man. That's insane. I love you, bro. Thank you, thank you. All right, and then uh, to take out Gardevoir is so easy. You just have to pull it up instead of sideways so you don't damage it or reduce the damaging. It is the shiny Gardevoir with the Cosmos Hollow. Very nice. Call him with the HBO, helping a brother out and tossing the coins to the dang streamer. HBO in. Chico says the reverses in X and Y era are so dope. Oh yeah, they look amazing. You literally only have like five or six Warren Sky Packs in your collection. So fire. You should open them, bro. 
We're super late to the party, lol. Oh, no worries, dude. You're never too late. Like, if you arrive whenever I'm still streaming, you're like, you're never too late, man. I really appreciate you hanging out with us tonight. I know a lot of people tend to be busy on Friday, so thank you guys. And you got your coin. It's another big teeny. And big shout out to WH. He's the legend that's letting us open all these like big hits. Like all these packs are open because of him. So thank you again, WH. Put your Toja tick over there. I mean, look, look at the reverses. It looks so cool. All right, now we got evolutions. And I think this is my favorite of the uh, promos. It's the Greninja Cosmos Hollow. All right, with the Pikachu coin, the fat Pikachu. Uh, this one's evolutions guys is the most expensive out the three evolutions we're going for the charizard or error cards i've been seeing a couple of evolution error cards that have been uh flying around on facebook we have a better chance of pulling charizard <laughs> all right here we go we have an evolutions pack and then this one has the greninja let's see if a brother can pull charizard Best of luck, WH. You said the promo looks centered. So, what we want with these promos, they're usually warped. They're really low pop for that reason. What we gotta do is, we gotta uh, be very careful taking it out. And if it's warped, what we'll do with the promo is uh, stack it. Because warped parts is still great 10. Got three, because it's X and Y. We'll put it to the front. We're starting off with Charizard, Charizard, Spirit Link, Charmeleon, Super Potion, Siu Siu, Magmite, Ghastly, Holy Caca, Vodor, Reverse is far fetched, far fetched, Reverse. Oh, dude, that looks really nice. All right, here we go, guys. Let's see what I can pull for you, WH. Are you ready, bro? Are you ready? Come on. Okay, so it's white. Here we go. It's gonna be Chansey. Yep. Chansey. Chansey! Chansey Hollow. Oh, we got a Hollow. Chansey Holographic Rare. Didn't I already pull this for you? <laughs> Chansey Hollow. Very nice. Take hey, a look at the conditioning to it. The Hollows is so beautiful, man. Evolution's Hollows is just like space that Hollow. It's more holographic. Centering looks phenomenal at the back. The thing with Chansey is the print lines. But I mean, like, that centering looks amazing. Chansey Hollow. It's got a print line by its ears. It has one print line by its ears. Other than that, it looks great. All right, let's uh take take a look at the Greninja. That Greninja looks awesome. That also, I originally picked up the Gardevoir promo because I also thought it was a shiny. Wait, wait, it's not a shiny? I thought it was a shiny. What? Wait, wait, hold on, Juan Ramos, hold on, bro. You said it's not a shiny. It definitely is a shiny, bro. There's no way it's not. Let me take a look at it, Juan Ramos. About to prove you prove you and read it wrong. There's no way that's not a shiny. This card is 1,000 in a PSA 10, but getting it to a PSA 10 is near impossible. You have a better chance with Charizard. How is that not a shiny? Go check his Gardevoir's chest. Is Gardevoir's chest uh, red or is it black? That's gotta be a shiny, bro. There's no way that's not a shiny. That looks just like a shiny. It's blue. I'm blue. Ba ba dee ba ba da ba da ba dee ba ba da ba da dee ba. The, the reverse didn't have a print line either, so I was kind of, and then it's really well centered, so I was kind of hoping the hollow would be the same. So we got Farfetch'd. Got your, uh, your pack right there. And now this one, we got to be very careful because it's stuck in there. It's like stuck in there. I see a little fighting on there. We have to, uh, you got to do a little, uh, a little cosmetic surgery with some scissors. I have some small ones here I can use. 
WA says promo look centered. Portland, Portland, or Oregon. I want to go there one day so badly, bro. You have no idea. I've always wanted to go to Washington and Portland. Dude, this is so easy. Doing the plastic surgery here with these is incredibly easy. So what I got to do here is I just got to go above the plastic above there. Like so. See, like now it's like really short. And then you see if that's enough. Should be. See if I can do it in camera so you guys can see. See? And then you place this up and then it should just fall. That's the best way to do it, guys. If you guys ever get promos like that. It's got a... Dude, no way. I think it's got a swirl on the star. Y'all see that? I think that's the swirl of this type of hollow. It's like on the X, bro. Oh, that's sick. Dude, this card is sick. The more I look at it, the more... The more I like it. <laughs> it looks so good. I can see why these checkling blisters are so goddamn expensive now. This promo looks amazing. Look at the back. Yeah, so it just got that like little nick right there. Just like I think that's fixable actually with the right tools be like i just made the nick smaller i literally i just made it smaller <laughs> wow just place the blue back in there with something it's not so bad yet i made the nick smaller look at that darn that was just one white spot bro look at that it's just one white spot right there on the back I love swirls as Cammy. Oh, me too. Me too. Trust me. The swirls look amazing, especially the, the, on the older cards. Woo! I got Greninja. This is actually, out of all the hits and openings and promos, this is actually my favorite one, guys. I like this one more than the Pikachu. But I like Pikachu more as a Pokemon. But this card looks better. X and Y really did a good job on the TCG. Like, the card, like, I like the background color and everything. It looks phenomenal. All right, so this is what we got here. These are like the bigger pulls from the check lanes. Fancy! Sharkpedo, Gallade, Volcanion, Gardevoir, and Greninja. These are the rest of the promos with your reverses. Oh, you got a Hollow Reshiram too. Hollow Reshiram reverses there from the X and Y and Sun and Moon era. Uh, this is the best coin. It's a Pikachu coin. That's going to be definitely the best one. And then the other coins are just Victinis. They're just big here. So we're gonna put these away for you too. Fates Collide. Oh, dude, Fates Collide is amazing, bro. It, it has an Umbreon Full Art, bro. It has a Seeker Rare Alakazam. That set has always been slept on for a long, the longest time. Dude, I'll, Fates Collide, I dare say, it's like one of the best X and Y sets. It's got Umbreon Full Art, bro. The, the Alakazam is beautiful. It has, it, dude, the background has Lugia and it has Umbreon. Like, it's just beautiful. I love Fates Collides, bro. I love that set. I rarely have it because it's so like hard to find and get. We might even open some here uh, today. So WH, you got a tin from the X and Y era. You want to open those two? It's a Venusaur tin and it's a E Beetle tin. I'm gonna give you a bit more information on those because I have opened those before, except the E Beetle tin. I have no idea what's on there. It's in 2016, so it might have Fates Collide in that one. The other one, though, you might actually, like, double the price of what you paid. So, I'm going to give you a little, uh... I'm going to give you guys a little, uh, details about what the next tens are. The next ten. So, we'll start off. We'll start off with the cheaper Evitol tin. Or, uh, Evoltol. And then we'll do the Venusaur tin for now put this away and then after wh is opening we'll start doing the tops and we'll do the pikachu
found you. For your fault. I'm gonna play right now. Alright, so we got two sealed tins. This one's from 2016. It's a shiny EV tool tin. So so the shiny Pokemon of the legendary and the Venusaur tin. So this one is from 2014, as you guys can see right there. But it had a reprint in 2016. So this can have it has a possibility. It's not you can't tell unless you open it. It has a possibility of having Furious Fist, Flash Fire, and Phantom Forces. Uh, and it, like two Phantom Forces, I think, or two Flash Fires, one Phantom Force, and then one, um, one Furious Fist. And if you pull that, the packs together is worth more than the tin. However, it had a reprint in 2016 with Fates Collide, Evolution, and one Steam Siege. And then that's where like its value really comes from, right? That's the risk though. If you get the first print, that'd be amazing, bro. I wouldn't even want to open it if you get the first print. Hope you get some good hits, WH. It's always good. Thank you. No, thank you, WH. This is amazing, bro. I'm definitely clipping these. Can you do us next? Yeah, Juan Ramos, I'll do you next then. Thanks for letting me know, Juanito. I'm glad you, you're back home, my friend. I'm going to circle you. We'll do Juanito. You're next. Your wife was stopping me from buying that tin. <laughs> She's like, you're not having... Well, let's see, let's see if it's first print or not. It's really expensive. So, uh, I don't blame your wife. You pulled a secret rare from one pack in a mystery box in Walmart. Must be nice, Chico. That's insane. All right, guys. This tin from 2014, it has two print runs. 2014 packs in here could have Furious Fist, Flash Fire, and Phantom Forces. Or it could be the reprint with uh, older sets from 2016, uh, like Evolutions. The only way you could tell us to open it, that's what we're, exactly what we're going to do right now. Here we go. All right, it's no longer sealed. We have ripped it from the corner. We'll find out now and see what we get. Best of luck, WH. I hope it's the first print. Come on, please, Lord Arceus, if you're out there, give me the first print. It's second print. I already see the packs. Second print. So we got a Venusaur EX and second print has uh, evolutions. I believe it's two evolutions, two evolutions, one Fates Collide and one Steam Siege. So it's like the, the newer sets from, from the day, from back in the day. We'll leave Fates Collide for the end and we'll do two of the Evolving Skies here. Let's go. And over there. WH, I'm gonna put this inside your tin. This is really risky for me to try to get it out unless you really want me to. This one's harder than the Greninja because it's it's stuck right here and it's stuck right there. I have to like really cut through it. But you, I can't tell what the back is. It has a code card. I don't want to give it away in case you want the code card. But what I can do is I could just put like the, I could just put it back in there and then ship you with the tin. All right, here we go, guys. Let's see if the pools, the pools are great. Every time I see the plastic wrapping come off of older stuff, I feel a little something inside. I feel a little like nervousness inside. All right, here we go. Woo. Come on, dual powers clash. So let's start off with Steam Siege. Let's see if we can get a secret rare from Steam Siege. Come on, let's get something good. These packs are so nostalgic, man. Put that to the side. Card trick should be three. One, two, three to the front. Here we go, WH. You're starting off with do what? Azumarill, it's shiny. Shiny Azumarill. Prrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Claw Witzer, break hard for the first hit. Not so bad yet. That's not so bad yet. For the first hit, at least. Yeah, you want the good look in the next packs. That was Theme Siege. Evolutions is up next. Let's see what we can pull from Evolution. Here we go. The Pokemon Legacy Evolves. Pokemon X and Y Evolutions. A throwback to base set. Destroying the whole pack. A throwback to base set. Can we pull a Charizard? One, two, three. The centering in the back for that card looks amazing. The corners do too. All right, we're starting out with Charizard Spirit Link. Cocoon or Rattata. Full heal. Machow. Rally. Come on. Onyx. Need a rat. Bully caca. Reverse. Reverse. Dude, that better be Pikachu and not Magnemite. Pikachu reverse. That is an amazing reverse. I don't see a print line on this card. Zero print line. And in the back, Hollow Charizard. Manifesting Pikachu and Charizard. Come on. It's a hollow. It's a hollow. It's a hollow. It's yellow. It's Raichu. It evolved. Oh, no, it's not. It's Zapdos. <laughs> Zapdos. Dude, this card is hollow bleeding. Hold on, guys. Every now and then, this is the first time this is happening to me. Every now and then you open up evolutions, you get really lucky with a hollow bleed. This card is one of those times. It is hollow bleeding, my friend. Evolutions hollow bleed. And you still got another pack from the same product. You might, if there's a hollow in this pack, it might be hollow bleeding as well. Evolutions, I think, has the best hollow bleed. Apart from like the Neo stuff, of course. But like, wow. Wow, bro, that's amazing. Congratulations on the hollow bleed Zapdos. That is insane. Yo, that is crazy. I wish that was Raichu now. Raichu Hollow Bleed would be insane next to a reverse Pikachu. That's, this is the first time this happens to me, and I've opened up plenty of booster boxes of evolutions. Uh, uh, Pikachu didn't look like it had a print line either. Wow, this is that was an amazing pack. The condition to the back looks good. Wow, that's awesome, dude. That is so cool. I've never seen, I've never seen a hollow bleed on evolutions get pulled. Like you, look at that, bro. You could, you could see the hollow like all over the place. That's so rare. I think this card's gonna grade a 10 too. The centering looks really good. Look at the back. That looks really good. Uh, WH for evolutions, bro. That looks amazing. I think you have a shot at a 10 here. And it's a hollow bleed. So even if it doesn't grade a 10, the fact that it's hollow bleeding is insane. Yo, that looks so freaking cool. I love the hollow bleed. Imagine if that was Charizard. Oh my god. So, dude, you want another hollow here. <laughs> it's from the same product. You want another hollow. Because if it's hollow bleeding too, it'd be awesome. <laughs> hollow bleed Zapdos is so cool. That's definitely my favorite pool so far. My favorite pool so far is the Zapdos. Pikachu was an awesome reverse. Hollow Bleed Charizard would be insane, bro. That would be crazy. Imagine if that graded a 10 too. Woo! Woo! That'd be crazy. All right, so like, I'm gonna just hope for a hollow in general. I just want another hollow bleed. Hollow bleeds are like some of the best errors in evolution. You got the reverse peek it there. Hollow bleed Zapdos. So, so cool looking. All right, another evolutions pack. Can a brother pull another hollow bleed? <laughs> Here we go. Pull me something good, or at least give me a Charizard. Reverse. If it's not gonna be a hollow, give me a Charizard reverse, please. Pack trick is three. One, two, three. 
We got full heal. Where are we going? Pokedex! Hey, look, it's the Pokedex, guys. I have one here with me. Voltorb! And Onyx and two Voltorbs. Policaca. Yes? Magnemite. Seal. Water energy. Very nice. I think I see a print line up there. Right there. That's, that's unfortunate. And in the back. Come on, another hollow. Another hollow. It's water. It is Starmie. It's alright, at least we got the hollow bleed and Pikachu reverse. This is not bad at all. I was hoping for another hollow in that pack. Alright, come on, Fates Collides. Do not let me down now. Fates Collides is up next. It's actually the last one, guys. But last pack magic. Fates Collide. X and Y. Full Art Umbreon. Secret Rare Alakazam. Actually, any of the Umbreons will be great. Here we go. Fates Collide, I think, is one of the most underrated X and Y sets. Do one, two, three to the front. Best of luck, my friend. Scorched Earth. Dujin. Kangaskhan. Finnegan. Meowth. Larvitar. You got Burmy. Cottony. Carbrink. Moltres. Dude, that's a sick looking Moltres, though. That is an awesome looking Moltres, though. That, that Hollow Bleed really made up for it. And then the Venusaur. Let me know if you want me to I'll try to pull it out for you or if you want to do it yourself. It's got two right there, two right there. I'll, I'll send the tin anyways to you, WH. All right, let me go over the queue. So, Juan Ramos, I know you're next. That was awesome. That was awesome. Uh, we also have the EV tool tin. I forgot. <laughs> you still want to open this WH? This is a 2016 tin. I have no idea what it has. I've never opened one. I don't know what it has. I said sure. Okay. Let me try to. In the meantime, I'm gonna uh, try to cut snip this. I'm also gonna look over the queue here, guys. Just to see, like, uh, who's next. Alright, so after this, we have Juan Ramos, Captain Sweaters. We got a new participant. I have, uh, let me see if there's a YouTube name for this name. Catman! Catman! We have Catman. Catman, we'll do your tops cards with your 151. We'll do both of them together. Then we have Richie Rich. And then Column. Let's go, Column. Going at it again, my friend. And then after that, I'll close the orders for the night. Just so I can uh, wake up bright and early to do a uh, Collecticon. Collecticon video. Can I grade those two? Absolutely, WH. You said the Pikachu. You wanted the Pikachu and the, uh, the Zapdos? PSA is a bit more lenient on putting errors now, competing with CGC. So I'm hoping that they also pull Hollow Bleed Error on the card. I'm sure it's going to uh, build up the value on that card. If anything, bro, if you want to sell it, dude. Awesome card. Okay, let's see. This one's going to be a bit more tricky I'm gonna cut the corners here just so I have a better grip and it doesn't like unstabilize and then I'm gonna do one last time plastic surgery like quite literally plastic surgery here okay so I think that should be this is the best, this is the best uh, to like kind of trim off. Kind of just pull it back here like this. This one's a bit harder to do though. Like that, gently, and then it pops out like that. And you can just slide it off like that. That way you don't damage the, the card. So I could tell it's a little warped. That doesn't mean it won't grade well. The surface might have Focus. Keep the pay. So like I see like a little like a cross from it being on the tin for so long. 
back. The back didn't look bad at all. Oh my goodness. I actually think if if, if it's if it gets unwarped somehow, I think it has a chance, dude. It's not damaged, it's just warped. I actually think it has a chance. The back looks amazing. Just warped. Charlie says, you still going, man? Absolutely, bro. Absolutely still going. What do you think, PDX? Card before that could net a 10. I think the promo. I think the promo. Less and the better. What do you think, PDX? Chance it and donut magic. Chance it and donut magic? Are you talking about the the uh the Evidol tin or the, the Evoltol tin? You wanna open it and chance it? God Ven Venusaur! Doo -doo -doo -doo. Put that right here. Yeah, we still got the uh, promo as well. Got this to give away soon, guys. Let's do the magic. All right, let's go. WH, thanks again, bro. Thanks again for all these fun openings. Here we go. So that was the that was the, the Venusaur tin. Now we're going two years further ahead and we're opening up a 2016 tin. I'm guessing it's gonna have the same packs, but it could also have breakthrough, right? I don't know like the way it was uh, released or like the time frame it was released. Let's see what packs there are in the 2016 tin here. This is a shiny Xerneas, shiny Beetle. That's the shiny Xerneas right there. What's up, Beto? I'm having a great day, bro. I hope you're having a fantastic start to your weekend. Catman, I'm hoping for good packs for everybody for the rest of the night. I mean, this night was crazy. We pulled some chase cards already for older packs. I want to do the same for everybody else. All right, so now this is open 2016. Let's see what the packs are. You have a shiny Evitol promo card. I already see a couple of evolutions in there. So this is the next promo. It's a shiny, shiny EX. Very nice. And I think it's the same as Venusaur, it looks like. Two evolutions, Fates Collide, and the Steam Siege. It's the same packs. Wow, that's a lot. That's great value there. It's the same packs. I guess they really, the, the second print released the same time as this one. Definitely the promo is not worth, worth as much as Venusaur, though. Venusaur definitely more expensive. Ash Ketchup, the queue will be closed just because I want to keep streaming, bro, but I have to, I have to uh, wake up early for Collecticon. Uh, anything ordered tonight, I'll do it on the next stream. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I want to be a good noodle and uh, not be overslept for Collecticon for the video. If I wasn't filming, it'd be whatever. But I want to make some content. This one's gonna be easier. It doesn't look like it's as difficult as the Venusaur. I'm gonna cut up the bottom there. Best way to get it out. Hope you have fun at Collecticon, dude. Thank you so much, bro. I actually been to Collecticon before and it wasn't fun. I'm hoping it's fun now because I'm doing like a video with my friend. But I've been to Collecticon before and uh it's not fun when you don't have any money. <laughs> oh, I got damage right there. A little bit down there. Dang, dude, I hate these promos sometimes. Got like the nick right there, and then the back looks good too. Let me put the packs to the side here. All right, Rich says donuts, lol. What does that mean? What does donuts mean? So like do donuts? You mean going back around in circles? Is that what it's supposed to? <laughs> I heard donuts from WH too. And donut magic, Rafa. Do the magic? Donut magic? What do you think, TDX? He said send the Venusaur to PSA and donut magic. What? Oh, autocorrect. Okay, I get it now. Do the magic, donut magic. Ah, okay, I see. The autocorrect. 
It was kind of like when you want to say the bad word and it says ducking instead, like a duck. Yeah, I know that feel. Let's, uh, donut magic. <laughs> Alright. Let's put these pins over here. And, uh, here we go. Let's donut magic. We got Steam Siege. X and Y Steam Siege. Fresh Hats. Welcome back, Fresh Hats. Let's see if I can pull the Seeker Rare here. Dude, I opened up so many X and Y and Sun and Moon packs today. It's unreal. Crazy, crazy. When I when I originally first put those blisters in the website, I thought most of y'all was going to keep it sealed. <laughs> I was so wrong. Got three to the front. Turn it around. Ambipalm. The monkey. Fluffy. Fletchlinger. Seed out. Drifloon. Meryl. Shellos. Mantine. Reverse is a water. Mantine. Oh, dude, you got double the Mantine. Double dipping here. And in the back. Steam Siege. Okay, you got some. You got something. Everybody calm down. Is it a Seeker Rare? I don't know. Oh, that's cool. It's a mega shiny Steelix. Is, is it a Seeker? It's not a Seeker Rare. It's a mega though. Yo, that is amazing. The surface looks amazing. Mega Steelix, Jefferson Steelix, you're looking very dandy there. Uh, the condition looks amazing, bro. X and Y condition. Oh, wow, that looks awesome. I don't see a speck of whitening. The centering is got here on the back. The front looks just as good. Mega Evolution, Mega Steelix. Let's go. Let's not so bad yet. I'm flipping it. So much content to do now. I just pulled that last night. Chico, you be opening up X and Y sets too? <laughs> Y'all are crazy. Well, actually, tomorrow, I'm actually opening up a vintage pack. Okay, so that dot is just from part of the sleeve. I was kind of afraid. Like, what is that? It's just part of the sleeve. Looks ugly. All right, let's put Jefferson Steelix in here. Chico be opening up expensive packs on his free time. Must be nice. So uh, I'm opening this uh, for the video. I'm gonna be opening up this vintage pack. So I'm really excited to see what's what's in it. Again, if the video does good, I usually only do videos for fun, but if it does good, dude, I'm gonna do the, um, be doing the uh, 151 bundle. I've always, I always wanted to open up a whole bundle for myself. They're just so freaking expensive. Evolution, here we go. Sudden Kitten, what's up, Sudden Kitten? Rafa! Dude, Sudden Kitten, I haven't done your uh, opening yet. Your Burger King openings? I saw that, man. Hey, whenever, uh, after Juan Ramos, bro, if you're still here, let's do your openings. Those were really fun. Those Burger King openings are so fun, dude. Thanks again for supporting Sudden Kitten. All right, here we go. We got a Charizard pack card, Evolution. Can a brother pull another error pack and or a Charizard Hollow? This is a throwback to the original base set. The quote unquote cheap way to open up base set, but it ain't really cheap. You can get Charizard Reverse, Charizard Hollow, Charizard Full Art. Charizard is the, the one you want to pull here. It's three from the back over to the front. You have a Devolution Spray. Nidorino. Slow, bro. Weedle. Like the bug. Drowsy. Star you. Energy and a reverse, reverse, reverse. What, what is that? Reverse Haunter. That's a fire reverse. Very nice. Gorgeous. And in the back. Ah, perfect. We pulled the reverse of him already. It's all right. We got another one coming up. Maybe Jungle Scyther. Dude, I love Jungle Scyther. Dude, what if it's a uh, error? No symbol. No simple jungle. That'd be crazy, huh? I'm not going to hold my breath on it, though. All right, so that was uh, Evolutions. We got another Evolutions. Come on, Evolutions. Don't let me down. Later on through the night, we're also going to be giving away uh, another Unbroken Bonds pretty soon, too. So then it says, yay! Nah, dude, I haven't... Nah, dude, I want you to see your opening. If I can hold off, I will, you know? 
All right, let's see what we can pull out of this evolution packs for uh, WH. Shout out to WH for getting this pack for the live stream. Can a brother pull a hollow Charizard, Charizard, or Charizard full art? I think this is gonna be a full art because man, look at those corners or uh, that edging. Usually the edging looks really whitening when it's a full art. X and Y full art edge wear is a uh, brutal. So I'm predicting here a Mega Charizard, Pokedex. Kakuna Rattata, Potion, Energy, Rally, Ghastly, you got Charmander, Rata de dos Patas, Blastoise, Mega, and a Full Art, it's gonna be, it's not a Full Art, it is a Pidgeotty, oh well that's surprising, I, I, I was so confident it was a Full Art, this is the most effed up Pidgeotty X I've ever seen, the back of this card looks like it was cut by a child with kindergarten scissors look at that are y'all seeing the edge wear to this i thought it was gonna be a full art it looked like it got cut by kindergarten scissors by a preschooler pidgeot ex we still got fates collide to save the day fates collide is gonna be here to save the day guys don't worry you had some fire in your store. Dude, yeah. I still do. <laughs> yeah, that was a really cool... It was a really cool collection I was able to pick up. It's stuff that, like, you rarely... I rarely get to see. So, I'm just get really lucky. Right time, right place type of thing. I also got some stuff for myself, like vintage toys that I traded for some modern sets. Pidgeot EX. So far, Mega Steelix was the best one from the tin. All right, guys, we got last pack magic. We have Fates Collide. We're going for a full art Umbreon. Uh, are you going to take pre-orders for the One Piece reprints? Yes, Richie Rich. As soon as they confirm my allocation, I will. As soon as they, they just got to confirm my allocations because I don't want to take people's money and then, and then refund them. It looks bad on my part. But there will be, there's going to be some uh, allo uh, reprints. Not everybody knows because... It's only for distribution. All right, here we go. We got one, two, three to the front. Come on, risking it for the biscuit. Then it uh, says, oh yeah, you do. I didn't mean it like that. Wait, what do you mean you didn't mean it like that? Got ultra, ultra bowels, old amber, power memory. I need that power memory because my memory not powerful enough. Dick what? Snivy. Larvitar in the cave, Vullaby having a good time, Machino cleaning up, energy pouch and in the back for WH! <sighs> oh, that hurts, bro. Freaking Zygarde piece of garbage. So the first thing did a lot better, in my opinion. You still have fire. Oh, you still have fire in your store. Nah, dude, it's all right, Sudden Kitten. I appreciate you, bro. That's what you meant is what you said. Oh, okay, okay. I thought that you had some fire in your store. I see the confusion. It's all right. Yeah, we're going to do yours pretty soon after Juan Ramos. Oh, man, we were so close. WH, thanks again for supporting, bro. We did earlier today, we did pull a chase card from older sets. We pulled a Misty. And it, I think it's in perfect condition. I mean, that Misty is gorgeous, gorgeous centering. Shout out to Ash Ketchup. No whining at all. Centered AF. Like, there's no way this doesn't grade up at least the PSA 10. I was kind of hoping we have that same luck for these sets. The best hit, bro, was definitely that Zapdos, man. I really hope that Zapdos, if anything doesn't grade a 10, that Zapdos, I hope it grades a 10 it's hollow bleeding bro the fact that it's hollow bleeding is so rare especially if it grades a 10 hollow bleed 10s if hollows and evolutions are already so hard to grade a 10 imagine if it's hollow bleeding so it says oh what's this that misty from misty is from unified mind misty is from unified mind where the minds are unified all right, Juanito, you're up. Then Sudden Kitten, you'll be afterwards. Big shout out again, guys. Sudden Kitten. Thanks for the content, bro. Like, this is awesome. Absolute legend. 
the myth, the man, the legend. I still have your bulk here somewhere. There you go. Oh, nice and clean. Oh, this one didn't have coins, right? Farfetch with Haunter, and then your Claw Witzer. With its water energy in there. Oh, yeah. Now we're talking. How many do we have in here? One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll do a seven, eight for this one. Juan Ramos, you still there, bro? You're next. Then we'll do the Burger King toys for Sudden Kitten. Just let me know if you're there, because I know I was, uh, you were waiting for Lauren. I think this one's also full already. Let's see what WH has in here. One, two, three, oh, four, five, six, seven. Bro, why'd you pull this? Holy moly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. This is supposed to be. Oh my goodness, bro. I don't remember that pool. God damn. Presente. <laughs> Dude, are you guys the same as me? When I was in school or college and they were like taking roll call, I had the biggest anxiety just to say like here. Oh man, I just didn't want to like say anything. Unbroken bonds, it looks like here. Zap those and Venusaur to the front for like when it's time to grade. You pulled a Bulk Trio EX, the best one, bro. Bulk Trio is the best. He is the best. Nothing beats Bulk Trio. By the way, Rafa, you got me back into Pokemon. I won five dollars at a One Piece tournament last week. I spent it on the Poro Forces. Oh, and then you pulled Bulk Trio. That's what you meant, dude. I'm so glad you're into Pokemon, man. Pokemon and One Piece are like my favorite thing. I love, I, I equally love One Piece as much as I like Pokemon. That speaks a lot because I am obsessed with Pokemon and One Piece. So like two, two, uh, two sides of the same coin, bro. Two sides. I'm, I'm glad that I rekindled the love of Pokemon. Love Pokemon. I love how it brings everybody together. And I love how One Piece builds a character, man. One Piece really built me. Pokemon brought us together if that makes sense like pokemon i've met all my friends through pokemon but one piece was what built me as a person so like you can't have one without the other man those two are the best things that's ever happened to my life i said yeah during the roll call dude i was always so shy during roll call bro i hate it i hate it and then like in college i remember in community college they would tell me like Tell us about yourself. I'm like, I don't want to say anything. I don't want to talk about myself. Just go get, get to teaching. All right, here we go. Let's see uh, Juan Ramos. Again, big shout out to WH. I'll make sure to put a little extras in your back, WH, your box. Thanks again for supporting. Juan, Juan Ramos, you have something that I forget. <laughs> Juan Ramos, you got eight temporal forces and unbroken bonds, EV promo seal. I got you. There is one well lord promo that has a swirl. It's not really a check lane, it's evolution check lane, which is a bit different. I'm gonna put this sealed, Juan Ramos. And we'll go ahead and do Temporal Forces. It was eight packs. After that, Sudden Kitten. All 
All right, Juanito. I don't think we pulled an SIR from the case yet, so I hope you're the first. I'm definitely not the last. Here we go. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Juan Ramos. Please, bro, just pull an alternate or call it a day. PDX says, I found a four pack Fago cotton candy soda pop today. It was kind of good. <laughs> what is that, bro? All right, let's pull some heat. Elixir, you're back. Welcome back, Elixir. Fresh, ha Fresh Hats is the king. Absolutely is. Yeah, I did forget about Naruto. I love Naruto. Naruto built a childhood out of me, too. All right, we got Carvana. Again, sir. Rapska, Full Metal Lab, Del Caddy, Shit Tree, and Mel Metal. So, starting off with Mel Metal, not a good sign. It's all right, it's all right. We're just getting started here. Rafa, what up with the cloth banner from the new set? I, Bro, I gave it away. <laughs> Wait till the next set, Fresh Hats. I'll give that away to you, too. I didn't know you really wanted it. They cost just a few dollars on eBay. Uh, I think I sold an Obsidian Flames for 50 That was an expensive one. But I don't think they're that expensive on the secondary market. I gave it away already. They only give me one of those. So I can't... No takes these backsies. The next one, bro. Wait till the next one. The next one, I'll get... I'm sure I'll get another one. And then you can have it for a uh, ma masquerade or whatever it was called. Great tusk. Oh, look at that. Juan Ramos, I pulled you something. You got Litten the kitten. And Bramble Gay, yes. Yeah, they only give you one of those cloth promo things. The only ones I really ever kept was the ones in the background right now. Like the Charizard and Pikachu because it's Charizard and Pikachu. But the ones from Temporal Forces and all that, like I just gave those away. I think I gave away Pokespace if he's here. I gave him the Paldea Evolved one. Yeah, the Litten is so cute. I don't know if you guys noticed, but there's a shiny Litten in here. There's a shiny Litten too. Right there. It's a picture of the, it's a book. So you can get educated on the white cat. You have one banner of Scarlet and Violet. Oh, dude, that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, the Scarlet and Violet ones look cool. The ones for Sword and Shield, they were uh, holographic posters. They look cool too, but they're a lot more expensive. All right, here we go. He says, let me get one after him, Rafa. I'll pay two. Oh, you, are you talking about the banners? All right. Just, uh, they don't always give them to me, but usually they do. <laughs> Just wait till the next set. They give me like one per set usually. I didn't get one from Paradox Rift, but I did get one from Obsidian Flames. And then when 151 came out, they gave me the stuff that I have in the background, like the puzzles. They gave me a very limited amount, so I didn't give them out to everybody. But yeah, once they're here, I just give them away to you guys. We have Charger Bug and Maridon. They also gave me a paper poster. I gave that one away to Liminal for Temporal Forces. But the paper poster is not as cool as the, the cloth poster. Yeah, thank you guys. Juan Ramos, come on, dude. Bro, you gotta you gotta do a whole 360 here, man. Do a backflip, pray, recite the Japanese Bible backwards. You gotta do something, bro. Like these pulls have been horrid for you for temporal forces. Which collective con are you going tomorrow, Rafa? Is the one here in Houston? I'm literally only going because it's in Houston, so it's like in the area. Ooh, that's a good one. Iron Crown, the best EX, bro. That's a that's a good one. That we went positive on that pack. Iron Crown. Um, it's in Houston. I'll be there tomorrow for a video. So I'm filming a video. If it does well, guys, it's, it's a challenge video where, like, if I lose, I lose everything with vintage cards. So I'm going to be buying, like, a lot of, like, Watsy cards. And if it does well, I'll open up a 151 display with, like, the same premise. And I'll have a giveaway for a slab if you guys want to uh, view it. Make sure to join Discord. I don't know when the video is out, but I want it to be out as soon as possible. Before my birthday. My birthday is Friday. So definitely before my birthday. And then uh, on Friday, we'll open up Team Up Boost Ball. Houston looks fun. Watching on Twitch. H Houston looks fun. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Collecticon was today, right? 
Uh, it wasn't... Dude, Collect the Con, bro, I'm gonna tell you the truth, okay? I've been to Collect the Con and all these card conventions. From what I've seen is only... Like, I don't have fun ever. I don't... Unless you spend money, dude. Like, I never have thousands to spend. So, like, when I went there, bro, it was kind of boring. Like, last year when I went to Collect the Con with Tim, I hated it. It was so boring. The only fun part was when you go to eat afterwards with Tim to, to the barbecue. That was fun. But being at Collecticon is not really a convention. It's a market to get autographs and buy stuff. Conventions for me is like an anime convention. There's panels. You know, you go to panels. You get uh, Q and A's in panels. Like like there's th that that for me that's a convention. It's more like collect the market. Got cutie fly and a cargo. Oh, you're streaming? No, I'm not gonna be streaming. I'm gonna like film. I'm gonna be like making a video. Rafa, make sure you don't lose. Yeah, dude. I better not lose. Uh, I actually lose a lot of money if I lose. I think I lose, so... The, that was like 100 bucks, like 200. And then I'm giving him 100. I'm getting 400. 400 and something. Not counting the tickets I bought for me, my girlfriend. The guy I'm challenging and his girlfriend. Because I had to pay... For them to be in the video, I had to pay for their tickets. Dude, making the only time, the only reasons why I don't make videos are so expensive to make them. Yeah, so if I lose, I lose all my cards. And there's a lot of hollows. I'm planning on getting a Charizard Hollow too. Base set. Got Screamtail, Big Teeny, Pikachu, and Raging Bolt. Not bad. Full art. Not terrible. Got two more packs. Panorama. Pan Shogun says, very fun. Good luck, Rafa. Thank you, dude. I, I'm really excited. I don't want to do a video if it's not fun. Like, I'm doing something that I want to do that's fun. Oh, you're just talking about Houston. Like, in general. Houston is fun in general, yes. I thought you meant Houston Collecticon. Yeah, Houston in general, dude, is really fun. There's so many things to do, but the traffic here sucks. Traffic here sucks, but there's so much to do in Houston. I recommend visiting if you can. If you're like a city boy, like, this is perfect. Houston is perfect. Uh, Austin is better though. So if you go anywhere in Texas, I think Austin is better, way better than Houston. Colossal is what she said, but not to you, Juan Ramos. I'm sorry. Uh, Coridon, Litten the Kitten, and Roaring Moon. <laughs> Look at all these hollows, man. Last pack of magic. Then he says, damn, that is a lot. Really excited for the video though. Yeah, that's why like, I don't mind spending it if I have the money. It's just that, like, uh, the last video I did was in July of last year, you know? So that's why I can't do one, I can't do one frequently, because it's so, so expensive. But I still want to do them, though. Hey, brother, would you like to buy a collection that's with you? Yeah, dude! Yeah, send me a message. Nathan, absolutely. Send me a message on Discord. Got uh, Dunsparn. We have Nom. Got Pikachu! Side there! Hand Trimmer. We have Rapska. Iron Jubilees. Sizzlipede. Chitot. And Iron Bull. Okay, not bad, not bad. We pulled another EX. That wasn't bad. Iron EX right there. Hollow. How many hollows did we get? Here we have one, two, three, four, five hollows there. Five hollows, two EXs, but two of the best EXs. You got a full art and you got a litten art rare. It wasn't terrible, Juan Ramos, but it's... Oh man, I just wanted to pull you an alternate art, man. Also, like... I want I want you to get an alternate art. Come on, man. Here's my Pokedex. Nathan, I hope you're doing well, bro. Thank you so much for stopping by. But I really do hope you're doing well, my friend. Hopefully, like, uh, nothing bad happened as, like, an emergency. Sudden Kitten, we got your Burger King toys to open up next. Juan Ramos says, I hate this set so much. Thank you, Rafita. No, thank you, Juan Ramos. I mean, I mean your pool wasn't terrible. I, I've seen worse. An R-Rare, two EXs. Raging Bolt is not bad, bro. Compared to, like, what I've seen. 
Yeah. Let's go. Let's put this over here. Sudden kid in. I hope you're ready, bro. I'm gonna go back to the year 1999. <laughs> All right, so we did Juan Ramos. I'm gonna go through the a Q Juan Ramos. We did Ash Ketchup. We did W H Buggy. We still gotta do Poker Boys. Sudden Kitten. Yeah, we have to do the tops here pretty soon. The top? We got some top cards. Can you refresh it here? I need to buy a Pokédex. Never had one as a kid. Dude, me too. Dude, why do you think I bought this, bro? Absolutely. I always wanted one as a kid, but my mom couldn't afford them. I think they were $20 back then. But dude, 20 bucks back then was so much money. Like, as, a, as that, like, age, 20 bucks was like 100 bucks. Now a hundred bucks feels like ten dollars with all the bills. All right, so we have. Let's see. Sudden Kitten is up next. Then we have Captain Sweater and Cat 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 Cat. I forgot. Well, Catnip. I for, I forgot. I forgot. I'm forgetting. I'm forgetting that the YouTube name. Catmint. Catmint. I thought it was cat. Uh, cat nip. Nip. <laughs> Catmint. Catmint. I'm sorry. I did, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm tripping. Funko. Uh, you got the tops. That's why we haven't. We skipped you. So you guys are gonna go right after. Uh, let them freeze a little bit. I really. It worked last time, and Colum pulled the Charizard, and I think it grades a ten. Those cards could worth can be very expensive if graded away if we get lucky. So I think it's worth the wait. Uh Captain Sweaters. Captain Sweaters. Catnip. Cat cat mint. Uh elixir. Yeah, we'll call this right there. And then we'll do uh everybody else that got tops, which is Andrew, Tim, Funko. Poker Boys and and, uh, and Column. So Richie, you're also in there, man. I'm sorry, I didn't, I'm just seeing you. And then Column. Poor Column, he's all the way in the end. So Captain Sweaters, Cat Mint, Elixir, Richie, and then Tops after that. Call it a night. But for now, we have the Burger King toys, and we also have a giveaway here that we're actually doing right now. <laughs> Like we're joining right now. We're joining the giveaway right now. Make sure to add your Pokemon on the screen right here. Sudden Kitten. We have a Pokemon Power Burger King from the year 2000 and the 1999 Pokeball toy. These were really fun to open earlier. We opened a few of them. They were really fun. Pokeboy's still there. Sorry for not dropping out like that, bro. My girl has some stuff. Oh, dude, no worries, dude. How the giveaways go? We're doing we're doing this one right now. Shout out to Pokeboys again donating this uh, Pikachu blister. Absolute legend, bro. This is the best one too. Check lane blister. So uh, yeah, best of luck to everybody. Pokeboys. After this, uh. Pretty soon we're gonna do the tops packs. I don't know if you want to stay to look at your tops packs. I'm just waiting for them to freeze a bit more, to potentially not have them sticky. You know, <laughs> I really, really want them to be like in good condition. Evan Deviris, what's up, Evan Deviris? Welcome back. And then for uh, the rest of the night, anything ordered uh, will be for the next stream. I have to do a video tomorrow, and not to wake up early. <laughs> All right. In the meantime, guys. Uh, I'm gonna uh, take a quick break. I'm gonna take a quick break and then we'll come back, okay? So, in the meantime, just put your Pokemon down there. As soon as I come back, we'll uh, do the giveaway. All right, BRB. <laughs>
Man, this is a fire play. I had to grab more water. <laughs> Alright, guys. Make sure your Pokemon is down there for the giveaway. Make sure your Pokemon is down there. I wonder how much he paid for this picture we were watching. Uh, it was, I want to say like 300 bucks. I forgot how much the commission was, but I want to say it was around 300. Yeah, it's not bad for what it, for like the animation and stuff. Commission. All right, here we go. Sun Kid, it says command chart changes the Pokemon. Of course, Evan DeVirius, thank you for being here. Avatar comes on screen a few minutes after you talk in chat. Yeah, Poke Boys, thanks again for the opportunity of the giveaway, man. Absolute legend. Thank you, thank you. Uh, PDX says, when's the next stream? Uh, most likely on Wednesday. But I'm going to try really hard to stream again on Monday. Really, really hard. Shiny Celebi. <laughs> yeah, make sure, guys. We're going to roll the giveaway. Make sure your Pokemon's down there. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Best of luck, everybody. Who's going to get a $30 pack? And then we're going to open up this for uh, Sudden Kitten. I'm going to sanitize my hands in the meantime. Let's see who wins. If I win, then I'm going to give you guys a questionnaire. Whoever answers first gets everything. All right, here we go. Everybody's lined up. Let's see who's, who's the winner here. Come on, Machamp. Give him the good old one, too. Me and Sudden Kitten going at it. Then I punched the Well Lord. Oh, someone already died. I don't know who it was. Ooh, two people got taken out there. Two Pokey. Ooh, another one got taken out. Me versus Gengar. Beto, sorry, you're going down, Beto. Get back here. Uh. Oh, he killed me. I'm dead. Messed up, bro. Oh, the Sableye died. Then you got Dragonite. Oh, Dragonite versus... All right, so I think Dragonite here wins. Poke Boys. <laughs> That's you, bro. This is your own giveaway. <laughs> Who's Dragonite? Christopher Vasquez. We're going to give it to Christopher Vasquez. He was second place. Oh, who is... Is that Poke Boys? I think that is Poke Boys. Poke Boys, that was your own giveaway, bro. You can't do that. <laughs> He did it just for the ego, you know, just to say like he won his own giveaway. <laughs> oh, you're so it was rigged. Sorry. All right, so we'll just uh, we'll give it to the second place winner, which was Christopher Vasquez. Christopher Vasquez, you'll win it. You'll win it, bro. <laughs> we'll give it over to Christopher Vasquez. Let's go. <laughs> All right, Chris Vasco. Let's see what I can pull you from Unbroken Bonds on the free one. Winning his own giveaway. You're funny. Let's go. Juan Ramos, good night. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate you, Juan Ramos. You got six plays. Yoki's in. Nice to see you, my friend. And uh, Juan Ramos, you and Lauren, thank you guys so much. Have a great night, bro. I'll see you on the next one. Congrats, Christopher Vasquez. Yeah, we'll give it to the second place winner. Just so we don't have to do another whole uh, battle royale. <laughs> Alright, here we go, Christopher Vasquez. Second place, twice in a row. This time you won, though. Second place, not so bad. And uh, again, thank you, Poke Boys. Absolute legend, bro. The mod Poke Boys. Let's see what we can pull for Christopher Vasquez. The promo itself is already like a good hit. Let's see if we can pull an alternate on top of this. Yoki Zen, did your package ever get to you? I gave you an extra deck. I had some laying around, so I just like put them in there. Right, let's uh, I'll, I'll I'll try to take it out here, pretty. pretty soon. Oh, you think you're okay? Sweet, sweet. I just wanted to make sure. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure. Oh, and it was your birthday present. I didn't even know. Oh, that was a present surprise. I, I don't know why I read birth birthday. All right, best of luck, Christopher Vasquez. Unbroken bonds from the check lane blister. You could pull an alternate art here, Christopher Vasquez, and it could be the best one. You could also pull nothing and be very depressed. One, two, three, four. 
Here we go. We have a Wawda Energy. Lieutenant Surge. Electromagnetic Radar. Leva! You dude. Litten the Kitten. Froakie croaking away. Brawler! Odish! Dude, that is a fire reverse, man. That is beautiful reverse. That's probably the best reverse on, on top of the Mew. Snorlax. Beautiful Snorlax. And in the back, you get nothing. Let's go, though. You, at least you got this one. This one looks... Lazy eating is me all the time when I get pain. That Snorlax is beautiful. I do agree. I know there's a hollow of this card, too. Yeah, the hollow. Ash Ketchup has it. Ash Ketchup has a hollow. That hollow looks bad, eh? And then, um... Christopher Vasquez, do you want me to take it out? Or do you want me to leave it like this? Christopher Vasquez is a local, so I don't have to ship it. I just have to give it to him like this if he wants to. And that way you could take it out. But I could try to take it out for you if you want me to. Christopher Vasquez, you're right. The best value from that pack was definitely the Pikachu, though. You have it in Japanese. That's even more rare. I think if you have that card in Japanese, it's more rare. Go ahead and take it out. <laughs> Alright, Christopher Vasquez. He's the boss, after all. Yo, how's Melly doing, bro? Is she still traveling for work or not anymore? I kind of... I really miss y'all because it feels like I don't see you anymore ever since I moved out of my parents' house. <laughs> there I think this is enough right here that was enough and then that was enough for the code part not for the card okay so the card hasn't gone out yet That's always so tough to get out, dude. Come on, Pikachu. Don't be like that. There we go. You really want to try to, like, just, like, let gravity do its thing? Got a hollow Pikachu. It's not so bad yet. Hey, look at that. That's not so bad yet. That's pretty good. That's not, like, terrible. That came out way better than I expected it to. <laughs> By the way, after I sent the stuff, I got six more OP packs and pulled a Zoro. Dude, Yoki's in no way, bro. You pulled a Zoro? Congratulations, man. That's wild. Are you willing to trade for Pokemon? Because her is doing good. Just working her life. Uh, pobrecita, man. She's a hard worker for sure. Both of you guys. The grind runs in the family. Sudden Kenan says, Coochie, look at the coochie. <laughs> Centering, overall surface, overall corners. And then, uh, what, what was it? Highly it, it, in, integrative edges. The coochie for short. Make sure to always look at the card. We have Pikachu and Coin. Dude, GG's on the Manga Zoro. That's crazy. English too, right? That's insane. It's so expensive. You really looked out on that one. Let's put it with your uh, Noivern. Then Snorlax will go with this right here. You see what Kyle pulled though? It's in Dude, what did Kyle pull though? Kyle also pulled it? Luffy Manga? What's with y'all's luck? Dude, I'd be freaking out. I'd be, oh my goodness, I'd be so ecstatic if that was ever me pulling it. I'd cry. I think I'd cry. Mangas are like the gold stars of uh, modern time. They're like near impossible to pull. So consider yourself like hella lucky if you pull a manga card. All right. Up next, we got Sudden Kitten. Let's do it, man. Let's start off with the 1999. All right, we got, do you guys remember this? It was a Burger King 
toy from 1999. This pack contains a Pokeball with 57 potential Pokemons that can be pulled. Today, we're going to open up this old toy from Burger King from the year 1999, 25 years ago, and see what we pull today. So, uh, it comes with a little pamphlet here. Mewtwo Strikes Backs with a Pokemon. You got the Abra. It's really cool. And then a picture of all the Pokemon for a checklist to see which one you pull. Pikachu is definitely the chase here. We're trying to pull the Pikachu. But there's 57 of them. Let's see how lucky we get. Sudden Kitten, best of luck. Here's the Pokeball. You can use it as a keychain. This has been sealed since the 90s, man. That's crazy. Cool content here. Trying to take off the Pokeball is pretty hard. <laughs> I struggled all night trying to take the dang Pokeball. <laughs> Man, this is tight as a condom. Come on. Andale, no mames. Come on. You know it's tight when my Spanish comes out. All right, there we go. It's out now. All right, let's see what you pull. Best of luck. And it's... Psyduck. Dude, you got Psyduck, bro. This one squirts water. So it's like, you get some water... And then Psyduck, he, he, you squish him, and he throws the water from his beak. That's so cool. Look at that. Yo, this is probably the best one we've pulled so far. I love it. Psyduck! Yo, can y'all put some Psyducks in chat? Dude, this is so good. Psyduck! <laughs> so cool. <laughs> Yo, I love Psyduck is like a mascot in my channel, bro. I love Psyduck. Let's go. All right, so I'm not going to even attempt to put it back on, dude. It was impossible to take out, impossible to take back out. Oh, there's also a Mew here. Shout out to Alfredito. I miss him. There's a Mew. Spread out. Bombasaur, Charmander there. There's a Mew too. There's a Gengar, bro. There's a Gengar. This Psyduck! Holy caca is in here too! Bro, I, we need to open more of these. Holy moly, this is so cool. Psyduck having permanent headache is something I relate to. Oh, bro. Every day. <laughs> Why do you think I drink so much caffeine? Gotta get rid of the headache. Alright, that was for Sudden Kitten. Do you guys remember these? It's the Burger King year 2000, promoting the Pokemon movie 2000. 24 Pokemons, each one does a different thing. It's a toy that looks like a card. It's, uh, Lugia is the chase card. We pulled a Pikachu earlier today. The short should be somewhere on YouTube once it's uploaded. Let's see what we can pull on this one. You get a little card with a checklist. So you got every single Pokemon does a different thing. Some of them talk, some of them squirt water. Some of them do nothing. But really cool, really cool stuff here. Put it back in the bag. Now, let's see what we pull. I think this is another, ooh, I think this is actually Porygon. I think I saw a Porygon there. I could be wrong. So first you take this out. It looks like it is a normal type. Is where you put the, the, the card. Then we open it up again, and the pool is gonna be a Porygon! Wow, let's go! He's the Pokemon that got banned. It wasn't even his fault. Porygon did nothing wrong! So this one is, it does nothing. Oh, I, th I think it glows in the dark. Oh, I think I remember these actually. This one glows in the dark. I'm gonna turn off all the lights. Yeah, this one, this one glows on the dark. Can you like? Just like. Yeah, I can't see it. Huh? <laughs> it's supposed to glow on the dark, I think. I'm sure it is the one that glows on the dark. I'm like very certain it glows on the dark. Porygon. Let's go. Awesome. Put it like right here, like this. Yeah. 
Electric Soldier Porygon. He did nothing wrong. Pikachu is the one that gave the little kid seizures, not Porygon. Yeah, it's cool that they look like a card. These are so uh, nostalgic. I actually used to find these at thrift stores. It was really rare. But as soon as, whenever I found one, I bought it right away. They're just so cool. They've always been really cool. No, thank you, Sudden Kitten. Definitely Psyduck was my favorite, though. That Psyduck was so cool. Let's go. I'm gonna put this in your box. Very nice. Sudden Kitten, the legend. Thanks again for supporting. Bye <laughs> Porygon! It even has the name Porygon stamped on the toy. Lugia is still the chase. We still gotta <laughs> pull Lugia eventually. I love that Lugia. Alright, I'm gonna put these away for you, Sutton. Just so I don't forget. Oh, you know what? I'll just put them right here. For now. I'll put them in your box afterwards. Alright, guys. Uh, the queue is looking like... So, we're leaving the... We're leaving the... Tops for last. Get them, uh, get them frozen up. Captain Sweaters is next. Catmint, Elixir, Richie. All right. So Captain Sweaters, y'all didn't get too big of cards, so it's totally okay. Ash Ketchup, I'm just seeing an order you put in. Ash Ketchup, is that all sealed, or did you want to open that? Let me know, Ash Ketchup. Temporal Forces pack, eight of them. Dude, if you pull another alternate art, Captain Sweaters. If you pull another one, it'd be crazy. Rafa, what do you want to trade? I have no idea, bro. Anything on the website that catches your eye? I have a BGS9 Lugia, too. That one's a bit more expensive than uh, than the Zoro, though. But I'd be willing to trade for uh, other stuff on top. Open everything. Oh, you placed that order a while ago. Yeah, I'm just seeing it right now, Ash. I'm sorry, man. Yeah, you want to open everything, though. Woo! As catch up providing more content for everybody. Yeah, this is pretty much a vintage stream for sure, dude. A little bit of modern. Uh, we're gonna open up another one of these. <laughs> Freaking ass. We're going ham today. Ooh, you sent it to BGS, bro. Yeah, let me know, please. I hope it gets a 10. Woo, if it gets a 10. If it gets a black label, then I can no longer trade. It's so black labels are too expensive. Yeah, we're gonna be opening up a lot of uh, a lot of older stuff. We pulled already some chase cards. So great. All right, here we go. Let's see what Modern Gat has for us here. This is for Captain Sweaters, pack number one. Captain Sweaters, best of luck, Captain Sweaters. Captain Sweaters, Aerie is a good one. I'm gonna put all the competitive cards at the top for you. Dunsparce is also a really good one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so just making sure it's eight pack. Yeah, let me know, bro. Oh, absolutely. If it's a black label, you hold on. You hold on to that for dear life. I tell you that as a friend, bro. Hold on to that manga card for dear life. We have a whole lot of nothing in that one. Come on, Sephora forces. Be nice to us for once. Don't be like that. Nobody likes the muck. Don't be a muck. Not today. Meditite. Ancient energy. Ooh, another Dundun Sparns. That's a good one. And Iron Valiant. So that was three packs in. Got our fourth one. All right, Catmint. You're next after this with 151. Pikachu! Yes, Lee. Colossal is what she said. Perilous jungle when you don't shave. And a Roaring Moon Hollow. That's also a good hollow. So, so far, you got three competitive cards. Come on, dude. You got to do better than that. Four packs. Captain Sweaters. That reminds me. Did you already send the... P no, I haven't yet, Sun Kitten. Or BGS. I haven't done that either. I'm still waiting for it to stack up. <laughs> 151. Then I go weepy. This is when I thought... He said... This is when I... This is when I thought I was out. <laughs> Dude, Iron Leaves, very nice. Great card. Great, great card right there. Let's go, Shogun. Let's stay as long. Dude, the longer you stay with me, the happier I am. 
had a buddy that sends cards out to PSA VS all the time. When he gets 10s and 9s, he looked at it, he said, that's BGS now. Dude, I don't know, BGS always gives me 9s. Makes me so angry. Ronzor! Proknoff, Luttermain? Two packs left. Well, Captain Sweaters, he already pulled an alternate art Morty. In eight packs. Everything, anything else here will be an extra. Hopefully we get more Arbors for him. We have Whimsicott. But just getting nothing but Hollows is brutal. I don't want nothing but Hollows. Come on. Throw that away. Matang is a great one. Carcoal. Cypher Maniac is good. Ancient Booster is good. Maridon. And, well, Trio EX. Oh, we got two EXs. Not the best ones, sadly. Book Trio and Iron Leaves. So these two were the big hits. These were some of the competitive cards I picked out. Or I saw from uh, your opening. Put that to the front here. And then your hollows. You got a lot of hollows. One, two, three, four, five, six. Captain Sweaters is cleaning out the, the blisters so someone can snipe. <laughs> Eventually. Alright, Captain Sweaters, you got iron leaves. away for you the big old stack dude a rick and morty tcg i drop all other cards dude really rick and morty is what will make you drop that's crazy bro i can't relate to that man i would not support the rick and morty <laughs> i haven't seen the show oh man captain sweaters thanks again for supporting bro hope i see you on friday up next we have catman Catmint. Booster bundle of 151. And you also have a tops. We'll be doing those tops here uh, shortly. Literally, like, we're, we're almost there. I think we have... So after Catnip, Elixir, Richie. And then it's 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 uh, time for the tops. For uh, everybody. Eight packs of tops. Then Ash Ketchup to end off the stream with a big bang. My whole room is converted into Rick and Morty page three. So there's actually a uh, there's actually a scene in Rick and Morty where I used to have it as a catchphrase. It was like some like alien and he likes the sh the Schwan sauce. He's like man, this Schwan sauce is so good. He like the alien. So like when I was I was little, bro. I was like 18 or 19. We were working at Toyota. We saw like a nice car pass by. Me and my friend were like, "Is the guy I'm doing a video with tomorrow?" We're like, "Yeah, <laughs> the Schwan sauce is so good." A little alien yeah that alien yeah yeah so like for the longest time that was like my catchphrase i would see something nice like like a car or like good food and i look or like a girl at the time right and we look at each other and go <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah but we got it from rick and morty it was like a scene where the schwan sauce all right here we go cabinet best of luck cabinet let's see what i pull Your favorite thing to say is grass tastes bad. <laughs> Zach, what's up, Zach? No pack battles tonight, but maybe in the future we'll have some on the next stream. If we have one before the birthday stream. Yeah, not surprisingly, we haven't had a pack battles in a while. Sudden Kitten was the last one to have a pack battle and win. Have Seedra, Kabuto, Pikachu, in reverse, Venonet, and a hollow Marowak before it died. Hollow and uh, non hollow energy. Five more packs. Shogun, give me your luck. You are schwa. Schwa saw. LOL. <laughs> that, was, that was the episode. It was so funny. It's like Schwan saw. So freaking alien. Dude, for the long. I don't know why I stopped doing it, but that was like my catchphrase for the longest time. We got Shouter. Bell Sprout. Pussy. Leftovers for me when you're hungry. Persian. Oh, I'm about to muck. Haunter! Nothing! And... Ooh! ooh full art! Arbok! Full art! That's, that's not so bad yet! You know what? That's not bad! An Arbok full art! Let's go! So far, one full art. Let's see if we can do a little bit better. We have four more packs. Can we get an art rare, alternate art, anything in between? Gotta catch them all. Here we go. Very nice indeed, Shogun. Come on, Catmint. 
Show me the power. Squirt out! Squirt out! l l l l l l Bloom, bloom! The Fable. The Trio. Hey, mate! Here we go. Sign <sighs> And in the back. Mewtwo strikes back, but not in a good way. Mewtwo strikes back, and you got an energy hollow. Mewtwo striking me out again. Three packs left. Come on, Catmint! Nope, non Rafa needs to go to bed soon. Yeah, sad face. I gotta go to bed soon because I gotta go film a video tomorrow. And I have to unscrew this camera because this camera I'm gonna need it for the video. Abra! Diglett, drowsy. I'm gonna need a lot of caffeine, bro, because I, I know I'm not gonna sleep much. Remy! Eggs and a hollow Jolteon with a non hollow energy. Two packs left of Scarlet Valley 151. Any big pulls tonight? Dude. Oh, not out of Temporal Forces. Ash Ketchup has the best pull of the night. He opened up a Unified Minds pack and it got a Misty's Favor Full Art that we think it's going to grade a 10. Holy Kaka! Kuna! Holy Kaka Baby! Ponyta! Haunter! Timon Lee! War Total! Harp, harp. All we need is one pack, one pull, baby. Come on. And an Articuno Hollow. That's not it. But you got a lot of reverses, 151s, though. You got a lot. You got quite a few here. So far. You got different reverses. I think one of them was a Pikachu. Probably the best one. Last pack of magic. Here we go. Best of luck. Arbok Full Art, not good enough. We need to get something better than that. Weedle! He's so happy! Zubayet! Goldie, Weeping Bell, Hold on, Pincer, Bill, man, that douchebag, Slowpoke, Last Pack Magic, baby, here we go, give me the Charizard alternate art, the best one, I got you, Cat Mint, Mint, I got, I got you, it's gonna be Charizard. Oh, that's not so bad. It's the woman, Erica. Alternate art and a hollow Gyarados. Dude, that's all you needed. You needed just needed a little push here for last pack magic. Erica, invitation alternate art. Very nice. I wish it was Charizard, but it's okay. We got the woman. Yo, last pack magic really came through there. Oh, that's gorgeous card. It, man, these alternate arts are coming out really well from those bundles. Maybe that's why the bundles are so like they're coming out so good. Like usually alternate arts have binding on the corners. Like a lot more. So pretty. Let's go. Thank you again for supporting Cat Mint. And we still have your tops cards. I haven't forgotten about those guys. Elixir, you're up, and then it's Richie. And then we'll do the everybody else with the tops and Ash Ketchup to end it off. That is a fire card. Anything 151 that's an alternate art, they're all just tremendously good. Got an Arbok, full art. How many hollows? They're all different hollows too. One, two, three, four, five different hollows here. Oh, and then hollow energy too. Hollow energy. Can't forget about those. And then these are all your uh, reverses. You got some really nice reverses. Turns out, I had no idea, but the reverses from 151 are pretty pretty pricey. All right, there you go. I'm gonna put this in your bag. I still have it here just because I know you have pops <laughs> coming up soon. With your Charizard, you got an alternate art. Now, now we're talking, your bag looking stacked. That's what I'm talking about. All right, thank you so much again, Catnip, and uh, stay tuned for the tops. I'm about to get them out the freezer here soon. Elixir, you're up next, my friend. Elixir got two packs of one piece and two Coral Forces packs. Doot, 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 doot. 
Let's see if we can snipe something out of here or... Alright, here we go, Elixir. Best of luck, my friend. Erica Trainer, I honest... Oh, yeah, Erica? Shoot. She's awesome. She's the, one of the best gym leaders, for sure. Then we have Richie Rich afterwards. Richie Rich, do not go anywhere, Richie. It's manga. Dude, if I pull manga in two packs, bro. I mean, I'd believe it, Elixir, from you. Because you pulled stuff from loose packs all the time. Even the free ones. It's actually unbelievable. Catman and I are killing it in Unite. <laughs> and y'all killing it on the pools, too. You got Big Booby Girl? That's such a good way to... Uh, Spend the weekend playing video games, opening cards. That's fun. Got Chopa. And Hollow. Oh, look, it's Robin. I like Robin. She she robbed she robbed the sudden kitten's heart. Okay, right, so we got an SR there. But sure, it's away. Trying to get Rayquaza. Oh, it's not it's not Zapdos anymore. Now it's Rayquaza, like in the middle. Preach, Rafa. Preach. <laughs> Catmint, though. All right, here we go. Walking Wake. Pack art. Throw it away. Turn around. Mudbray in the mud. Braying around. Ooh, you got something here, uh, Elixir. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be something here. Oh, you got the Prime Catcher, bro. Oh, that's so good. And you got nothing. Dude, Prime Catcher, like $30. Oh, that's such a good card, bro. Congratulations. Prime Catcher, the best one. Prime Catcher and the Belt are my favorite ones, dude. They're so good. Every deck has Prime Catcher for the most part. Let's go, Elixir. Prime Catcher. Congratulations. Prime Catcher is so freaking good, dude. Congratulations on it. Ugh! Sexy card. Sexy, sexy. I'm gonna put your bow right Put your hollow to the side here, too. All right. Here we go, Elixir. Oh, man. I don't know what's gonna be Prime Catcher here, man. Alternate art, maybe? Prime Cat. Who was before this? Oh, dude, Captain Sweaters, you were one away from a Prime Catcher. It's crazy. Got Breloom, Roly Poly Oly, Keep More, Yamper, uh, this one, Bud Buddy Buddy Puffin. You have Sharpedo, Morty's Conviction. Here we go. You ready? Please, please, Lord Arceus, give me some. No! Interior Crocodile for Alligator. I drive a Chevrolet movie theater. God, for Alligator there. Two hollows. That's not bad, dude. Prime catcher. Prime catcher is so good. Prime catcher is so good. Put your bulk with your one piece bulk. For alligator, Luffy Senpai, Stuzi. Oh, that's, that's her name, right? I forgot what her name was. And Prime Catcher. That the, Prime Catcher was the best one. It could have been the, the garbage A specs. Nah, bro. We get the best one here. Let's go, Elixir. Congrats. On the prime cut. Richie Rich, you're next. Five packs of uh, one piece. I knew I had you around here. Yeah, we're gonna be opening up more vintage here soon. After this is is tops. Oh, you also have Hero's Cape. You pulled that earlier. Well, now you have a uh, Prime Catcher. Snipe the Prime Cat. Prime Catcher, bro, literally saved that opening. Literally. Thirty dollar card.
All right, here we go. We have one, two, three, four, five of these packs. Best of luck. Let's see what we can pull here. Richie Rich. I'm about to make you rich with a Manga Boa. Dude, that'd be crazy. You got Snooty. The Jamaican Starfish. Luffy. Chopper crying because we haven't pulled a manga yet. We have the tops Mewtwo uh, strike backs after this opening, guys. Got Andrew S first. Moria and Boa Hancock. Boa Hancock uh, SR. Three more packs. Come on, Richie. Maybe if I pull you the manga bowl, your wife will let you uh, buy more tins. We have the woman, the Zoro, the girl, the... She is a lady, after all. Ivankov. Two more packs. Alright, I think we... I see a little something, something there. We have girl, boy, masked, man, robot, and Bonnie. It was SR. SR Bonnie, two SR so far. Last pack magic for Richie Rich. Ugly man, ugly man, little boy, ugly man, woman, ugly man, rouge. Three packs, three hollows, two SRs, not terrible. I think from the loose packs, we got rid of all the SRs. There shouldn't be any more SRs after that. And this is for uh, Richie Rich. Dang, bro, I really wanted the manga to get pulled, dude, from the Lucy's. Thanks again for supporting, bro. I really do appreciate that. Two SRs now. That was solid. I all right, guys, I'm gonna go bring uh, the tops cards. Andrew S, let me know if you're here. Andrew had some, Tim had some, Funko had some, Column had some, Cat Mint had some. Let me know who's here, and I'll do y'all's first. Yeah, but that was the that was the order here, and then Ash catch up at the end with like some very old school pack. All right, uh, don't go anywhere. I'm gonna be right back. I'll be right back, guys. I'm just going to go get the packs out the freezer. Get it. Catmint. Rayquaza. It's not Rayquaza now. Funko's here. Catmint. Richie Rich with Policaca. <laughs> Solid. I fell asleep for a second. <laughs> oh man. It's already getting that time of day now. Everybody's falling asleep. Funko, we'll do yours first since you're not falling asleep. Then we'll do uh, Catmint. Mint. Yeah, let's, uh, let's try to get everybody, the people that are here first. Column, if you're here, we could do yours too. Tim. Let me know, chat. All right, Funko, we'll do you first. All 
All right. Fresh from the freezer, bro. Last time, this is the way to do it, bro. Last time, that was the way to do the freezer. Captain Sweaters, anything good? Captain Sweaters, you pull these two. Captain Sweaters, you got these. In case you missed it, you got about six hollows in here. You did get a couple of competitive cards, but these two were the, the hits that you got. I'm sorry, Captain Sweaters. You were one pack away from a $30 card, though. You already have an alternate art. It's not bad. Love you, bro. <laughs> All right. We have 1999 Pokemon, the first movie. Here we go. Let's see what we can get from this vintage pack. Cards that grade very high can be very expensive here. These packs had uh, some type of UV protection gloss that made them very sticky. Whoa, we're starting off with a great one, bro. Look at that. Dratini. Starting out off strong. Let's see if they're not... They're not as sticky, dude. See, I told you. Putting them in the freezer works like a charm. All right, so... Then you got a great day, is what I hope you're having. Anybody watching this? Then you got a... A hollow everybody pool. Playing tug of war. Very nice holographic. It, I don't see any print lines or damage because they came out pretty easily. All right, Funko. So that one's going to be your hollow. Look at the back. Got Pikachu's Great Vacation. So nostalgic. So these are a little bit stickier. We'll do a little bit a slower here. See what this one is. Oh, it's Bulbasaur! 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 Very nice condition, too. Let's go. Got a little Bulbasaur action going on there. Boba! <laughs> Bulbasaur. Then uh, Pikachu's Vacation. I think that was it right there. There's nothing right there. And then Dratini with the last one. It was a... Are y'all ready for this? This one's the one that's the stickiest. It's Mewtwo Rebellion. Very nice, dude. I like that. That pack was great. There was no chase cards, though. Bulbasaur, Dratini, and a Hollow. But you, did you guys see the difference? Like, it makes such a big difference when you freeze them. Like, that would have that would have been a disaster if we didn't do that. They weren't that sticky. And then you also have a Dratini here. Dratini! PDX, man. We were trying to go for a die cut or a hollow version of these. If you had a hollow version of these and it was the rainbow hollow, ooh! That's what we were... Or Charizard, that's really what we're going for here. But dude, they're coming out so good. They're coming out really good, chat. Alright, PDX, I'm put these away for you. Yeah, uh, up next, we have Catmint with a pack of tops. Catmint, you're next. Let's go. Putting all the cool ones away here. Dratini, Bulbasaur. I'm gonna get a die cut. Uh, last time we opened up a booster box, I didn't get a die cut. These are the hanger packs. Like the ones you guys used to get in the store as hanger, hanger packs right here. But the one from the booster box that we opened, sadly I didn't pull a, a die cut. I was real sad about that. Funko K-pop. Pick everybody pull. Pikachu's Vacation Hollow. The Hollow looks awesome though. The foil card looks amazing. That looks amazing. So this was the top three hits from that booster pack of uh, Mewtwo Returns. Bro, I see you have Buddy Buddy Poffin. I trade you a uh, 
what packs do I have? Uh, I forgot. Paradox Rift. I think I have a Battle Styles and Darkness Ablaze for your buddy, buddy Poppins. That card is so good, man. Oh, look. That's so cool. You got a little Pokemon. I totally forgot about these. And I'm gonna get you a new bag for that one. I have a 151 UPP box hiding under a shelf at Target. Should I finally go grab it? Is it in Target? It's been there since release day. Hello. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. You said, but it's in Target, right? So they're gonna give you Target pricing. So isn't Target pricing like 120 before tax? If it's 120 before tax, that's too expensive. I could order you from my distributor for a lot cheaper than that. Oh, it's only 99. That's not a bad deal. Yeah, that's 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 a good deal. I thought it was at retail. Yeah, yeah, 99 is not a bad. I think that's actually like not a bad price at all. I thought it was 120 for some reason. Okay, oh, I think that's the retail. That's one. It's Uncle K-pop. PDX. Boo! Do it again. Right here. All right, catnip, cat, catmint, one pack. Here we go. Oh yeah, dude, I'm down for that. A pack of Lost Origins, sure. Are, are you you down for that? I'm down for that. Let's do it. That completes a playset on my end, so that helps out a lot. Random pack of Lost Origins. Are you ready? <laughs> Here we go. This is for Funko K-Pop. Saving the day with his common cards. Let's see what he pulls. Garatina alternate art would be the greatest trade of your life. If it's in here. Best of luck. Okay, let's not spoil ourselves. Lost Origins hasn't been terrible with me yet. One, two, three, four. Let's see what we pull. We have a energy, Thornton, Seedra, Dollar, Ducklet, Zorua, Binacle, Gumi. Let's see if we get a trainer gallery here. Bronzor. Oh, you did get a trainer gallery. Wow. You got cast form. Very nice. And nothing. Decent trade. Because <laughs> because of the cast form. Cast form came through for you there. I just checked 99 online, but it's out of stock. Good thing I have that thing hiding in store. Oh, nice, nice. Watch you go in there and it's no longer there. Be so sad. I'm gonna knock on wood three times. Yeah, Funko, that wasn't so bad, bro. Alternate art, I mean, not alternate, trainer gallery for common cards. That wasn't a terrible deal. Thanks again for that. Cast form and hit two balls hanging out. All right, now it's catnip time for real time. Thanks again, uh, Funko. All right, here we go, guys. 1999 tops Pokemon, the first movie. This is uh, Pokemon's way to promote the movie back in the day. Can we pull something big out of this pack? Usually they're very sticky. Let's see if we can get through this with minimal stick. All right, so the hollow is Pikachu's vacation. So if you guys notice, the hollow pattern for this one is sand. They called it a sandpaper hollow. Pikachu's vacation, a great day. Loving the hollow pattern to this, the foil card, and it looks like there's no print lines on it either. Got everybody, the whole crew there. The back looks really good, actually. That looks amazing. Put that to the side. Let's see what else we can pull from it. You can also get a die cut. Die cuts are the chase cards here. It's the highest of rarities. You got a uh, kinky Charizards. You have introductions. These are all coming out really good. Very, very nice. And let's see if we can pull a Pokemon here. 
Oh, you didn't pull a Pokemon, but you got this douchebag. The guy that thought he could beat Ash. He pulls out a Dom fan. So, your pack didn't have a Pokemon, man. That's kind of upsetting. Funko had a, two Pokemons, Dratini and Bulbasaur. Oh, wait, there might be one behind you. No, no, there's not. The cards are just really sick. The, pot, the fight rage is on. The fight rage is on, and so do we. Upsetty spaghetti. Catman, I'm sorry. Hey, but 151 treated you well, at the very least. 151 treated you well. This one, not so much. Tapping out to Shogun. Shogun, thank you so much for stopping by, bro. Supporting. Have a great night, legend. I'll see you on the next one, dude. Absolute legend. Thank you, thank you. But, yo, the holo looks really good, though, Catnip. I don't see any print lines. And I don't see any damage on the card, either. That looks really good. All right, Catnip. Thanks again for supporting. We'll do Tim up next. Column, you still here, bro? We could do Column actually if he's still here. Just, like try to stall out some time. Overall, Catnip, I think you had an awesome day. Holy moly, that looks stacked. Yeah, your bag looking pretty stacked now. <laughs> that looks so good. That right there with your pack see putting them in the freezer helps a lot guys like if y'all put them in the freezer it doesn't stick it makes a huge difference and these were your uh sleeve part put it in the back rafa can you check if i bought shipping on your orders for cabin yeah dude that shouldn't take long ass on that bro it doesn't have to be today unless you wanted it to be today for the next shipping day it's fine all right so we did cat mint ash ketchup captain sweaters funko k-pop we did you we'll stall out a bit of more time tim let's do tim up next best of luck tim that's my boy i'll be seeing him soon let's see if i can pull tim something crazy here Oh, yeah, I got you, Ash. Absolutely, bro. I'm never in a rush. All right, here we go, Tim. If you're watching the replay, you're probably asleep right now. It's really late. I hope you pull the die cut Charizard. Charizard! Or at least the Charizard Hollow. Rainbow Hollow would be awesome. All right, so look how they're coming out. They're coming out really good now. They're not sticking in. I just noticed this is the back. <laughs> you got Dragonite! Dude, you're starting it off real strong here. Dragonite! Pikachu getting electrocuted with Togepi. Ivysaur! Ivysaur non hollow. Not a hollow Ivysaur, but still cool. You got Ash Ketchup hungry as hell. And your hollow is. Are you ready, bro? Are you ready? It is Charizard! Dude, that's a good one. That is a great one, uh, Tim. Charizard, Holographic Rare, Trap Charizard. Oh, dude, this card is so hard to grade. I know it's very expensive as a PSA 10. I do see something up there. Right here. Very top right. Here. Surface looks good, though. Vix Ribs! You're still here, bro! Let's go, Vix! The GOAT! Vix Ribs, the GOAT. 
this Charizard. Very nice. Charizard trap, headless Charizard. That's not so bad. That Dragonite was awesome. Dragonite and Ivysaur are probably my favorite ones. From this pack. Okay, up next we have Andrew S. Andrew S is up next. Ash Ketchup. Ash and Company. Ivysaur. Focus Phase! Let's go! Focus Phase Vix Ribs, you guys are still here. Absolute legend. I think, dude, I think, uh, I think Tim is asleep, but I'm sure he'll trade. He's looking for a lot of cards, but I'm sure he's asleep. That, this Dragonite is bad A, bro. I love this Dragonite. We need to, we need to pull a die cut, man. We need to pull a die cut before I, like, run out of tops completely. Let's put the Dragonite away. What does Tim need? I, I, I don't, I have no, I forget. <laughs> I forgot. I know he needs like shiny Pokemon. I know it was like shining Pokemon. I just forget which ones. Sword, Ivy Sword. Tomorrow I'm going to collect the con. I'm going to open a vintage pack. We're going to do a challenge. I'm excited. I'm going to be very caffeinated for, for that day though because um, I need to be for sure. All right, let's put this away for Tim. Thanks again, Tim. Tim the GOAT, the legend. The myth, the man, the legend. Will Double D be there? Yeah, dude, Double D always there. Double D, dude, Double D is doing so good, bro. When I met him, he was just starting out. Bro, Double D, I'm so proud of him. He's so young. I don't know if you guys know this. He's so young. He's like 24 now. But when I met him, he was 22. And he's doing big things. Like, even back then, bro, his inventory was like $20,000. For being 22, bro. When I was 22, bro, me estaba picando el moco haciéndome pendejo, bro. I was a dumbass my whole early 20s. This guy was running a business, real estate, having a $20,000 inventory. Like, this, he was doing big things already, right? And then now, he he's big, bro. He blew up on YouTube. And so he has a lot of supporters and people supporting him. So he's at every event now. I'm really proud of him. It's crazy seeing someone so young just do so so many big things. It's insane. Pokey full time now. Oh, dude. Yeah, dude. He's doing real good. He's doing real, real good. <laughs> He's so young. He's doing so good. It's crazy. PDX says he made his money back on that pack. This pack? I think he like broke even. Tim? On this one, the Charizard Hollow is one of the expensive ones. Yeah, so like Double D, dude, he's like a really big, he was always like a big inspiration just cause like he's a vendor, he's so young, he's doing big things. But it's crazy. It's crazy now that like, he did really good on YouTube. People like, I didn't even know that was a thing. Ben vending POV, I didn't know that was a thing until I saw him. All right, here we go, guys. Andrew S. We got Andrew S. up next. I think he got two packs of the tops. All right, yeah, we got Andrew S. with two packs of tops. Top that, mister. Two packs of tops. Here we go. Andrew S. Best of luck, Andrew S. Here we go. Two packs, dude. Two packs of tops. So we got two chances of getting a die cut. We haven't pulled a sticker card either. There's sticker cards in here. Oh, it looks like you got something here in the back, dude. That might be the hollow too. Is that a stage? Is that a stage two? Okay, I'm gonna risk. I think that's Charizard, bro. I think that's Charizard. No way. 
It's Charizard, bro. I think that's the hollow. I think you pulled a hollow Charizard. Okay, so hopefully it's the rainbow hollow Charizard. Congratulations, Andrew. All right, we're starting off with Char, dude. I did it, Charizard hollow, bro. Congratulations. All right, we got Mewtwo. We got to be very careful in this pack because that card is very expensive. Let's go. There it is. There it is. The Charizard holographic rare. Let's go already, dude. He sniped the hollow Charizard. I think this is the normal foil Charizard. There is a rainbow version of it. It's the Sandstorm Hollow Charizard. Dude, that's so cool. That's the first time I pulled the hollow version. Let's uh, carefully put it away because this is very expensive, graded a 10. It does, doesn't look like there's any print lines in this. Dude, the freezer was so worth it. My goodness. All right, let's put Charizard in there. It doesn't look terrible, man. That looks pretty good. Charizard Hollow was pulled. All right, let's see what else is in this pack, though. You could pull Die Cut is the chase card, so if you pull Die Cut Charizard, that's even better. Okay, we have this one, and we have Die Cuts are usually in the middle. You have Pikachu floating around, and the that was it. That was the final one. That 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 was it. There's no more. These cards are so thick, it's so hard to tell, like, what's what. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can uh, do a die cut tonight. Dude, Charizard Hollow. So fire. So freaking cool. I love top cards so much, man. I just hate how expensive they are. That's it. But I love the top cards. Definitely an experience opening these up. If y'all ever have a chance to open it up yourself, put it in the freezer for like three, four hours. You you'll thank me later. Here. So we did pull the Charizard, guys. We did pull it. Oh, we God. Can I get a Charizard, please? Yes, you can. We still got one more pack. Maybe we'll get another Charizard. Another Hollow uh, Charizard, please. Die cut this time. All right, this was for Andrew S. Got one more pack for Andrew. One more pack for Andrew. Very nice pool there. Here we go, Andrew. Best of luck, my friend. May the Charizard luck be ever in your favor. Dude, you got another hollow Pokemon, dude. The back shows a Pokemon. Okay, so let's try not to spoil ourselves that time. Oh my good. Andrew is killing it, dude, on these packs. What if it's another Charizard? What if it's a Blastoise or Venusaur? Dude, any of the Pokemons are good, to be honest. We're not going to try to spoil ourselves now because we've spoiled ourselves on Charizard. Uh, You got the tail never ends. Pikachu and friends. Pikachu's vacation. They're having a good time. You got the douchebag. You got Mewtwo Strikes Back. And this is it. Your hollow is... Yo, it's a rainbow hollow Bulbasaur. So this is the rainbow foil. Nice. So you got another hollow starter. This is the rainbow variant. You see how this one doesn't, it's like less rainbowy. It's more like sandstorm, like sandpaper. This is the rainbow version. Let's go. This one does have surface damage though, unfortunately. A little bit of surface damage right there at the top right. Rainbow Foil Bulbasaur. I'm guessing the PSA 10 is very expensive because it's so hard to grade a 10. Let's go. Charizard and Bulbasaur. Very nice. Andrew, I think that was a W. Those, those were W packs, man. Thanks for supporting. That was, oh, that was so cool. <laughs> I want to open more. Good thing we have three packs left, huh? 
or four packs. Yeah, three packs. Never mind. All right, up next we'll do Poke Boys and then Obstagoon Column. Let me know when if, if oh Obstagoon Column, you're here. Let's do yours. Let's do yours, bro. I'm back just in time. Let's do yours, bro. You're next. We pulled the Charizard. We haven't pulled the Daika Charizard, so I hope we pull it for you. Here, uh, let's do yours, and then we'll do Poke Boys. You gotta be very gentle with these because they're fragile. I really like this card. I really, really like that card. The Pikachu vacation card with everybody just so happy. Dang, bro. It, bring, it just brings me so much. Nostalgia is so comforting. It's so, so comforting. I love it. All right, this is for Andrew S. Congrats on the chat with Zard. Charwee Zard. Put your packs that we opened here to the side. And then call them your next. Let's do your celebrations first, and then we'll we'll do your uh tops tops Mewtwo strike back. All right, here we go, column two celebrations and two movie packs. Here we go, dude. What a what a great freaking night tonight has been. All right, let's try to pull another Charizard for Pollum. He already pulled one. Let's pull him another one. Peak Cinema, Mewtwo Strikes Back. Oh, absolutely. I like uh, Pokemon Movie 2000 as well. All right, best of luck, Obstagoon. Call him. Let's see what I can pull for you here. Celebration, celebrating the 25th anniversary. Can I pull another Chewy Dart? We're starting off with Dialga. Cosmom. And a nothing with a nothing. Did you guys, y'all think those eBay sales are real? This Lunala PSA 10 going for like 300. I think that's fake, bro. There's no way this card is $300. Like where, why is it so hard to grade? I don't see, I don't see why. Okay, next pack. Here we go. I miss celebrations. Can't wait for 30 years. Dude, we're almost there. 30 years is in 2026. Like, we're almost there. Oh, actually, 20 this came out 2021 plus five years. So 2026, yeah. We're almost there, dude. That's crazy. Last pack magic. Cosmom. Evitol. Dude, this could be Charizard. It's Watsy. You have like one in eight chances for a Charizard here. Best of luck. No. Oh, Professor freaking Oak. Oh, God. And Flying Rat. Dude, this is like the worst one to get. I hate this guy. Imposter Oak. He can go suck it, man. I hate Imposter Oak. Flying Pikachu. It's all right, Officer Moon Column. We really tried. You still got your top slug, though. Gold Star Moon Umbreon would be awesome. That's my second favorite. It's all right, guys. We got the movie packs up next. Yes, Pikachu got cycled out, but it was a really good card. Flying Pikachu did get cycled out. Unfortunately, Celebrations got cycled out. Everything Fusion Strike and behind. Everything 2021, pretty much. All right, guys, here we go. Best of luck, Obstagoon Column. 
Dude, on my birthday, Captain Sweaters, we'll help you build a deck. Got a Pokemon 1999, Pokemon the first movie tops. Can a brother pull something big, like a die cut being the chase cards in these? We have Dragonair. Very nice. Dragonair starting it off strong. You got success. A sticker card. Wow, we haven't pulled one all day. A sticker card. It's got a sticker Pokemon card. These are actually gradable if you choose to grade them. And a hollow new friends and farewells. Uh, looks very nice, actually. I, I don't see any print line on it. It's got Snubble and Pikachu shaking hands because they agreed. They both agreed on something that I forgot about the movie. Well, that was fun. We got a sticker pack at least. Snubble. Yeah, dude, I'll, I'm loving how like they're not sticky. Like this is great. We got a hollow Pikachu and Snubble. Not the best hollow card, but still pretty cool. Sandstorm hollow or sandpaper hollow. Back real nice. This was my favorite one so far. It was the uh, sticker card. They're so hard to grade though. Let me see the white and the black stuff. Got all the OG artwork in here. And it makes a puzzle piece to Ash or Mewtwo, depending which one you get. Like a puzzle piece. You have nothing. No, Captain Sweaters, the cards you have here with me, you have you have a lot, bro. Like we could build you a deck for sure. I like the sticker cards. Grade it just to preserve it. Oh yeah, absolutely. Just to preserve the card. Sometimes it's just good to do that with these older cards, just to preserve it. And that's what grading is, after all. Preserve a card. Or anything. Alright, there we go. Let's, uh... Put it in here. Doo -doo -doo. And then, you also got a Dragonair. Art card. Dragonair probably came out the most crispiest of them three. Dragonair with that weird Sonic the Hedgehog background. Put that away. Got that old school background from the 90s. We still got one more pack. Bought the grading for the promos and missed his favorite. Okay, sweet. Let's go, Ash. Let's do it. Misty's flavor. I think you still uh, just got to do one more Iono. Because you pulled a lot of Ionos. I think there's still one more. Iono. I have it written down. I'm sure it's either Iono or Charizard. <laughs> I think it's Iono. And then the ones that you send me, we do those next time. But don't go anywhere, Ash Ketchup. We could actually, you know, if you have time, we could see your cards like right here in the stream. Put this away. All right, Column. One last pack, my friend. Best of luck, brother. This is the one with the die cut. I guarantee it. Last pack of 1999 Pokemon, the first movie. It's one of the hanger packs. Let's see what we can pull from this final pack. We're going for the Charizard die cut, which is an incredibly hard card to pull. Here we are, trying to pull it. We have the trainer's failure. You got another sticker card. I see it already. Wow, you're getting really lucky here. Ash Ketchup with the with the little eyeballs. Sticker card Squirtle! Dude, that's a big sticker card. Oh my goodness. That's the best one I pulled so far. <gasps> Is that a die card? Dude, I think you got a die. You got a die cut, bro. Congrats. Wow, Squirtle sticker card and the die cut. Obstagoon column. And you also got this was a Squirtle pack. Bro, this is one of the chase cards. Oh my goodness, dude, you got a die cut. It wasn't Charizard, bro, but you got the starters. Incredible. Oh goodness, I hope that's not damage right there. I hope that's part of the artwork. I think that's damage. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Is it damage? <laughs> it's so funny, I'm like pulling it up. Yo, it worked. 
I peeled it up. Rafa's peeling services, ten ninety nine. Dude, I think I, I think I fixed it. <laughs> dude, you got a die cut Squirtle, bro. Incredibly hard to pull, dude. Die cut Squirtle. Like, I think it gets either a PSA 9 because of that right there. If it gets a 10, you're very lucky, though. 10, dude, with all the edges it has, getting a 10 would be so good, bro. Let's go, bro. Die cut Squirtle, sticker Squirtle, and then a hollow Squirtle on top of it. Wow, this was an amazing... This is a Squirtle! Squirtle pack! Let's go! This sticker card came out way... I think this one actually has a chance at a 10, bro. This one came out way better than the other one. That's a giant Squirtle sticker card. I didn't even know this one existed, to be honest. I thought they were all small. Whoa, that's awesome. Yeah, this one definitely... This one definitely looks really good. Especially considering it's a sticker card. The back looks flawless. The front is just a slightly off-centered with the small whitening, but I think I think uh, depending on the deductions, yeah, has a chance. I've seen worse. Yo, that that pack is. Despite us pulling a hollow Charizard, I'm more impressed about the die cut. We finally pulled the die cut. It's crazy. We have one more pack for Poke Boys. Let's see if we can pull the uh, the die cut there on that one. Dude. Freaking Squirtle. That's so cool. Look at the die cut. It's so freaking cool. We also got a hollow here that we neglected. <laughs> Yo, hollows that look nice. Hollows was looking real nice. Yeah, you got a good run here. Obstacle and Column, you had a real good run here. The first pack wasn't that great. The second pack was phenomenal. Portal sticker card. I, I guess the sec first pack had a sticker card. That was pretty awesome. Squirtle die cut. Finally pulled a die cut. It's crazy. This is like one of the first starters too. Not like a war turtle. Be careful. Oh man, this is a little bit riskier. Hold on. You know what, dude? I'm gonna put it in a different speed. That one's so small. I'm gonna get one of my grading. It won't work with that one. The the card is way too thin. Oh, that's part of the artwork. Okay, so that might actually just be part of the artwork. So see that little dot right there? It's part of the bubble. That right there. I thought it was almost like a whitening. Dude, it, I, I think that's the only flaw. That little like white spot. It's not even that bad. Alfredito, what's up, man? I was just talking about you. Alfredito, much love, bro. How's it going? My boy, Alfredito. Now the weekend can really begin. It's not the weekend. The weekend doesn't start without Alfredito. How have you been, Alfredito? How was your week? I'm trying to scooch this in as careful as I can. The card is really thin. It feels thinner than a Yu-Gi-Oh card. And like Yu-Gi-Oh cards, if y'all ain't never try to put them in top loader, they're very thin. Like very, very thin. This one feels a lot thinner. I'm scared. Maybe a top loader would be better for this. For like a not as thick card saver. Not as thick one. If I get it all in, it would be good because it has that little like tiny thing to get it out. And it keeps it, uh, keeps it straight. Alright, there we go. All right, as long as it's clean. All right, obstacle column. I put it in one of these, so it has uh, this like little flap here. 
that way you don't you can just like take it out this is one of the it's really that that card is really thin it's like really small there's so much airspace in there so you need to pull it out like this and then put like two uh, cardboard pieces together like that when if you want to send that out to grade all right my week was awful you you had an awful week too <laughs> Alfredito, bro, me too, man. I dude, today is today was only good because I stream. I forgot all about it, but me empinaron hoy, bro. I got I, I they, they they done stuck the stick up my my arse today, man. I went to go do my taxes. It was it was more than I expected. Actually, the first day I'm feeling better. Me too. <laughs> me too, man. I'm glad, Alfredito. Make sure to take care of yourself, bro. Oh, and also I lost my Instagram. My Instagram is like messing up. This day, the, uh, the week has been pretty harsh. All right, we got two sticker cards. So far, uh, you're the only one that pulled sticker cards, obstacle column. One, two, three, four, five, six. Had fewer for a whole week. You had a fever. Oh, dude, I am so sorry to hear that. Oh, also, uh, obstacle column, you have a polyrath. Base said polyrath from the giveaway. Just to let you know. You have a Charizard pack. Damn. Yeah, I'm glad you're feeling better, though, Alfredito. Oh, man, I hate being sick. It's the worst. Last year, I got, I got sick around this time last year, and I couldn't stream at all or be in the stream room. I was just bedridden the whole time. It was terrible. I hated it. I hated every second of it. Way. But I, I mean, like the important thing is that you're feeling better. We keep on grinding, Alfredito. Keep on grinding. Sorry, I was looking for a restock of these. Sorry to hear that, Alfredo. You said dengue is like the COVID that mosquitoes give you here. Oh, it, dude, it's like Argentina, Argentina sickness. That's the worst, bro. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm glad you're feeling better. Drink a lot of water. Sleep a lot. Don't miss out on meals, like nutrition meals. Get, get like uh, hot soups. Chicken soup. It'll help. You have to, you have to be bedridden, bro. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Tienes que estar en la cama todo el día. That's the best way to get better. I hate being sick because of it too. I hate, I hate not doing anything. I get anxiety. <laughs> All right, thanks again, Kala, man. Congratulations on the die cut, and thanks again for supporting. All right, guys, this is the last one that I have. This is the last, the last 1999 Pokemon, the first movie pack. This is going to be for Pokeboys. Shout out to Pokeboys. Can Pokeboys pull another die cut from the final pack that I have? Best of luck, Pokeboys. We're starting off with round up the equals of defeat tiers of the pokemon the stairwell right there the stairwell and a hollow teamwork there's still one more card that uh, got unstuck there that doesn't look bad it has pikachu in the front Snubble. Pikachu in the front. It's a little bit warped. That's unfortunate. Here. And last but not least, clones. <laughs> it's got a bow. Bow, blue. Ah, bro. You didn't. Get, you were the only one Pokeboys from the whole opening that didn't get a Pokemon. That sucks. But you at least got a hollow Pikachu. Thanks again for 
But from everybody, bro, you th this pack was the only one that didn't have a full art, like a full art Pokemon. Like not even a Dragon Air. Well, come on now. Put this away. Ash Ketchup, you're the last one, bro. You're the last, the only one I gotta do for uh, the opening. It is El Final Ash. You were the last one. We're gonna end this off with a bang. Way. How are the pulls? Dude, a mate, look what Ash Ketchup pulled. I'm gonna show you, Alfredito. So, Ash Ketchup, he opened Unified Minds today. And he pulled Misty. Look, look at this. Look, look how perfect it looks, too. He pulled this tonight. Like, that's insane, huh? He pulled it, dude. It's crazy. I can't believe it. And then these cards came out really well, too. That's insane. Ash Ketchup had a lot of luck today. <laughs> Catman says, let's go, Ash. It's about time Ash Ketchup has his spotlight. All right, let's put this away for Pokeboys. And Ash, you, st you, re you still good, bro? You ready for your opening? We'll end it off with you, man. Any orders placed after Ash will be done on the next stream on either Monday or Wednesday. Tomorrow I'll go to collect the cons of film. So I gotta end it. I wanna say earlier than usual, but we're still having a six hour stream, so it's not really earlier than usual. Ash Ketchup! He also got this. <laughs> he pulled the he pulled the Lana's fishing rod. Hey, Alfredito, can you, can you say Lana backwards? L-A-N-A. -A. Lana's fishing rod. Pull that too. Ash, I'm gonna put your bag here for, uh, for, cause you're, I mean, you're up anyways. Oh, boys. Burger King, that's sealed pack. Dude, Poker Boys has had some crazy luck with the Pole Forces. Crazy, crazy luck. <laughs> I think they're just like, <laughs> yeah. Lana backwards, bro. Alright, let's put this over here and one more for Poker Boys. Let's get it, guys. I totally forgot what you got, Ash. I just know it was really expensive stuff. So I'm excited. All right, guys. We got to end it off with a bang. Of course we do. I probably won't be streaming until Wednesday. Tomorrow, I'm filming a video. Yes, Captain Rafa doing his job. The production costed around $500. It has to do with a challenge where if I don't win, I lose everything. Like all the all the vintage cards. It's going to be a collector card tomorrow. And I'm even going to be opening up this booster pack. The $500 does not count the booster pack. I'm going to open up a vintage pack too. So um, I hope if th that video does good, then I'll do another one opening up a bundle. The display bundle of 151. We'll have a giveaway for a PSA slab on it. So uh, yeah, stay tuned for that. Really excited to just have a good time. Ash Ketchup, you're the last one here. What Ash God? Ash boy? God? Okay, so we got seven items. One on Broken Bonds, Eevee. They're all Light Break, right? Team Siege, Lost Thunder, Lost, uh, both Lost Thunders, Evolution. Evolution again, <laughs> and then the shiny one of these shiny Evitol tins from the year 2016. That card is amazing, so retro wave, so retro wave. <laughs> it kind of is, right? It is a little bit. Of, you're talking about the Kubalian, right? Kubalian is a little retro wave, the Iron Crown, whatever it's called. <laughs> All right, Ash. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna change the music to. The Unbroken Bonds is for Cadman. All right, let's go. So Cadman, let's start you off first. Then. Let me get everything first. 
me get my big box of expensive packs. So you said Steam Seed, Unbroken Bonds EV. I'm gonna show you guys this Woe Lord. I think you guys are sleeping on Woe Lord. EV. Uh, Sauce Thunder, Greninja, and Weezing. They got Greninja and Weezing Evolutions. Two different promo arts there. Sauce Thunder. We got both Lost Thunders. One Rowlet. Yeah, one Rowlet, one Salandit, so there's your Salandit, and one Rowlet. Dude, the coin for those looks sick. And then, the I had a Pikachu with a Swirl that got taken away, but this one has a Wilmer and a Wilmer, Wilmer and Wellord, and the Wellord has a Swirl right there, right next to its belly. I thought that looked really cool. So, yeah, I already checked. EVs don't have swirls. Those are the only two that have swirls. Alright, let's start. Let's start off with a cat cat catman. Before you fall asleep, Catman, Ash Ketchup, he said you get in this one. It has unbroken bonds and it has EV. Alright, Catman, are you ready? Are you ready, Catman? Give her the Steam Seed to Alfredito so he feels better. Oh, Alfredito, you get Steam Seed. You'll make you feel better? That's the medicine we all need. Pokemon. Pokemon make anybody feel better. Absolutely. Alfredito. So let's do Cabman and then we go Alfredito, make him feel better. Give him a little pat in the back. Sana, sana, colita de rana. Si no te sana soy, te sanarás mañana. Yeah, Ash really is a real one. He really cares. Love you, Ash. Here we go. Cabinet. This is a very rare. Unbroken Bonds check lane blister with the EV promo. Potentially pull alternate arts in these packs. Here we go. We're opening it up. Valued around $25. You got the Charizard pack art. We'll uh, take these away in a little bit. Promos. Here we go, chat. Unbroken Bonds. Let's see what we get. Best of luck, Catman. Here we go. Oh, boy. Let's see what I pull for Catman here. Got a one, two, three, four to the front. The cool thing is that it has the promo, but let's see if we can get an opportunity here to pull something big. We've been both throwing up. Blech. Got Surprise Box Gengar, Tora Cat Scratching Around, Porygon, Froki, A.A. Ron, Seal, Bell Sprout, Tora Cat Reverse, and in the back. Come on. Come on, Catnip. Agron on Holo Rare. Sorry, we still got the Eevee, though. <laughs> Big Drew's like, cough, cough. <laughs> Ash Ketchup, I'm getting a little sick, too. <clears throat> I think I have the Mosquito Iris. It's a, not a disease I made up, and it's, 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 it's making me feel sickies. You know what made me feel better? I think I think Vintage Pack made me feel better. <laughs> I guess me and Vix Rips, bro, we're coming down with a hard, hard cold of bullshit. And uh, making us feel real sick right now, man. I think the only thing that makes us feel better is alternate art. And, like, hopefully we can pull one, right? Oh, who's gonna help us now? <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's see what we get here for. Uh, let's see if we can take this away for uh, uh, Cat Mint. Cat Mint. Oh wait, nothing's holding it together. Kind of have to like. Oh, you know there is. There is. Cat Mint. I'm gonna have to do a little plastic surgery on the pack just to, to make sure your EV comes out well and healthy. Alfredo, you still here, my friend? If Alfredo stepped away, we'll wait for him to come back. I want him to uh, see his opening. Maybe, definitely make him feel better. Ah! Right there. 
only way, guys, the only way to get the crumbles out safely. You gotta do this, you gotta do this really quick. And once you start doing it, you commit to it until it's out, and then you it over until it comes out by itself. And you got Eevee. Bada bing, bada boom, Eevee has been pulled. Beautiful Eevee promo from the second. It is all centered though, from the bottom to top. The back came out really nice though. A little off center. Eevee! <laughs> Cause that's how it sounds like. Let's put your code cards right here, catnip. Beautiful Eevee. It's gonna go very well with your darkness energy. And then your bulk with your 151 reverses. And then you also got Torah Cat. That's not so bad yet. I'll take that. It's got a really cool looking coin. It's a Pop Leo. We'll wait for Alfredito. Let's do Steam Siege when he's back. I don't want him to miss out on his uh, fun. So Ash Ketchup, it leaves you with Evolutions and Lost Thunder. Let's do Lost Thunder, bro. Lost Thunder is... Oh, wait, there he is. Alfredo, he's back. He got thirsty. He said he'd taken my advice. Let's go, Alfredo. Took my advice. Alfredo, this pack is for you. It's a Steam Siege pack. Let's pull you a Seeker Rare. And hopefully that makes you feel better. Check Lane Blister from the year 2018, I think. X and Y. No, actually, X and Y was way before that time. It's a blister pack from the year 2017. 2017 Steam Siege X and Y blister. Can a brother pull a secret rare from this set or a full art? Here we go. Let's look up, Alfredito. All right, Alfredito, give me some fire here. Secret rare. He's feeling a little sick, but a secret rare will always make you feel better, okay? One, two, three. I hope that's a hit. That looks very well from the back. We're turning it around. We're starting off with Steelix, Spirit Link. Nidorino. And Norris. Apom. Yanma. Hanky Panky, the Mankey. Mantine. Diesel. Reverse Duat. And in the back for Alfredito. Here we go, Alfredito. I'm about to make your day feel better. Oh, we got something here, guys. We got something. It is Gardevoir? Yes, it's a Gardevoir. EX. Dude, that came out really good. Definitely PSA 10 condition. I already saw the back when I was uh, doing the card trick. Very nice. Gardevoir EX from Steam Seed. That was awesome check lane blister, bro. I'm so glad we opened that. Wow, that looks amazing. <laughs> Let's go, Alfredito. Gardevoir EX. Me and Vix Rips feeling really sick right now. Kevin says, Ash wanted to make you feel better. Dude, Ash is... Dude, he's a real one, bro. Ash is such a real one. There's so many real ones in my community. I really do appreciate each and every one of y'all. Para que te sientas mejor, Alfredo. Little, little Pokemon never made... I never heard Pokemon make anybody feel bad. Let's go. Ash, can you say you put in a little order to check it? I got you, Ash. Let me uh, double check. Guard of War for Alfredito Games. Let's go, Alfredito. That's really cool, Guard of War. I'm gonna uh, stick it in a little bit uh, lower there. Make it safe. Then you got your do what? That God of War EX. Oh, God of War, God of War. E Dude, that sounds so alike. I never noticed that. You missed opening cards. Bro, that's me every day. I didn't stream for so long. It, it bothered me. It bothered me. And I, I didn't even get to open that much. So last Friday was a really slow Friday. And uh, it was really slow. So I didn't stream all week because I didn't have any product. I streamed today only because I found these these cool collections. 
But uh, because I didn't open much, I had like my my uh, withdraw, my opening withdraw. I got so used to opening like so often, you know. Do what? Thanks again, Alfredito. Do what is awesome. I don't even open packs anymore. Rafa, open some for you. Ash, man, thank you so much, bro. What a legend. <laughs> Ash is like, I don't even open the packs anymore. <laughs> Let's go, Ash. One day, one, one day uh, we'll open up packs together, though. Dude, Alfredito, man, how could I? I totally forgot about your promos. Yo todo bien pendejo, bro. Se me olvida todo. Bien dijo mi mamá. Que se me olvida todo. All right, so this one, you gotta, gotta kind of like scooch it. Gotta get the first card. It, this is not a hollow, so you lift it up like this and then you pull it down like that so it doesn't get damaged. You got routes with a little girl in the background. Then you get your code card. This one doesn't matter if it gets damaged or not. This one was loose already. You got Curlia. And then your hollow is right here. Your hollow is gonna be. A Dude, this Galate came, oh, came out terrible. What the hell happened here? That. Y'all see that? They got an air bubble. They put an air bubble on this MF. Pokemon quality control, terrible. Y'all see that though, right? It has an air bubble. The card has an air bubble. How dare they? The card's already up, though. We'll put them together. So you got, oh, you also got a cool Genesect coin, because Genesect is everybody's favorite legendary. Alfredito! Christian De Leon is just laughing. Are you missing the Duraludon alternate art I have? You want it? Alfredito giving away Evolving Skies alternate art like it's nothing? Man, one day I want to be a big baller just like Alfredito. My goodness. Don't worry about it, Alfredito. I don't expect anything back. Ash Ketchup does it out of goodwill, bro. Like, literally. What a legend. He does it out of goodwill. Absolute legend. I love you, Ash. Thanks, man. Christian DeLone just laughing around. Says, thank you, Ash. Is this from you? Yeah, dude. Ash Ketchup. All right, Ash. Now we gotta pull you something too, man. Alfredo can't have all the pulls, huh? Dude, look at look at these coins. Those coins are probably my favorite Sun and Moon coins. It's Lugia with a big head. All right, let's do Lost Thunder now. Opening up Lost Thunder, a twenty-five dollar check lane blister pack at three a.m. in the morning, because that was a good idea. Can we pull another chase card from the Sun and Moon era? We did it already. And this one does not want to open. Here. All right, Ash. We got Lost Thunder now. So Lost Thunder in the booster box is god, godly, terribly, horrible. We've opened up Lost Thunder twice from a booster box and the only thing I can tell y'all if you ever think about opening up a Lost Thunder booster box is don't. You'll regret it, I promise you. This one has a Salandid Hollow. The other one has a Rowlet. Rainbow Lugia, Full Art Lugia, Lugia EX. Any Lugias here is the chase. Rainbow Lugia definitely being the one you really want, though. Got a Lugia coin there. I'm gonna. It's going to go really good with your Charizard and Breaking coin. Let's open up the other one while we're at it, Ash. Rainbow Lugia would be incredible. I've seen Lugia get pulled on anything other than booster boxes. Shout out to Christopher Vasquez. He pulled it out of a building battle. So hopefully these check lane blisters do better than the, the booster box. Because we've opened two of them for box breaks before. And oh my goodness, it was horrible. The booster boxes were terrible, dude. I swore to myself to never open up Booster Box of Lost Thunder ever again. I gave it a shot two times. Got Rowlet. 
Got your Lugia coin. Oh, that's not yours. That's a cat cat nap. Cat, why? Why? I'm calling you everything except mint. Cat mint. I'm terrible. All right, here we go, guys. More lost thunder for Ash Ketchup. He didn't have enough with the with the. We gotta bless up your packs, bro. He pulled the Misty Chase card. We gotta bless the card. Come on, just do your thing, please. Give Ash another chase, please. For goodness sake, let's pull another one. Hi, Rafa, can I know what's in your bag, please? Absolutely, Space. After this Lost Thunder, we can actually take a break. I forgot what's in your bag, too, Space. I know what's in your box. You have a uh, display and two sealed cases of the Striker Tins. You know, Space, I'm glad you got the sealed case. My distributor is not giving them anymore. They don't, they don't, they don't, they don't, they don't give them anymore. They uh, ran out. One, two... Now what I'm buying a lot before they ran out is uh, the 151 bundles and Brilliant Stars. Starting off with a Psychic Energy. Lugia is a Psychic type. Despite how it looks like, it uh, it's not a Water type. Brooks Fish, the Denim. Cinequil! That's a good one, Ash. That, that, that's one you need to keep. That's Cinequil, man. That's your boy. Wormpool, Poplio, Natu, and a... Oh, you got a ho wow, dude! You got a ho dude. Lost under getting a hollow is a big deal. Usually, don't get anything. Ampharos, the best electric type Pokemon, holographic rare. They're looking really good. You recommend keeping the cases sealed? Ah, absolutely, bro. Abs. Bro, have you seen what Sword and Shield is doing right now? Evolving Sky, anything Sword and Shield, Brilliant Stars. Brilliant Stars is so expensive. Lost Origins, a everything Sword and Shield with alternate arts. Is so expensive right now because it's sold out right 151 is the holy grail of scarlet and violet keep it sealed bro i'm telling you as a friend like those sets in two years or in a year they're gonna be too expensive to open that's like the crown jewel of um of scarlet and violet I would say keep it sealed. Or are you talking about Evolving Skies? Evolving Skies, bro, it's it's very risky. I, I say keep it sealed. You can prove, because it's the case it has the barcode, you can prove that it's Evolving Skies. Oh, we got one more pack. Here we go. Ancient Power Echoing from the Mountain Pop. Another Lost Thunder pack. Lugia pack art from the Check Lane Blister. Can a brother pull the Rainbow Lugia? The gay Lugia, if you will. Here we go. We're gonna do one, two, three, four. It's gonna be a fighting type. Oh, <gasps> that's gotta be a good sign. Come on, Ash. Here we go. Fighting energy. Electro power. Deli bird. Bayleaf. Wimpo. Jigglypuff. Meowtha. Cup Chew. Come on. Reverse is a Poi Pole. Reverse. And in the back. Come on, Ash. Give me some good, dude. Come on. No way. Okay, Ash. It's something shiny. I have no idea what it is. Anything Lugia. Anything, bro. Anything. Lost Thunder has the hardest pull rates in... I want to say all of Sun and Moon. Crimson Invasion Lost Thunder is the most horrible pull rates. Here we go. That's my favorite starter. I know it's not your favorite starter. Septal GX. That's still pretty cool though. Septal is my favorite starter, bro, but it's not the Blaziken. It's not the Lu Lugia GX would be cool. It's really hard to pull the Lugia GX. Anything Lugia is really difficult in this set. Sun and Moon, Lost Thunder, and Sun and Moon Crimson Invasion have the worst pull rates. So we got a double binger pack, man. Those check. I'm telling you, if you guys are ever in the Moodle Open Lost Thunder, anything but the booster box. Check lane blisters, build and battle, anything that's not the bo booster boxes are garbage. And the centering looks good. Wow, yeah, this looks really good too. It's not so bad yet. Yeah, pulling something is not so bad yet for Lost Thunder. All right, let's see if we can put some more, pull some more evolution error packs like earlier t before today. So great. 
All right, Focus Space, before I forget, I'm going to check your bag real quick. I know your, your bag isn't too big. We haven't really opened much yet. Let's see what uh, we have in there. Sceptile, you got your hollows. Oh, you got a hollow Ampharos and then your Cyndaquil there. Not bad, Ash, not bad. My favorite starter, your favorite starter, but this is my favorite fire starter too. I knew this was your bag. I always have it in the same uh, place. So I'm gonna go through your hit space. Not counting like regular hollows or full art. I got some evolution here. When did you open up evolution space? I don't remember you opening up evolutions. I'm like tripping balls right now. And there's just like another pack right here. Everything else is like hollows, full arts. These are like the big hits. And here you have a Metacham. Oh, you got a Genesect too. Oh, that was when I was breakdancing, huh? Because <laughs> I totally know how to breakdance. And uh, over here, I, let's see what it is. I see Cosmic Eclipse. Dude, where did you open these? Oh, you know what they are? They're probably from, uh, oh, I don't remember. I'm not even gonna try. Probably like a collection box I used to have. You have a R, uh, AR cards sealed from the 3DS. I know you collect video games. Blastoise EX, Cherizard Black, Chang Pao, the best one, and Tinglu from your uh, Shining Fate, or Shining, uh, Shining, uh, Shining Set, Paldean Fates. It's not so bad, says Ash. Hey, dude, we still got evolutions, bro. We still got evolutions. Opening up evolutions like the good Lord intended it to in 2024. The Rafita V. Dude, that's like my favorite alternate art from Fusion Strike now just because of the meme. <laughs> Fusion Strike! Is there a Beckett Slab in there? Uh, I think I shipped that out to you. The Beckett Slab? I'm pretty sure I shipped that out to you, Space. It's not in here. Check uh check your box with the shipment. I'm trying to remember where it was. It was in a bag. Was it in a bag? I'm very certain it was in a bag, like a yellow bag maybe. Maybe in a yellow bag. Uh you're talking about the Miraidon, right? The BGS Miraidon Ash Ketchup gave you. There's no bag it's left. Let me know if you find it. Space, I'm pretty freaking sure. Like, I remember putting it in your box. I'm sure it's in a yellow bag. Yeah, dude. Yellow bag is probably the best bet. Yellow bag. Yeah, let me know, Space. Put it in the way. Put these away, too. All right, Ash. Now we got two, not one, but two evolution check lane blister packs. Check lane blister packs of evolutions are extremely rare. The sleep packs are rare. Now I imagine the check lane blister pack. Here we go, Ash. We're going to be very careful here because I think these uh, promos are very, like, rare. Very hard to grade. Greninja in particular. Let's go. Yeah, keep me updated, Space. Just in case. Check uh, Ash Ketchup's box, too. But I'm I'm very sure I remember I remember putting it putting it in your box. Oh, this one's already kind of out already. All right, good thing it was wheezing. It's really off-center from the front. Got the wheezing promo from the check lane. The coin was a Victini. And the Raichu pack. Let's see what we pull. Here we go, Ash. The Pokemon Legacy evolved, and so did we. Okay, we want Charizard. Evolutions, celebrating 20 years. Came out 20 years of Pokemon. Mega Charizard Full Art, Charizard Hollow, 
any follow that's PSA 10 worthy is a win. Reverse Charizard. Just like basic, baby. We got... Ooh, heal. Venusaur. Potion. Nidoran. Boopy. Sandshrew. Ponyta. Magnemite. Reverse is... Dude, it's red. Wait, is it red? Or is it fighting? I don't, I don't know. It's red. Oh, it's Charmeleon. We're so close. <laughs> We're so close yet so far, Ash. Oh, my goodness. And in the back... Evolve, Charmeleon. Evolve! Evolve! Fly and evolve! Charmeleon! Fly and evolve! No! It's working! <laughs> we were so close, dude! Oh my goodness, it was Arcanine! Oh, man. I thought that was gonna be Charizard, bro. I was gonna say, dude, this is gonna be the perfect clip right here. Charmeleon evolving into Charizard would have been crazy. Charmeleon... Arcanine, you POS, bro. You freaking did it. Go to the kennel. Go your time out. God. God, man. Getting me excited like that. That's the one thing I hate about evolution. It makes you think it's Charizard when it's goddamn Arcanine. Rafa, do you have a Charizard check link? I have, I have three of them. The most rare one is this one right here. This is the most rare check thing. So it's a Greninja with a Pikachu coin with a Charizard pack card. Like it didn't get better than that. I'm gonna show you a last sold listing. So Charizard sleeve pack is like 45 to 50. But the check lane blister is a bit more. Sorry, like 40, 45, 45 uh, for the sleep packs. I have it here somewhere. Let's see, it was uh, evolutions. Dude, looking these up was so like crazy. I couldn't believe it. Cause when I was like, I was thinking they were a lot cheaper. Evolutions, check lane. All right. So this guy has it at 47, right? Some other people have it for like 60. They're crazy. But he sold two already at this price before tax. I went here just to see if it actually did sell for that much. And it shows up right there. Look at that. One of them sold for 60. I think that's bullshit. Wheezing. But that one sold for 47, 49 of uh, March 30th. And it doesn't even have the Pikachu coin. Mine does. I listed it for uh, the sleeve pack price, not the check thing price. But if you get this, I think you should keep it sealed. I have two more, but they're wheezing. They do have Pikachu coin though. All right, here we go. I just wanted to show you that because I it's crazy how these check lane blisters are so rare. They're so expensive and you guys are opening it. <laughs> I always thought we were going to keep some sealed. Yeah, dude. I got you, Ash Ketchum. No worries, bro. You said the one with the, the Greninja one? Or do you want the... The Weezing one is cheaper on the website. I got you. We got another pack here. Greninja pack. Here we go. Can you put that on the side for me? I can sell it to you Monday once I get my earnings from Heinz. Yeah, dude, to the moon, bro. Heinz to the moon. I right, got another check lane blister of evolutions, guys. Another check lane from the X and Y series from 2016. We're opening it up after all these years of it being sealed. It's just so crazy to think about. This one is the Greninja promo. Beautiful promo. Here we go. Evolution. Venusaur pack art. The Pokemon Legacy Evolves. Let's see what we can pull from this. Charizard. 
Reverse, Charizard Hollow, Charizard Full Art. Evolutions is so fun. Definitely a throwback from the year 2016. One, two, three to the front, and here we go. Best of luck. We're starting off with a switch. Very nice. Get a Reno. Pidgeot, Spirit Link, Onyx. You got a Fairy Energy. Voltorb. Tangela. Okay, you got Polikaka. And in the back, for the reverse, it is... Okay, a rare reverse star me. Not bad. But can we hit a hollow full art? Here we go. Farfetched. Non-hollow rare. At least we got a rare reverse. Look, space, it's got your ability. Space Beacon. It's focus space ability. Farfetch, freaking non hollow rare. Pisses me off. Let me put this to the side here, Ash. Oh, there it is. I was like, where's your where's your evolution bulk right here? So you got two non hollows, man. That Arcanine still got to me. I thought that Arcanine was gonna have a um be a Charizard earlier today. Let's let's open this up. Let's get the Greninja out. Mendigo Farch, dude, Farfetch needs to die. Mendigo Farfetch, escarado, desgraciado, estupido, mamón. Chupa mis huevos, Farfetch. You know what? You know when you start cursing in Spanish, it means like you're real pissed off. <laughs> Mendigo Farfetch, you sound like my mom. Alfredito se echó un pedito. He's sick. He can get away with it. Bro, it doesn't even matter. Dude, I'm looking at this card close up now. It doesn't even matter if I do the surgery. Look how effed up. Look at that. Look at all that widening on the edges. No mamas, bro. That Greninja is F. That edging, edge wears, it's frayed. I hate X and Y frayed cards. Why are they always frayed? I'm afraid that they're always frayed. But, I mean, like, it looks good in the front. CGC all day, baby. Let's go. PSA won't, won't grade tens for frayed cards, but CGC will. I mean, from far away, it doesn't look bad. It's just that, like, frayed card right there when you do a close-up. See, like when you go close up, you can see little fray fraying, but everything else looks good. That's definitely the best Greninja promo that we've gotten so far. Ash Ketchup, you got yourself a Greninja promo card. That one definitely deserves to be in one of these. <laughs> All right, Ash. That was really Charmeleon, bro. Oh my gosh, Charmeleon. That was so freaking close. You got your your uh, normal hits here. You got your bulk for evolutions right here. Uh, your coins. You got Genesect, the breaking dance breaking Rafa, and then you got your coins over here. Got a lot of coins. All right, this is our last chance, Ash. Guys. We got the last opening of the night. Ash Ketchup, we're gonna end this off with a bang, bro. Come on, come on. Energy, energy. Yes, that's right. EV pool. Also, Ash, I'm just looking at this. You got the Well Lord packs. You want those open tonight? We can open those too if you want. Are those sealed? There's one with a swirl. One is for Vic's rips because he's sick, and another one's to give away to chat. Oh my goodness, Ash! Vix, are you still there, bro? Is Vix is still there? Vix, you still there, bro? You still sick? <laughs> no way, Ash. That's crazy. <laughs> Ha ha ha!
<laughs> Cause he's sick. <laughs> yeah, dude, he's sick real bad. Yeah, Vix rips. He's real sick, bro. Oh, this though. I feel real bad for him. Yeah, let's give Vix the one with the swirl. Captain Rafa stream at 3 a.m. in the morning. We're gonna be giving away unbroken bonds. Actually, we want to do this giveaway now with 11 viewers, where everybody has a real good chance of winning this unbroken bond blister pack. Vix ribs. I'm gonna put this in your bag for now. It's a swirl, well lord. He's sick, bro. Yeah, Vix left. He's sick. He's tired. He gotta go sleep, man. If he won't get better. I put it in his box though. It's the one with the swirl. Pobrecito, bro. Pobrecito. Alright, we'll do it now then, guys. Everybody has a chance of winning the Unbroken Bonds. Thank you, Ash. Alright, let's go. That's gonna be fun. Let's give this away for the final pack of the stream. We're gonna be opening up this tin from the year 2016 for Ash Ketchup, and then we're gonna be giving away this very expensive Unbroken Bonds Check Lane Blister. We gave away three of these MFs. All right, here we go. In the meantime, let's open up this EV toll. Crazy giveaways today. Thank you so much, Ash. Our mods are the best. Ash is the go. Dude, everybody right now has such a good chance of winning that Unbroken Bonds pack. Crazy. All right, Ash, the tin is open. The seal has been broken. It is a 2016 tin, shiny EV toll. This one has two evolution packs, one Fates Collide, and one X and Y Steam Siege. We're gonna do Steam Siege first, then we're gonna do evolutions, and then we're gonna finish it off strong with Fates Collide. We're gonna pull a full art from the X and Y era, okay? We have to pull a full art, bro. Full arts are the best from the X and Y era. And then for, uh, for this, we'll start uh, cutting it oh you know what before the giveaway I'll, I'll work on this uh taking this out I'll work on taking this out afterwards so it's not coming out it's like real stuck in there really really stuck well uh i'll cut it when we're uh getting people for the giveaway all right here we go steam siege let's start it off with steam siege steam siege is the mean fee i've never heard that one before that's a good one space Mean Siege. Dual Powers Clash in X and Y Steam Siege. Full Art or Seeker Rare. Dude, anything X and Y, Full Art, as long as it grades a 10. Mega EXs, all of that are the ones that we're looking for. Put that over there. Have y'all seen the booster box prices for Steam Siege? They actually went up quite a bit. Put three to the front right here. Best of luck. I've always liked Steam Siege. I think Steam Siege is a great set. Persian, Greedy Dies, Monferno, Ponyta, Meowth, Litwick, Boop Beep, They Know, I Know, You Know, Yanma, Reverse, and in the back for Steam Siege. Oh, <gasps> it's a full art. Ash Ketchup, you got a full art, bro. Very nice. Let's get it. Okay, okay. Full art from X and Y is a big deal. Let's see what we can pull here. Best of luck, Ash. Yo, Magir, no full art, not even bad, bro. That looks amazing from the front. Full art X and Ys are the, oh, they're the best, bro. X and Y full arts and black and white have the best full art. Black border, crispy, extremely well centered. Let's look at the back, That's where it worries me with these full arts. Not even bad, Ash, not even bad, bro. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's go. Full art X and Y card. I'll take that for sure. All day, every day. Magirna, full art. Damn, bro. You're getting very lucky today. Ash Ketchup, dude. These older sets are treating you very well. Alright, we just need a Charizard and a Moonbryon. Not Moonbryon. Umbryon, uh, full art. We got Magirna from Steam Siege. 
full art. From the year 2017? 2016, I'm sorry. Oh, wow. Alright, guys. Evolution's time! Here we go. Let's pull another holo from Pokemon Evolution. X and Y Evolutions. The set that throws back base set. A lot of nostalgia in these packs. Here we go, Ash. We're gonna do three from the back. These are all X and Y packs that we're opening up right now. We're starting off with a Seeker Rare, Executor. Seeker Rare. Misty's Determination. Revive. <laughs> Drowsy. Star you. You have an energy. Rally. Reverse fighting energy. And in the back. Ah, Doug Trio non holo rare. I hate that card. I hate you, Drug Trio. Got a fighting energy from Evolutions and a Seeker Rare Executor. All right, so that wasn't a. That wasn't a very cash money X and Y evolutions pack, but good thing we have another one. Come on. Doug Trio, man. I hate that guy. That is a cute executor. I agree. All right, here we go, guys. Charizard pack art of X and Y evolutions. The Pokemon Legacy evolves with this pack. Released in the year 2016. Eight years ago, we had this great set. Featured all the old cards. And we pull a Charizard. Got three. A tell as old as time. Pulling the Charizard. We have Brock's Brick. Professor Oak's Hint. Metapod. Leaf Energy. Rattata. Whole Picks. Like the birds. <laughs> Magikarp. Reverse is a rare. A rare Machamp. That's very nice. Could have been Charizard, but whatever. And in the back, <sighs> star me. I hate when I don't see the red border at the very end. Okay, so we did get a rare reverse. I'm a champ. All right now we got Fate's Collide, guys. This is the set. We need another full art from these sets. Pokemon Fate's Collide. Here we go. You already got Executor. Do you want to do? You want to give Executor to someone, or have it as a giveaway on top of the Unbroken Bond? <laughs> you already have it. All right, here we go. We got Fates Collide X and Y. You can give it to Catman. Catman thought uh, Executor was cute. Full Art Umbreon Secret Rare uh, Alakazam is the chase out of this set. Can a brother pull either or? I'd be happy with any full art honestly x and y full arts are incredibly hard to pull those were like the chase cards of back then that was like the hard rare rarities red rarity cards or the full arts super beautiful cards and uh as full arts and if it is a full art that looks very well from the back all right let's see how lucky we get today we're starting off with zygarde the dog chaos tower shuffle navy Withmer, Machino, Riolu, Binacle, Reverse is gonna be a Audino Spirit Link. And here we go, Ash Ketchup, for the last pack. How lucky can we get? I think that's a full art, bro. I think that's a full art. It's something. It's something down there. It's black. Like we like it. It is a. Here we go. It is Audino. God damn it. Audino EX. That Audino EX used to be very expensive back in the day because it was so playable. But we're not we're not back in the day anymore. Audino. No wonder it looked so good. It was an EX. We tried so hard. That Magirna was definitely the best one out of the ten. <laughs> Audino got that. <laughs> Dude, yes. Intrusive thoughts win at 3 a.m. God damn it, Audino. Piece of shit. 
He's still gonna go sleep though. It's very well centered. Maybe Ash Ketchup, he loves the Audinos. Maybe that's like his chase card. Audino EX is his chase card, potentially. Maybe not. Probably isn't. So, uh, Audino, Magirna was the best pool. Sceptile and Greninja. Can win them all, Ash. But you can win some. Alright, guys. So, add your Pokemon down here for the giveaway. We're going to roll it Battle Royale style. Add your Pokemon down here. Winner is going to take an Unbroken Bond. Check Lane Blister Pack. Check Lane Blister Pack. It's so important. I had to say it twice. So you guys understand. It's Check Lane Blister Pack of Unbroken Bond. Add y'all's Pokemon there as I take away the shiny EV token from this uh, tin. Audino remind Yeah, dude, Audino is like a thick DD. Absolutely. It's like an older version of Thick DD. Thick DD is like a modernized version, but Audino, it, it pretty much is the Thick DD. So there was Chansey, then Audino, and then Thick DD in the Pokemon Center. That's exactly what it is in disguise. Right, let's uh, cut this up. In the Y'all make sure to thank Ash Ketchup for the Unbroken Bonds pack. Features a Hollow Wilmer promo. A Wilmer promo. And then you got the pack of Unbroken Bonds where you could potentially pull a hundred plus dollar card. Maybe even more if it grades well. Put my champ in the giveaway binder. Ooh, let's go, dude. Ash, let's get it, dude. Thank you so much for that. The giveaway binder next Friday. Dude, we're almost at team up. We're going to be opening up that team of booster box next week, guys. Get you out some tequila ready. I hope you guys drink with me. I rarely drink. You know, it's a special time where the Captain Rafa has to drink. I'm excited. Snip it right there. Right, let's see if I can get it out. Actually, my do it the top. These are tough. I got one down. Another one down, perfect. Okay, so a little bit better. Got like a little, like little, little, little small, like little thing there. Really hard to tell. The front is where it really matters. The front is very visible. I mean, it's, I don't know. I think you can get away with it. Shiny Evito doesn't look too bad here. The one that we opened up before was really a tough. I'm ready for that. Dude, that's gonna be awesome, dude. I might buy some beers too. Honestly, I think after stream or during stream, I'll be drinking some beers. Beers and tequila, dude. Let's go. It's like the good old days when I was young. So good. Dos Equis, baby. All right, then you said this for the giveaway binder and then this for cat, 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 cat nap. Cat, cat, uh, cat scratch. Cat mint, cat mint. I'm sorry, cat. I'm gonna put this away for you, Cat Mint. I say everything except mint. I don't know why I can't say the word mint. I'm so. Alright, here we go, guys. Battle Royale time. I don't even wanna end the stream, bro. Man, you know what? I should just skip to like the con, refund my tickets. And, and, and just hang out with y'all again. Not be a YouTuber and not do any videos ever. Beto's still here. Let's go, Beto. Best of luck, everybody. Battle Royale has started. Winner is going to take the Unbroken Bonds pack. It's going to be really hard to sleep after this. All right. We're going to open up the blister in the meantime for the winner. Got Beto versus everybody else. Here we go. Focus face. Got Ash Ketchup. Oh, I think Beto's gonna win. He just took the freaking candy. Beto taking the candy, bro. So OP. Oh, there's a third candy. Who's gonna take the third one? Or the second candy? Is it me? Yeah. Pick it up. Mm. That's what I'm talking about. The candy, bro. The candy gonna make me strong. If I win, it's a questionnaire. And then uh, whoever gets the question right gets the pack. Alright, so it's me versus Focus Space. Sorry, Focus Space. I gotta uppercut you here. 
There's no way you're gonna beat me. I ate the candy. Oh no, my candy! Two pieces of candy. Yeah, I'm out. Beto versus Focus Space. They both ate candies. All right, there's one in the middle. Oh, Focus Space took the win there. Let's go, Focus Space. Dude, this came out so perfect. So you got a Will Lord, Focus Space. Congratulations. Still here, says Beto. Legend, bro. Let's go, Betito. Ya te lo agradezco mucho. A veces, can we open one pack of celebrations, Rafita? Absolutely, man. Celebrate that I beat the mosquito thing because I know that she was close. I got you, Alfredito. Let's do it. Absolutely. For you, Alfredito, anything. We got Will Lord. Celebrations, celebrating. Celebration, celebrating. Alfredito getting cured from the mosquito thing. Wow, this looks amazing. Came out perfect. Too bad as a well lord. If that was Pikachu, bro. Grade it. Or Eevee. But it's well lord. The fat ass well. That's alright, Poké Space. This is a free card. And you also got Well Mur. That's not bad. That's not so bad. Let's go, Space. You still there, brother? We're about to open up a pack for you. Here we go. Got Pop Leo. Love me some wells. Mmm, wells. <laughs> Did you find your BGS lab? Getting me nervous. Here we go. Alternate art here for Pokey Space. Let's get it. Bonds tempered in battle. We got a giveaway unbroken bonds pack here for Pokey Space. Can a brother pull an alternate art? Unbroken Bonds was the very first set that introduced alternate arts. So let's see if we get lucky here and pull one. So the card trick is four to the front. Best of luck, Poké Space. Dude, no BGS? Oh my goodness. I need to look through the uh, Ash Ketchup box before I ship them out. Maybe it's still there. I'll double check for you, Space. No worries. The Drio. We have Raticate. Weeping Bell. Medrivi. Glamiao, Glamorous, Glamiao, Rowlet, Ghastly, Togepi, Reverse is Drowsy, I thought it was going to be Mew, Mew is such a good reverse, and in the back, come on Pokespace, give me some fire, ah, oh, it evolved into Hypno, Herbert the dang pervert, oh, don't make me bang now, well you got well lord, you like wells right? Thank you so much for that. Dude, I freaking I hate Hypno, bro. Hypno's such a terrible Pokemon. I hate Hypno so much. Glad you won space. Poke Space, the absolute legend. The GOAT. Let's go, Pokemon Space. We tried, bro. You never know. Alright. Alfredito, you got celebration. Celebrating. Then you got better for the Are you ready, Alfredito? Are you ready for celebration, man? We're near the end here. Come on, Alfredo. We gotta put you something big here. You mentioned I needed to buy one more grading for Iono. I think... No, dude. I think you're good. Oh, wait, wait. Here, let me double check. Actually, I have the writing right here. Let me double check. Very confusing, because I know you're sending a lot of stuff to grade. Oh, this is not the right page. There's the right page. 
So you first started with Groudon, then you got four for uh, Obsidian Flames Charizard, Paldean Fates Charizard, Paldean Evolved Iono, Paldean Fates Iono, so that's four. And you got the Groudon. Oh, I think you pulled two of them. Did you pull two Ionos? I gotta double check. I'll double check here for you, Ash. No worries. I should have everything in the in the grading stack for you. Yeah. I got the grading stack here for you. Alright, here we go. Celebration. Let's see what garbage I pull for Alfredito. Charizard would be great. Please, just let it be a Charizard. I'd be very happy with that. Alright, so you're starting off with a Cosmom. Alfredito, Cosmom. Come on, Alfredito. Give me some fire, bro. Groudon! And in the back, it is something. It is going to be Lugia. Bad Pikachu. It's Pikachu! Oh, man. I wasn't able to do it, Alfredito. I tried my my very best like no one ever was. Celebrations is so small, I can literally just, like, sleeve all of these up together. I couldn't do it, man. I, celebrations did let me down one too many times. Fat Pikachu. have a garbage pack here for later. Pikachu says Catmint. Yeah, the two items for our own face. And then was another. Okay, so you got two from Paldean Fates. So, uh, I think you send in grading for one of those Paldean Fates Ionos. I didn't know if you want to send in for two of the Paldean Fates Ionos here. Let me check. And of course, the promos that you uh, pulled today. Alright, so this is Ash Ketchup right here. Let's see what you got here. So you got Browdon, Charizard, Charizard. That one, bro. I ri Dude, this card is so hard to grade. I think that's a 10. You got Iono. So you did have to. Okay, so pretty much you, uh, you paid for all of this, including the... You paid for 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... Including the ones from today, which was it was uh, these three. Yeah, it was these three. I could also, if you don't want to grade an Iona, have one for a binder. I can see which one's better, right? Because you have two of them. Damn, bro, you got. I can't believe you got two of them. I can see like which one's better. I can actually do that right now, bro. Let's let's look at your cards. Ash Ketchup has really nice cards. Let's take a look at his cards. And then these are already like for the grading. This was a pool. That was the best pool from uh, that Primal Clash booster box that we opened up. And uh, that was the pool from tonight. Yeah, this is gonna be a stack PSA. <laughs> For your baggy ash earlier today. Magirna was the best pool from those openings for sure. Yeah, add one for the binder. I agree. All right, so let's take a look at the. Let, let's try to see which ones are the best ones together, guys. Let's have like a little grading, little grading of uh, session here. Keep them in the EPB box. I keep them in the ETB box space. Oh, what is space is? I can you keep your slabs in a special suitcase? <laughs> I think you keep them in the ETB box. You'd think you'd put them in like a suitcase or something. I don't, I don't, I just keep mine on display. They're behind a glass wall. Either that or one of those. 
All right. So I'm actually gonna have to take them off to like closer inspection. Here we go, guys. Let's, let's take a look at this first guy over here. I'm gonna full screen my OBS just so I can have like a better. Well, let me sanitize my hands. I don't like touching cards raw. <laughs> yeah. I want to buy a frame from Double D, like Rafa has. Bro, dude, send me a message, dude. I was actually planning on just giving you that one. That one was like $150. It's really expensive. Double D was so awesome. He gave me a discount, but they're very expensive. I don't have that many slabs anymore. I traded my slabs for a first edition Lugia. It's Beckett. Those only fit PSA. So, uh, yeah, dude, I was just planning on giving you that. All right. I don't see myself spending so much money on slabs anytime soon, although I wish I did. All right, here we go. Let's see. So this Iono centering looks amazing on it. Centering looks good. Surface looks good too. Like maybe like a small surface area problem, but not like tremendous right there by where it says supporter at the bottom is right there. Not like super terrible though. Look at the back. The most important part is the corners on these sets. The corners look good. The centering looks good. Is that like whitening right there? Is that just dust? I think it's off now. Yeah, it's not bad. So I think this one has a high chance at a 10. Let's take a look if the other one's better. Maybe they're both 10s, I don't know. I've been doing this for so long. Kinda already know which one is better or not from like a glimpse. Centering is just as good. This one has better surface than the first one because of that little dot. But let's look at the back, the corners matter. Corners are, the corners on the other one was better, I want to say. Slightly better. No, that's like, that. here, let me get my microfiber. Microfiber little cloth. Where'd I leave it? When you want to clean cards, you want to use microfiber. Microfiber uh, cloths for those that don't know. It had like a little dust right there, right? Then one of you want to use something like this that won't like scratch the card. So hard to do this on camera, but I mean, it's just like a gentle tap. To see if. Uh... So you like clean cards. Okay, so that might not be dust, dude. It's not coming off. Oh, it is coming off. It's like surface right there. I don't know if y'all can see it right there, like that little white dot. All right, I'm gonna try to do it like, actually try to like. Do it. Yeah, I usually don't clean stuff on video because, as you guys can tell, it's kind of boring. Nobody wants to see that. All right, that Tito bro is not coming off. It's like a really small speck. Like very tiny spec. I don't think they'll deduct a lot of points from that. But it does have like a thing on that corner, like a little like white spot here. Like right there, I don't know if you can see it. They're very small. So I think this one better off in the binder. And then the white spot got like minimized. I think they both have a chance of a 10. They both have a good chance of a 10. I just think this one's a stronger 10. Wait, hold on. Let me see. Actually, man, I don't know. They're both... It's because they're both good. I can see both of them being 10s. The 
corners are way better in this one. Yeah, the corners are way better in this one, but this one has better surface. Like the surface on this one is like perfect. Most of the deductions in the back don't really matter. The front is the most important part. See, like that one just has that like corner, but it's only one corner. If it was all four corners, you'd be, you'd be, it's really small. So I think, I think they're both tens. Yeah, it's up to you, Ash. I think both of them have a shot at a 10, to be honest. I'm our, uh, but yeah, it's up to you. You could have one for the binder. It's really hard to tell which one you should keep to the binder and which one to, they're both good. You want to frame from double D. I can buy it from you so you don't take a big loss. Oh no, don't worry, Ash. I'll give it to you, bro. I remember my birthday last year, you gave me, you gave me a pack, bro. I never forgot. Like the least I can do. Put that away. I just don't have 12. If it's 12 slabs, it was custom made. It was custom made. Double D has the PSA, uh, like PSA sign and then nine slabs, but I wanted to fit more. So he, he made me a 12 one. Alfredo, you gotta go to sleep. Dude, I hope you feel better, Alfredo. Thank you so much for stopping by, legend. Have a great night, Alfredo. Sweet dreams, and uh, I will see you on the próxima. Hopefully, I see you on the next one, bro. All right, you want to send both. If one of them comes a nine, you just crack it open. I got you, bro. Yeah, we could do that. I got you, Ash. What if they all come back tens? <laughs> Yeah, they're really hard. It's really hard to see like which one you wanna, which one you should like send in. Right, so we'll send in both. Let's take a look at your cards now. So Raiko, bro, man, I love this card so much. Do you have no idea? Ash Ketchup, you have no idea how much I love this card. God, that's such a beautiful card. Okay, so I think, bro, to be honest, man, I do think it has a chance at a 10, but you, you, you need to get that one girl, bro. Because I don't know. He's like swamped with work. It still has a, like those uh those like todavía tiene the little small dings from when it got. You know what I mean? It still has them small dings. So like, it's either you send it to CGC and get the CGC ten, <laughs> or uh you need to get a service to where like they fix that top part, man. Oh, but that looks so good though. It's like whining right there. I can see this being a 10. Potentially. I mean, a 9 is not bad either, but man, this card as a 10 is so goddamn expensive. It's a beautiful card. Alright, so that's the Raiko. Oh, let's take a look at Charmander already. Right? Charmander looks really good. It's really hard to get a 9. You have really bad luck if this gets a 9. Charizard. Same deal with Charizard. We took the look. We already took a look at this Charizard as well. Rayquaza. We looked at Rayquaza too. Okay, so all of these. I, I already checked these. Yeah, those are good. Maybe Rayquaza. I haven't checked this one. Okay, let's take a look at Mega Rayquaza. I think you pulled this one before, right, Ash? You pulled uh, Mega Rayquaza, the, the actual one from Roaring Skies. All right, so the front looks okay. Yeah, that front looks good. Let's look at the back. So let me guess, Ash. You like collecting Rayquazas and Charizards. So I do see one flaw, Ash. It could still get a 10, but uh, the risk here is that the bottom, it's the back, thankfully. It's more strict on the front. The front prioritizes the back. The back is off-centered. It's thicker from the bottom than the top. Yeah, let's keep the Raikou for now then. Wow, oh, dude, that's such a... I love this card, Ash. I really do. That card is amazing. Got uh, Mega Rayquaza. Let's... Uh, I think this one is not worth the risk just because the bottom is thicker. Doesn't mean it won't get a 10, but like, it's not worth risking when the 9s are worth so much less than a 10. It's not worth risking it. It's my opinion, but... Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if it gets a 10. I also wouldn't be surprised if it gets a 9. So that one's a probably no. I wouldn't do it if I was you type of situation. 
let's look at this Charizard. It is V-Star Universe, bro. V-Star Universe has the best quality. Most likely gonna be a 10. And I'm saving my... I'm, I'm just wasting my breath looking at it. Because V-Star Universe is amazing. Let's... Okay, you said send that one back to you. Okay, okay. This one from the front looks impeccable. <laughs> Freaking V-Star Universe is perfect. In the back. Would you really want to look for V-Star Universe if there's any, like, whitening on the corners or the edge wears? This one looks good, Ash. Definitely for PSA, for sure. Like, that one looks amazing. Most people open up V-Star Universe to get black labels. PSA is easy peasy. So this one, I think it's a yes. Mega Rayquaza. I remember pulling this one for Daniel Gomez. And then Daniel Gomez gave it back to you. <laughs> Let's see how it looks like now with a better trained eye. Since that from like a year ago. I have a way better trained eye now that I've done this so many times. The surface looks great. Centering looks good. There's so much hidden. So that makes it really good for the center. So the front looks good. That's what you want. you rather have a better front than a better back. Take a look at the back. Okay, okay. The centering in the back actually looks really good. Um, corners are not the best, but they're not the worst either. So I do see like slight winding. That's not like too much because the other corners don't look that bad. Centering is decent. The edge wear is a little problem. I think it has a chance at a 10. I just wanted to point out like, like very minuscule like spraying. Like you see that little white dot there that's part of the gray. And I think I see some at the top here with heavy lighting. The thing is bro, like I've seen worse cards get 10s though. Like I've seen way worse. I mean that Rayquaza looked worse than this one. The Celestial Storm one, yours graded a 10. I think it's worth the risk. The only imperfection I really see here is the edges. I think the edges, the front looks like great. It's just the edges, the very little right there. And the little small dots on the, on the, on the right side. But for like the Mega Rayquaza card, I mean, it's, it's worth the risk, I think. I would send it in. Yeah, it's worth the risk. So this one is in the for sure. All right, so... These are the ones, Ash, that I think are going to grade 10s. And then it's up to you if you want to send them in. But I'm also going to give my second opinion. I think it's worth sending this one in, considering we pulled it a year ago. It looks really good. Uh, V-Star Universe. This card is uh, definitely, uh, like, more than likely a 10. I think it's worth sending in. These two will look really good. To actually, you know what, dude? All of these are actually really good to send in. They're, like, easy... More than likely tens right here. And then we already saw this one. Yeah. So these are like the, the more likely tens. If you only want to send one out of all of these, I would say this one. I would rather have the high reward out of that one. But yeah, definitely not worth it with this one. This one right now in its current state, probably PSA 9. I think you've got to fix that first. And then maybe you'll get a 10. There's only a pop three. There's only three PSA 10s of this card in the whole world. There's a Suicune that someone has listed. I think it's a pop two and it, they, they only, they, there's no there's no prior sales. That's how rare it is. He has it listed at 25K, it's crazy. Crazy, crazy. If he took a zero away, I'd probably like save up money to buy it. 25K too much. Beto says, good night, amigos, sweet dreams, and take care. Yo, you too, Beto. Thank you so much for uh, stopping by, bro. Have a great night. Sweet dreams to you too, my friend. How many grades should I get, including the Iono? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. However, Ash, yeah, six. And uh, yeah, if you still want these, these cards, it's six total. One, two, three, four, five. Iono, six. Let's go. 
very nice. All right, now add those to Brady. Perfect. Down for that. And then the Raiko, we'll wait on that one. We'll wait on that one for sure. And we'll put the rest on your bag. And we'll put these all in your bag. All right, well, that was fun. That was a fun stream, guys. We did a... I was planning on doing a short stream. We did a really long stream. Hope you guys enjoyed the vintage openings and everything. That was... That was eventful. And I'm gonna keep this uh, with me, Ash. Keeping this with me. Put it right here for now. Oh, dude, you had a Blaziken. Dude, I'm so sorry. You had a Blaziken here. That was part of the grading, right? I totally forgot about Blaziken. Chilling Rain has been going to the moon. I don't even know what the price is to this, but I'm sure it's not... It's uh, more expensive than it used to be. So from the front, it looks good. Just slightly off center from the right side, but I don't think it's a tremendous amount. But the back is just the same. It has a chance. I wouldn't risk it. <laughs> I wouldn't risk it. It has a chance, but I wouldn't risk it, Ash. That's just me, though. I'm going to put it back to the same sleep you had. I, I, I wouldn't risk it. I don't think the payoff is worth it, just like the Rick Wazel. Not worth the risk. Catman says, happy to be here. Shout out to Ash for introducing... Dude, absolutely, Catman. I Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for giving us an opportunity. I'm glad you had fun. At the end of the day, that's what it's all about. Chris L, nice to see you, bro. My boy Chris L was hanging out with us all night, too. And I'll send this back to you as well, Ash. All right, sounds good. That was real fun, guys. Almost don't even want to end the stream. But, you know, but like they say, guys, all good things need to come to an end, except One Piece and Boobies. We're gonna call it a night tonight, but gosh darn, we had such a great opening. Tomorrow is a Collecticon video. I actually need to get this unwired so I can use it for recording. Uh, we're gonna be recording this camera. We're gonna do a vintage challenge, spending $500 for it, where it's a challenge where if I lose, I just lose everything. But it's okay, because I like I was saving up for that video. I'm gonna be having fun. Which is all what it's all about. If it does good, we'll do another one soon with the 151 bundle or something. But yeah, guys, thanks again for supporting. Uh, next week, Friday the 12th, we're going to be opening up this Team Up Booster Box. There's still a few spots left from the sealed packs. You don't have to open everything, but for the, those that did want to open, if you pull a GX or better, you have a chance of winning a binder. Full of hits, alternate arts, art rares, all in between. And uh, this card is going to be added as well. Uh, tomorrow I'll also be opening up this vintage pack. So you'll see that in a video in the future. Yeah, guys, thanks again for hanging out. Cadmin, it was awesome meeting you. Ash Ketchup, you absolute legend. Seriously appreciate you. Hope everybody has a great night. And uh, yeah, next stream probably be on Wednesday. And then the birthday stream. Until next time. Peace. Oh, y'all thought that was it, huh? Now, trash pack time. It's trash pack time! I can't end the stream without a trash pack. Here we go. Trash pack time where I open up a booster pack that has nothing but garbage. Nothing but garbage. Piece of shit pools. Here we go. Let's see what we get. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Garbage. There you guys have it. Until next time. <laughs> Good night. Take care. I'll see you on the next one. Join Discord. Bye-bye. Peace. <laughs>